Hello, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. My name is Matthew Mercer, the Dungeon Master, and the person unable to find a uh, barber who understands Leave It Long. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. It'll grow. You Time jump backwards. Yeah, I know. I know. Look handsome at any. You look it's okay. Enough. It's okay. But anyway, welcome. Uh, before we dive into tonight's episode, um, which in which we have our fantastic Scanlan Shortheart. 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 Scanlan Shortheart would be a much more apt name. Uh, here via satellite. Hi, Sam. What's up, guys? Glad you could join us. Thanks. Um, me too. Wow. Look at all that white and pink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. He looks like he's in Miami. <laughs> yeah, the, the white and pink <laughs> contrasting <laughs> with the fur is very confusing. Oh, there it is. There's the collar. <laughs> no one watching is old enough to know what that thing is. <laughs> oh, at least one. Wow. Yeah, a few people yeah, do. Yeah, and thank you. Be That's not true. I know. Um, all right. So, uh, first and foremost, we get through our announcements real fast. Um, let's see. We have very. Few tickets left for the live show at Gen Con, which we're excited for next week, guys. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're excited to meet everybody at Gen Con. Um, we have our uh, campaign guide debuting there physically at the at, at the booth. Um, we have panel. We have a bunch of fun stuff coming up. So excited to see you guys out there. Pumped. Um, yeah. It's gonna be so, so much yeah, fun. So cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, merch wise, Laura. Hi. Hi. Oh guys. man. Oh, we have something to show you guys. You just wait. Hey guys, why don't you roll that footage? Hello, Taldorians, and we have an exciting new product we want to share with you today on Gilmore's Glorious QVC. What you see here is a beautiful Major Arcana tarot deck, featuring some of the most prominent figures of who's who in picturesque Taldore. Painted by the brilliant Lady Ioana Murisan. Printed on the finest cardstock parchment with glittering gold foil imported from the mines of Craghammer, this is truly a showstopper for any high society soiree. You're not just telling their fortunes, you're bedazzling their future. Now today we are offering this beautiful purple and gold deluxe edition, as well as that, that's it actually. I wouldn't offer anything other than the finest edition in my store. The going market retail price of these cards is four platinum, or 40 gold pieces, or 400 silver pieces, or 4,000 copper pieces, but today we are giving you the special Gilmore's Glorious QVC value of, uh, 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 Sherry, no, we're still filming those, please, you're getting them all smudgy. The special Gilmore's Glorious QVC value of 24 gold pieces and 99 copper. That's right, just two and a half platinum pieces. But that offer only lasts until the disclosed amount of seconds runs out on the timer in the corner. Scry now, or come down and visit me, Gilmore, at Gilmore's Glorious Goods in the Abdar Promenade District of Iman. Hi. Oh, oh these, oh these tarot cards? Oh. <laughs> Hold on, let me open it up since you didn't see enough of it in that amazing commercial. Damn! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, so shiny. oh, shit! Oh my god, they're, oh, they're so shit. shiny. Liam, tell us about the artist. Oh, the artist, Joanna Murasan, who is a longtime critter and has done a lot of art from our show, and then we love her, and she did such an amazing job. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. look at this! So anyway, go oh, check oh. them out. They're in the store right the now. They're amazing. <laughs> shiny. Um, all of the other stuff that we've had is, is still in the store as well, including this fabulous necklace. Um, and the posters, they shipped, so get ready to get them. Oh, Did they? oh Or maybe man. they're shipping tomorrow, I've something like that. I don't remember, but they're walls. going out. And really? then oh. the yeah, aprons so. are shipping at the end of next week, so you'll be getting those soon, too. Yeah. Yay! Oh. Oh man. That new, that new card smell. I just. Oh, I haven't opened mine yet. I love, I love the, the gold. The gold gilding of the yeah, sides is so it's freaking so cool. It's got yeah. gilding on the side. Everything shines all, yeah. on all Gilmore's sides. Gilmore's glorious gold gilding. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. Fun. That, as, a, as a person who enjoys collecting <laughs> cool major arcana, this makes Look me so happy. Look at that mm. Mm. Yeah, baby. I'm attention. You can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to play. I'm just going to look at these. Thank you, Miss Morrison. Your work is amazing. You're amazing. Thank you. Alrighty, uh, Critical Podcast, of course, episode, up to episode 30 is available. We're, we're working tight on the next batch of 10. We'll have announcements very soon for that. Um, let's see. If people who are alpha users, we have all the back episodes of Critical Role all the way up to from 1 to 107 now available on alpha with, we, they retroactively added all the bells and whistles, HP trackers, all that fun stuff, conditions, all the little 
fun Whoa. things for the yeah the entire no show. They just they just finished it. So you have that waiting for you if you ever wanted to binge the again. Overlay is so pretty. They added, <coughs> they added Horshack back into the cast. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's the reference yeah. that nobody in the audience. I don't got. even understand that reference. Before. Yeah, I know how much older than you I am. That's okay. That's right. uh, let's see. And we uh, do we have a talks monkey next week? Mm-hmm. We do. Yes. 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 Yeah. So we have the. talks monkey then. Seven p.m. next yes. Tuesday Yay. Pacific uh, with our Brian Foster, who will be returning mm-hmm. for the glory. Um, and then I think. I think that's it. I guess all of our uh, announcements for the evening. Lovely. That being the case. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, God. Let's go ahead and pull ourselves in this evening to tonight's episode of Critical Role. I forgot who you did Welcome back. I'll remember that. Black uh. <laughs> Your dungeon master will remember this. Um, so, last we left off, Vox Machina, in trying to find a way to seal off the growing threat of Vecna, now restored to physical form and seeking ascension and achieving it, you've gone to a number of the deities across the Exandria pantheon of the, uh, the prime gods, uh, gaining some blessings and uh, Gaining bits of essence from these deities to create something called a prime trammel, an item that was used previously during the calamity to seal one of the betrayer gods and could possibly uh, put an end to Vecna's newly ascended form and reign as the only god on the prime material plane across the divine gate. Um, information given to you by the Knowing Mistress sent you beneath an underwater volcano known as Scald Seat, where you proceeded to uh, learn how to breathe water. And then step into toxic, fume-filled tunnels, yeah. where you proceeded to breathe through the water via <laughs> Grog's jug. Um, very clever. <laughs> um, but finding your way through a, a short battle with some of the indigenous life forms there, a, a mother and two children, uh, magma bullets, um, you head down deeper into the volcanic caverns of Scald Seat, eventually finding what seems to be a long, sealed a uh, series of chambers by the uh, the Allhammer, the deity for craft, family, and legacy, uh, where somewhere supposedly beneath this volcano and hopefully within these long-sealed chambers lies the core anvil where these prime trammels can be constructed. So, as you made your way through here, hearing the undulating, reverberating pounding of some distant piece of machinery, it seemed. Heading down the stairs, you were put into a hexagonal chamber, which had a, seri- a large square of coals, and above that, a uh, some X bars against a wall, where in the center you saw a gold, uh, kind of inlaid, uh, I want to say a seal almost, that had a, v- a what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> a, an, an empty triangular shape, like a, a pyramid inverted within this golden seal. Uh, and a series of these iron warriors that were embedded in the walls. Behind the stairway, you saw what appeared to be, and you identified upon seeing it, uh, uh, means of smelting metal 
and uh, other forms of, of material. When Percival was inspecting one of these warriors, it immediately came to life, and you watched as the glowing outline of each one of these 10-foot-tall, 12-foot-tall metallic warriors glow bright orange. They each emerge from the walls with these large two-handed great swords at their side and immediately began to incite conflict, and that's where we left off. So, to begin this fray, <laughs> where are you guys placed currently? Percival, I you would probably be right about where that guy. Emerged. I would probably be about there. Oh, did I? The wall. I was about to say I had my boots on, so I was I was, I was up by his face. Okay, so I was over at oh god, the forge. Oh god, oh, oh geez. Oh. There you go. Yay! Oh, <laughs> I like it. Grog was by the the smelter. I feel like I had been looking at the 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 thing, the empty big empty pyramid triangle okay. thing. So you would be over in this area. Yeah. Oh, God. <clears throat> uh, I think I feel like I was kind of with Vex, maybe kind of on the other side on this, yeah. All right. uh, I, w I was on my broom because I had been hovering looking at it. Fair enough. So we'll probably be about. Yeah. Well, about there then. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I I know that I had just poofed the wings out, and I think I was inspecting one of the the uh, big metal men before it came out of the wall. Right. I don't really remember which. Most likely one of the ones that was not attended by another member of the party. So we'll say about here. Sure. All right. And Scanlan, whereabouts were you? You know, near things. <laughs> Can't really see too well, so just uh, put me where, let's see here, I was at the door when we opened it, and then I was beautiful, and now I'm not as beautiful, but, uh, so put me near the door. Near somewhere. the door? <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> so we'll put you over in this circumstance here. So, so all their faces are indented, but there's no all, other interesting. Yeah, each one of them, as opposed to the other warriors you saw in the chambers that led down into this area, have no faces. Instead, where you see are an empty void, triangular like the large seal, but just vacuous. But matches but the same shape. But smaller. I, but smaller. They didn't many faces around? I'm rem misremembering that? Maybe yeah. I just really like many faces. Which is a good like thing. But regardless, I would like you all to roll initiative. Oh, <laughs> oh, ah, that was so soon! I'm gonna go for it. Is there. Wow. Is there a <laughs> height about the same height as the seal in the cross member? Yeah, that's <laughs> awful. Uh, they're um, taller. So the the seal is a little bit higher than where their heads are. Okay. All Ten right. Points. So twenty five to twenty. Twenty three. Twenty three. No, no, I have uh, advantage. 20, oh, 17. 20 to 15? Oh, right, 16. Yeah. All right, so we have Grog. So is Vex. Person. 15 to 10? Oh, 12. Sorry. I was looking at a book. 18. Sorry. You're above me. Yeah. Always. All right. <laughs> All righty. Um, Keyleth, which you? Five. Oh no! I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that being the case, as these large metallic warriors are emerging from the sides of the chamber, <laughs> wrenching the large metal blades, these kind of large rectangular, almost slab-like swords uh, bladed on each side. Vex, you're up first. What are you doing? Oh god. Uh, what do you do? What do we do? Gonna... What do you do, Asha? Well. I'm going to attack the one next to Percy. Attack style. Attack style. Mm. I'm going to Hunter's Mark him, <laughs> and then I'm going to attack him. There you him. go. I'm going to do this, and then do this, and then do this. Okay. What are things like this considered? Like creatures or golems? Constructs? Constructs would be the. Uh, God dang it! What? That was a miss. It was a one. One. A natural one. All right. Yeah. So the so you do actually pull back the arrow and it strikes true. However, the armored plating is so strong that the arrow just shatters across the front of its armored chest. Fuck! I do it again. All right. Second shot. <clears throat> My God. Twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. Okay. Good. Well, that's good. <laughs> Oh my yeah, God! I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream! Well, that looks like yeah, I know, bro. 
We're going to bro your hubby. How many? How many? Uh, she called me bro. Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this night is not off to a good Game of Thrones is obviously back on the air. 18, 18, 18. 14. As I. 14, don't say other numbers. 14 oh, plus 7 is 21. Is 24. 24 points of damage. Yes. All righty. And are you going to stay where you are, or do you want to move? Uh, how high is the ceiling? The ceiling, I'd say it's about 30 feet up. Fair call. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly up. Twenty five to thirty feet. So. All right, I'm gonna go to the, the roof. Okay, you're gonna go all the way up to the roof. So they're metal. They appear to be some sort of. Oh yeah, one of that. Metal. Some of that was lightning damage. That was two points of lightning damage. In two case. points of lightning damage. Because they're made of metal, I don't know if that did anything. Okay, special. no. Okay, do, 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 do. thank you for the heads up on that. All righty. So ending your turn, that brings us to. Vax. All right. Um, to start, I'm just going to. Uh, yeah. Am I within striking range of him if I back up a little bit? If you back up a little bit? Yeah. Like, do I need to disengage? You are currently engaged with him melee wise. Okay, yes. so I'm that close. All right. Yeah, uh, you were inspecting it as he emerged. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use my bonus action to Hunter's Mark him. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, stick him in the face. Go for it. That's what I'm going to do. Stick him in the face! Oh wait, I get three d6 of sneak attack now? <clears throat> if you haven't been marking that yet, you should do that. <laughs> An extra four. Okay. So it's 30 for the first and for the second. <laughs> All right. The second is... Oh, I did write it. 30 for both. 30 for both hits? Yeah, because I'm an advantage because I get because I'm going before them. Correct. Yeah, so, yeah, 30 so both hit. All right, so uh, the first one, which will get the sneak attack fun, is two plus eight is ten plus psychic damage is sixteen plus psychic damage. Sixteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-six, uh thirty-two. Yes, thirty-three, thirty-five, thirty-eight for the first. Yes. Plus wow. hunter's mark. Excuse yes. me, thirty-eight, which is uh plus another D6. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 38. ah, so uh 44, 44. 44 for the first and for the second. Nice. Uh, is one, uh, well, that's just it, is one plus the hunter's mark again, right? Only hunter's mark tw once on your attack. So it's only for one attack, because I i don't use just it. Just kidding, time. it's hunter mark every time. Every time? Yeah. I'm like, Did I yeah, no, I know that. Movement on you before we went in. So five for the second. I don't know what that means. You cannot be restrained. Yeah, sneak that's attacks only once, but hunter's mark is every Yeah, whenever you hit him with weapon. Your like all right. speed kit. So what's that second one you said? Uh, uh, just five. Five. All right. Got it. <clears throat> Do we Wait, still have? That's not true. Sorry. Eleven, because it's not an offhand attack. It's my second, second paladin attack. attack. That's correct. Oh, there, 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 there. there you go. Eleven. Boom. Alrighty. Are you gonna stay pretty or are you gonna move some more? I am efficient, man. going to risk an attack while well, I'm not hasted. Uh, I'm going to uh, risk an attack and back up about ten and go up another fifteen. Okay. Yeah, they can't throw those great swords. They don't have like laser eyes. Give them ideas. They can't be Stop it. paralyzed or restrained. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Alrighty. So you are also just about at the ceiling with her. As you, sorry, as you, um, as you shoot up and away, it strikes up quickly after your daggers have been carving into its armor. Its blade comes up in a wide arc against you. That is an 18 plus 12. 13 plus 12? Yeah. Just barely hit. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Wow. Do we still have our death ward? Oh, yeah, you do, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Thank you for oh, reminding me. Yeah. And our hero's feast. Yes. We're, 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 we're pretty, pretty metal. We're pretty 32 sad. points Woo! of slashing damage. Okay. As the blade just <laughs> rakes across the front of your chest and kind of forces you back even further, your shoulders end up slamming into the ceiling from the impact of both you retracting back and the blow itself. Your wings have to kind of catch you for a second, and you're keeping yourself elevated at the moment. Finishing your turn there. That brings us to Grog. Well, uh, standing by the you know blacksmithing stuff, I say you are interrupting Grog's arts and crafts, and I would like to rage. All right. Run to a rage you go. And I would like to charge at um, that little bastard right there. This one here on his own? Yes, please. All right. Up into his face you go. Up into your face! Get him, Grog! <clears throat> Reckless! 
regular strike. <laughs> not terrible, not terrible. 20, 29. That hits. Roll damage. Nice. 29 is not terrible. Did you yeah. know that? Yeah. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> 28. Damage? Yes. All right. The second one, Reckless Great Weapon Master. Okay. Oh, God. Just cause. That's a million. That's 34 minus five. 20, 29. 34 minus five? Yeah. Nice. That hits. That was a high roll. <laughs> <laughs> five, nine, 21, 31. 31. 31 points of damage. 31 points of damage. Fantastic. And that ends my, my turn. All righty. Ending Grog's turn there. Percival. Um, I'm going to just cry out to everyone. We need the heads. Don't hit them in the face, please. What? Um, I am engaged. <laughs> I know. There's nothing I can do. I am engaged with that thing, aren't I? Currently, uh, yes. That is Maybe my he sister. doesn't see you because you're a puppy. Uh, I think <laughs> you technically triggered it. It's just seemingly so. aware of your presence. It's true. In fact, in the moment you say that, you watch as the metallic head goes and looks up right to you with just that creepy triangular void staring right at you. Do you think you can dispel their magic? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try and take a take a, take a a run in the other direction. I know it's going to take a this swing way? at me. Yep, I'm running up the down the wall. This way to the corner? Yep, as far as I can go. That's about as far as you can get on that wall if you want to come into I'll start coming, start coming that way, too. All right. I'll put you about... I mean, not a full... Yeah, it's six spaces, so... Yeah, so at that point, I'll put you about there. There, all right. All righty. It does swing at you. Yep. That is a. Uh, Should be fine. Uh, 19? Shit. 19 just <laughs> hits. Is that your AC? Uh, <laughs> AC's 18. Oh. Escherman is down. Escherman is back. down. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love being able to see our miniatures. I know, it's so nice. Look at this. 34 points of slashing damage. Wow. Which Jesus. almost cleaves you off the wall. 34 points? Yep. Okay, so uh, hold on. Let me let me do the math on that. That's. Uh, 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 20, 24, 20, 19, 16 points into uh, into my 60, 67, 150, 151. Okay, I'm at 151 because so I have a whole bunch of temporary. As, as you're running on the wall, it hits you from behind, and you you for just for a yeah. second you feel that like urge to black out, and you fight through it and keep running. You can feel kind of the warm spreading on the back of your shoulder blades from the impact of the blow, and you careen around that corner and stop, spinning to survey the room. What are you I, doing? I pull up. I'm going to take my first shot. I'm going to take a straight shot with, and I'm going to uh, uh, blow a point of grit and a couple points of. Well, we'll get to that. And, and I'm going to try and get him to drop his sword. So, okay. First thing is I'm going to try and get him to drop his sword. Fuck. Uh, that's a. Ooh, it's like 34 to hit. That hit. Uh, strength save uh, uh, against uh, uh, 20. Okay. That is a 13. Drop your sword. <laughs> its sword cling, clangs to the ground as you fire. You see one of its fingers is kind of bent back and busted from the impact, and it kind of looks over for a second. And you watch as a broken finger snaps back into place, and it kind of looks back at you. Okay, so that was that was uh, um, that was shot number one. Yes. Uh, oh boy, here we go. Um, I'm also got to do damage on that, which is I'm gonna drop a little bit of. I'm so sorry. Where are all my dice? There we are. Um, oh, I didn't do that, so none of that. Uh, where are we going? We're going to. I'm gonna drop a uh, three points of cabal into this as well. Okay. So that's. Boop boop boop. Uh, there we are. Oh yay. Six points of psychic damage. All right. Four points of lightning damage, uh, and sixteen points of uh, the standard piercing damage. Gotcha. Okay. Which what, what was this? This was uh, animus. Animus. Got it. Perfect. All right. So the, the finger kind of curls back and breaks into place. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going <coughs> to cast hex on him. Yes. Uh, give him a disadvantage on strength saving throws. Yes. Well, strength ability checks. Strength ability checks. Um. Ability checks, and I'm going to um, take a sharpshooter shot. Okay. That's uh, 20. 20 just <laughs> barely hits. Okay, good to know. <laughs> uh, making that note. So that's, uh, and I'm going to drop uh, three more points of Cabal into that. So that's two, two, two. And so that's. 
Oh, that's 28 points of piercing damage. Get it, son. Four points of psychic damage. Uh, 13 points of lightning damage. What the fuck? And Jesus. three points of necrotic damage. <laughs> First, he just turned into Rainbow uh. Bridge. Okay. <laughs> so the, the second one blasts, you watch as one of its kind of armored shoulder plates kind of dents inward from the impact, and there's a small uh, pierced hole in the center where it seems to have blasted through its armor. And last shot. Okay. That's right, yeah, six. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going to try and push him 10 feet back. Okay. Natural 20. Ooh. Should have done damage. There's no damage on a push shot. Yeah. It's okay. But he got pushed. But he got pushed 10 feet he back. Definitely pushed him 10 feet. Yeah, hey, I get one of grip point back, yeah, so that's man, nice. Yeah, man, got pushed on the playground, I got in your head. So he's got to move 10 feet before he can pick up his sword. Correct. And uh, that's my, uh, that's everything. All right, that ends your turn? Yep. All right, what it is now turn. their turn. turn. <clears throat> yes. So the one that you just blasted back as it skids to a halt and slams against the wall, it looks over at you across the way, oh, no. and then looks around and surveys the room quickly with its strange, triangular, vapid lack of a face. Glances up and sees uh, Vixali in the room oh, above. No. Goes into a full leap what? to push with its feet off the wall what? and attempt to grab towards you in the middle of the air. Oh, no. oh Jesus! What? Jump that high? Like a WWE yeah. cage match. Fuck it's me. half the size of the, of the room, practically in height, so it's not a huge yeah. important Real bad. This, so, this might get exciting. top hearted right here. Pile uh, <laughs> drive. <laughs> so, um, I'm making this a grapple check, so roll either acrobatics or athletics. Okie dokie. Whichever one's better. Acrobatics. <laughs> uh, 25? Oh! 34. Oh! <laughs> rolled really high. I rolled a 19. Fuck me. <laughs> so, oh, fuck. as it leaps in the air and grabs you, oh it drags God. you off the broom and then basically slam dunks you into the coals. Oh! Straight over, prone into the coals. Oh, fuck. Oh. Landing at the side of it right there. <laughs> the broom goes clattering off to the side. It's still chained to you from the apparatus that you place, and it scatters across the stonework a couple of feet from you. So you fuck you, you suffer uh, nineteen points of bludgeoning damage from the impact. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> That's I mean remember you have the temporary hit points. I've yep. already marked it. And him. then ten points of fire damage from being slammed into the coals. Could be way worse. Yeah, I'm sure um, each turn it gets a little You bit are worse. considered on fire. On fire. Metaphor and action metaphor to put it out. Or you take one D ten damage every turn. You right. your hair back and forth. <laughs> 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 However, it's sword, and I'll go ahead and use this as a marker. The sword is on the ground right there. Sure. So I can't use that right now. Oh, okay. The other two can. So, um, the, this one over there, who got shot by you and, and flew away as it arcs up, yeah. it's starting to look around to see if it can gain any sort of real uh, intent to go towards you, and then glances off to the side, and instead, Sees the the smaller targets, the softer, easier to get to, oh, no. druid and gnome. Hi. What a fool! Bring it, bridge. Turns. Oh god. To engage oh, god. both of you. This is the culprit. Boom! Actually, he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna stop partway through there. Scaling. And actually, he's gonna go right there. You watch as underneath the head. The armor part in the chest suddenly hinges open, and you see this bright burning furnace in the center of its chest Fuck! that just <laughs> lets out this extremely, oh no, why, extremely why did I no. Large, why bright, did I large hot, burning, angry torrent of flame. Can I cast cutting words, or can I use cutting words? Uh, you can if you'd like. I don't know if it's going to do anything. I'm not sure. Like you can reduce alive. damage. Because cutting words well, can reduce damage of an attack. Only by a little. I, I want him to miss, right? Well, Is it's going to hit a, regardless. You guys have to make saving it, throws. It's a cone. It's just going to hit us. Uh, so it's just going to hit. It's going to, okay. it's going to hit all. It would be about there. Fuck! Hit all of you, including the other guy. Hey, little. If little I'm miracles. prone, do I still get to roll to. 
Uh, like it can roll through the coals to avoid it or something. Yeah, hide yourself under the coals. Like the McDonald's ball. Harry, what is this? Uh, you do not get disadvantage like on saving throws. You can still just—it's just a general thing. Okay. I need, for these. I need <laughs> Scanlan and Keyleth and Vex to all make dexterity saving throws, please. It's a hypodermic Ooh. needle in here. <laughs> oh God, yeah. Not very Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I keep hitting the mic. Uh, just dex saving throws. Yep. <gasps> oh. Uh, oh no. Wait, are you pointing to me? Yeah. Yes. Yes, Sam. Oh, um, I, I have this dice that I, I, it's the first time I've ever used it. It has poop on it. Someone sent me poop dice, and I think I just rolled a natural 20 because I rolled the poop. Yeah. What's on, what's on the other side of the poop? The other side is a, a skull. So that's a one, right? I think for you, you count the poop as a 20. Is poop 20 or is poop one? I think poop is normally tw- one. For what's you, next poop. to the poop? What other numbers are near it? Oh, God. 19, 13, and 7. Nope, that's a one. That is a one. <laughs> oh, no. Two ones on that. Oh. You got right. a one as well? No, I, 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 right. I rolled a three, so I'm at seven. Yeah, so Keyleth and Scanlan, yeah. you both from the chest effects? furnace oh, take no. 38 points of fire damage. Okay. As it just <laughs> burns out in front of it, you take half that. Which is you take what? 29, oh, sorry, 19, 19 points of fire damage to you. Oh, and the flames burn across the other armored individual, the giant uh, construct, and you watch as some of its damaged form begins to seal up from the flames. Flames help it. Fire oh, heals them. Cold shot. damage. Fire Do cold bad. damage. Fire bad. You <laughs> are good. It's good. We're going. It's going to make espresso. He said minus 38, right? <gasps> The, so that's going to end its turn as oh. as the 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 chest slams shut now and the flames retract back inside and you watch it kind of almost exhaust smoke out each side of its armor and the flames uh, that you saw burning in there are now dimmed but they're beginning to flare up again. Uh, the one that's by you, Grog, is going to go ahead and just move adjacently, kind of its head kind of spins around for a second to look up at you and spins back to you. It's going to make two strikes at you with its great sword. Okay. Uh, that has really advantage bad. on you because you used Reckless. Yes, it does. What if we don't All even right. make it to the Vecna fight? That is uh, 31. Uh, that hits. And. You got your one shot ready. Wow, oh, 18 throw. Uh, that is 30. 30 points of damage. No, no, no those are two oh. attacks. Oh, yeah, they both hit, of course. Okay, so for these. Damn. Uh, 33 points of slashing damage. So. Reduced to half. For, what is that? It's a 16. Thank you. Right? Yeah. 31 divided by 2? Yeah. Well, it's 33 divided by 2. And then uh, the other one is. It's another 34, actually. Damn! Seven seconds. There you go. Well, round down, so 16 points slash. Okay. Uh, so that's going to end its turn there. All right, bring us to Scanlan, your turn. Do something amazing! <laughs> I, I'm I'm on vacation, so cast, I, cast nothing's going to be amazing. <laughs> um, uh, I will. Is the sword still on the ground? It is. Is it near me, ish? Uh, it's about twenty-five feet from you. Okay, I will cast Big Miss Ham, uh, and I will pick up the sword. Yes. And, oh, and I will use it to hit not not the guy whose sword it was, but the the guy closest to me. Okay. <laughs> They're technically both. Pretty equidistant. equidistant from you. Yeah, you're okay. right in the middle. Okay. Uh, Put it out there. Doesn't matter. I want I want the guy who hit me. Okay, so you can I'm move Bigby's hand pretty I'll see how many feet it can move. Because it'll pick up the sword. I don't know if it can It can move sixty feet. It can move sixty feet? Okay then. And yes, yep. it definitely can. It darts over to the guy who hit you with the flames, so go ahead and make <laughs> your attack. The sword. Mm-hmm. I'll say for the purposes. <laughs> For the purpose of this, I'll add an additional uh, d12 slashing damage to its strike. Uh, it's I got an 18 uh, plus something. I don't know. <laughs> Eight, oh, 18 to roll for its attack plus your spell attacks. Yeah, that definitely hits. Uh, plus 11. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, it definitely hits. Um, and then what do I roll? Is this a sword attack or is this like Bigby's hands clenched fist attack? What I'm making this? it a clenched fist attack, so it's okay. four d8 force damage, but I'm adding an additional d12 slashing just because it's wielding a sword while it does it, because that's cool. Uh-huh. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. I love you, yeah. and thank you. That's, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty so cool. So I roll four d8. Yeah. Four d8. Plus. 
plus Ooh. 1d12. Oh, wait. Wrong one. 48 Wrong plus 1d12. 48. 17 plus 12. 29. 29. Wait. Well, plus a 1d12. Plus, plus, plus a 1d12. Okay. You have to roll a d12. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, then it's 17 plus 7. Okay. 24 points of damage to it. All right, perfect. So the fist comes by and slams into it. The sword <laughs> arcs through its armor, and you watch some of the plates separate a bit, but it's still holding itself in place. Um, that's your action? Yep. Uh, oh, I get a bonus. Uh, I will inspire Keyleth, I guess. Not that she needs any help, she's so freaking powerful, but I will inspire Keyleth by singing, your minxie brings all the boys to the yard and they're <laughs> like, it's better than yours, damn right. right. It's better than yours, you could teach them, but you'd have to charge. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Take a d12, charge die. Uh, sure. <laughs> all right, and you want to move it all? Uh, I'm close to a guy who's going to hit me if I move, right? Uh, you, you're not currently in melee with the guy yet, but you're pretty. You're just in the outside of of, of, yeah. of melee with two guys. Then I will move dead center on the board. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. All right, so you're going to back up the stairs a bit then as yeah. well. Yeah, we're going to deal there. Okay. Yeah. That ends your turn, Scanlan. Keyleth, you're up. <laughs> do you need to get? Do, do you need help off the coals? I'll or figure you're it fine, out, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This Basically, is, go. Don't I am ever, going to just turn. I don't need to demonstrate that. I'm going to turn and <laughs> do a tidal wave against this guy in front of me. So he has to make a dexterity saving throw. This is oh, interesting. Tidal wave. Pull this up real fast. Well, oh, wait, uh, but the guy behind you or the one across the pit? The one the closest to us. The one on the other side. Hang on, let me see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I don't think I can hit both of them with most of my stuff. Hmm. Can you hit the two that are by us? I can, but I think I'd also hit you. It's like a straight line. Yeah, you, you can essentially... How much damage is it? 48 fledgling. You'd put me out, I wouldn't be on fire anymore. So you couldn't hit yeah, both, you couldn't... I would put you out. I mean, you could do it in a way that would probably hit both of them, but it would probably hit her as well as a possibility. Right, that's, yeah. Do it! Are we concerned about me extinguishing these coals? Yeah. I mean, we can light coals again, though, right? There's coals. Unless they're magic. Right. So. I have made fire. Okay, cool. <laughs> then if for permission from Vax, I'm going to be like, oh, just, I'll put you out, and then I'll step out of the way. I'll maybe it'll, maybe it'll okay. like, push me out of the coals. It's going to turn this cool. room into a sauna. And do a, yes, <gasps> really I'm turning it into lungs. a sauna. I'm going to yes. hit that and go boom. All right, so it slams across them. All right, this is a dexterity saving throw for uh, Vex and both of them. This combat just got a lot It's sexier. okay, I'm a real good swimmer. <laughs> An 18 and a nine. Failed, yeah. both of them. You nice. So they oh, take do I roll dex a dexterity yeah. save too? You do. Uh, I think I failed that, hold on. The three, yeah. 16, fail. Not prone. Oh, buddies. Prone. And that's fine. Okay, yeah, so you take this full damage as well, you, but you are no longer on fire. Yay! Did I did I get pushed out of the coals from the water? Uh, no, but the coals are no longer burning, so okay. it's not a huge deal. At least that edge of it isn't. Okay. So they take 19 damage, they're knocked prone, and the water extinguishes all unprotected flames. So Ooh. as this giant column of flame <laughs> roars up, you watch as one of the constructs kind of disappears into the water and gets slammed into the wall. It sh over the coals, temporarily just douses you. Um, flames go out, but you get battered around briefly uh, by the other guy behind you. Both of your forms crash into each other. He falls onto his back, and as the water subsides, steam just sh fills the room now. Visibility is now limited. It is... It is like a fog cloud? Yeah. Everybody everybody in here, for the most part, uh, unless you're directly in, in uh, melee range, you are at... Uh, Partial cover. <laughs> so. Is it up through all the way to the ceiling, or is it? Yeah, it's like, it only lasts a round or so, but it'll dissipate. Okay. But for the for the next round or so, there is <laughs> partial cover for anybody but who's not directly. But our skin looks amazing. Yeah. Partial cover. Mm -hmm. So it works both ways. Yeah. 
against them and you. Yeah. As if Vax needed any other reason to hide. I like. I can feel the chat just saying, "Thanks, Keyleth." Like I can just like <laughs> feel it. Thanks, Keyleth. You know like this pressure. Seriously though, thanks, like, Keyleth. Thanks, thanks, Keyleth. Thanks, yeah, but we right. mean it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm ironically, here are you going to stay? Are you going to stay where you are? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That ends your turn. Back to the top. Vax, you're up. Oh. oh no 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 wait wait and I'm gonna take my bonus action to um, go water elemental. Okay. And then I can still move, right? Uh yeah, I'd say so. Can I then oh. just move my water elemental into this guy's space and um, as part of my elemental form, I can move into spaces that are within an inch. In, you know, yeah. Yeah. That'll do. Um. Can enter a hostile creature space? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All righty. That ends your turn. Vex, now it's your turn. Okay, so I'm going to stand up. You get up. Ugh. The flames are gone. You're still aching from being slammed so heavily into the coals there. And you can look down, you can see beneath the water that has now turned to steam and is dissipating on the middle of the, the hot metal floors of this room. Uh, the construct is still thrashing and about to get its way back up. What are you doing? Uh, I can see him good enough though to shoot him. Oh, yeah, he's is right he, there. But he's not at dis. Am I at disadvantage because he's prone? Uh, but yeah, he's, like, you are. Right there. You're disadvantaged both because prone and you guys are in. You know, you can back up if you want to to try. And I mean, you, unfortunately, because he's on the ground and it's ranged weapon, it's still right. Disadvantage. Well, okay. Is it still? Yeah, it's nothing to do with the weapon. It's just the fact that he's on oh, the ground. It's just prone. On the ground. Okay. okay well, I'm gonna back up because he can't take a strike at me, right? Because. Uh, he can swing at you, but it'll be his fist. As opposed I'm going to gonna back towards the stairs, actually, where okay. Scanlan is. All right, so you go back up towards the stairway there. Yeah. Uh, it does get one swing at you. Uh, no, he already got... No, because your turn was before his, so he does have his reaction. So he swings out with a fist at you. That is a 21. Uh, I, will, I will cutting words that. Okay, then. Yeah. Thanks, So go, go ahead and roll... Sure. Go ahead and, what are your cutting words to him as he, backs, as he tries to swing oh. it? I'm going to... Quote from uh, 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 some old TV show, <laughs> and say, "You are a monstrous, mechanized, misguided moron." Oh, that's it. Very nice. <laughs> so go, go ahead and roll a d12. I don't know Me? that TV show. I think it's Lost in Space. Yeah, you. Correct, Talison Jaffe. Oh, nice. oh. Lost, Lost in Space. space. Oh shit! I only rolled a three. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> that brings right, cutting words him down to nineteen or eighteen. Uh, yeah, that brings 18. him down to uh, an eighteen. That he doesn't hit me. Yeah. 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 As the yeah. fist swings wide, the words seem to strangely cut through to what element of an ego this charisma one creature has, <laughs> charisma uh, <laughs> and just Ooh. slams into the metal, causing this large, heavy oh. knuckle punch to the ground as it kind of resounds with this heavy bang <laughs> that shakes the ground. Uh, Vax, you managed to move by without issue. Great. I think I'm gonna then try to attack him. Go for it. Okay. So two attacks with disadvantage. Okay. Ah, oh, natural 20 was one of them. Uh, t- uh, 30 is the first attack. I mean, it's 20 and an 18, that's pretty good. Well, 20. Actually, it's interesting point, to prone. An attack roll against the creature has advantage if the attacker is within five feet of the creature. Oh, so I shouldn't have, if I hadn't moved away, I would have been okay? Possibly. No, it's still ranged. You would have had disadvantage being ranged in melee, so it would so have been weird. would have been a regular attack. Sense, though. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's not canceled out. If I hadn't moved, it would have been just the never mind. Right. We're just it's fucking. Fine. It happened, but for going, just say it's fine because then fine. I'm just gonna wish I had that crit that I just got. Uh, so thirty was the attack roll. Hits. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, that is thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen plus one lightning damage. Plus six sneak? No, no sneak attack. Just kidding. Did you hunter mark? Them? There's the hunter's mark. Five there hunter's mark. Great. That's Alrighty. the first attack, and the second attack at disadvantage uh, is nineteen. Nineteen just misses. Balls. And it's the armor <laughs> shatters across it. Fuck. Fuck. Is that your turn? Yeah. All right, fast. All right, I want to slam down right up. Yeah. Sorry, can I use my bonus to hide behind one of those pillars? Uh, sure, go ahead and roll stealth check. Uh, 16. Okay. There you it's go. Foggy. It's, it's foggy. foggy. It's foggy. Yeah. I mean, steamy. 
It's like Marine layer. Hmm? Facts. Yes. All right. Slam down right by that one's head. <laughs> right down to the ground. Pang. Take a split second to look up at the watery druid. <laughs> Shake my fucking head. Step stab right into its face. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the first one is a 33. 33 hits? Yeah, and the second one is a, oh, the first one's a 16, uh, 28. 28 hits. All right, so he's prone, he's a disadvantage. I'm gonna dump Smite into both of these. Dump it. Yeah. Two plus four is eight, 10 plus uh, 13. <laughs> 13, 17, 18, 18 20, 26, <laughs> 31. 36 plus uh, the, the smite, which is uh, right. 32. 39 for the first, and then for the second hit, it's 2, 6, 8, uh, plus the smite, 8, 10, 12. 12 damage. All right, so as you slam down the first strike, you jam it right into the chest, and as you pull back the blade, you watch as one of the chest armor pieces flips open, and the flames, the furnace of its chest, that are starting to burn in again, begin to fill with the water from the water elemental, and more steam just emerges from it. Um, uh, as it's starting to, to feel the furnace burn out, you reach in with your dagger and find a cool spot and jam it right in the middle where you see where the, one of the embers is the, the brightest. And as your hand goes in and strikes it, the ember just goes dark immediately and the creature falls limp there. Yeah! What? Then, uh, so uh, with the way uh, Hunter's Mark works is I can move it to another. As a bonus action. As a bonus action. Yeah. Can I get it over to the one by Grog? Uh, what's the range on it? Oh, jeez. <laughs> hold oh, on, geez. Geez. Oh. Wait, hold on, I've got 90 feet. Card. Maybe, yeah. Okay, so I should have a little bit of movement left, so I'm going to shoot back up, high five my girlfriend on the way, and go as high as I can <laughs> into the room. I was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like punching a fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're gonna head over this way, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm only 60 feet because I'm not hasted wings. Right, so. but this also is a small area, so between like here, <coughs> it's almost 30 feet to there, and then 30 feet up, so you'd probably be closer to. Okay, here. awesome. Yeah, so you got it. <laughs> All right. That was a terrible. Oh, it ends your God. turn. It simulated the water. Yeah. Grog, you're up. All right. This guy can obviously play heavy. Reckless, great weapon master. Can I make the first attack? I'm gonna try for the first time. And remember this round. Don't forget your retaliation ability. Yeah, right. I forgot it last. Forget time. it a lot. I do. I know. I'm sorry. I get confused. I know. It's okay. Can I try? We've all been there. Thank you. Yeah. A trip attack. With my new what? maneuvers from uh, okay. Oh hell yeah! I mean, it's a D8, right? That's added to a successful. To the damage, but you still have to roll the hit. First. Okay. Reckless weight weapon master. Thirty minus five is twenty-five. Twenty-five hits, yes. Uh, Eleven, twenty-seven, thirty-seven, thirty-three, nine, forty, forty-one. 41. 41 points of damage to it. <laughs> and he's tripped. And he, he has, has to, to make, make a strength slow. saving throw. Correct. I don't know what. Uh, that is, you actually got a 15. And your DC for your abilities, do you have that figured out? Uh uh. You should have that figured out. Okay. It's 8 plus your strength modifier or 8 plus your proficiency bonus. You're way over. That's oh, fine. okay, cool. So it's 6 plus 8. So it's, it's 14 plus your strength bonus, which is, I believe, 8. 8. Yeah, 20, oh my God. Wow. Six. Wow. Not 26. That's it's it's 4, 36. Yeah, 14 no. plus 8 is 22. 76. Yeah, sure. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, the first hit, you knock it prone onto the ground, tripping it up from under itself as you sweep across its legs. You watch as one of the, the, the pauldrons that's built into its leg just kind of splinters off, and you can see kind of the inner mechanisms of the construct's leg. What do you want to do for your second attack? I want to, I want to hit it again! Yeah. Do it! Reckless great weapon, my star. Thank God for that. Seven. Shit, that might not be so good. No, twenty. That twenty just barely. Oh, it hits. is a hard twenty. That's right. Yeah, 20. Okay. One. Seven. Seventeen. Yes. And you're oh, ma- seventeen plus ten, so twenty-seven. Yeah, you're melee too. So the reduced visibility doesn't really affect you since you're right up against it. Yes. How much is that damage total? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven points. Okay. As as it as you swipe it from under the ground and it falls onto its back, it slams and hits the ground with the hard metallic. Using that momentum, you swing back, 
whack and slam it on top of its chest, which caves in briefly and can see bits of the flame of the interior furnace <laughs> flickering out of the edges where the metal is now crinkled inward and exposing the burning flame. Uh, I believe that is that your turn? Can I spend an action surge? You may. To do one more strike. You may. Into his Gallagher afflicted chest. Black, 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 black. That's a lot. 16, 34, 29. 29 hits. Nice. Good roll damage. So you, have, you have two more attacks with your actions. Oh, shit. Yeah, because it's. Oh. It's just another attack. I welcome, welcome to my world, man. Oh my 21, God. 30, 20, 20. 31 hits. Nice. Oh, no, no. It, 29 was the, mm-hmm. right. was the hit, and 31 was the damage. 31 was the damage? Yes. They're great. 21 plus 10. Okay, so as, as, as you pull your, your weapon up from that first impact, seeing the damage it's done, you grin and you feel like the veins bulge once more in your neck, and you bring it up a second time, or a third time, I guess, for this one, slamming it down, the chest caves in entirely, and you watch it kind of fall limp as its arms detach and fall to the side. It's done. Nice! You still have one more attack, and you haven't moved. Can I turn, like, to my right in my rage and just start running across the room to old uh, stupid butt on the floor. Sure. <laughs> old stupid butt. 50 feet. Good old. Oh, you got to end. Last one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> 17. That's a million. Yeah. 35, 30. 30 yeah, hits. Okay. Is it's so good you. when they're within range of Brog. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. That ends your turn, Grog. Yes. Thank All right. You. That brings us to Percival. Uh, I'm going to spend a point of uh, Dead Eye to that last one that's on the ground. Just And I, I think that just cancels out the disadvantage. Okay. Uh, and Smoke I'm going to cool. I'm going to take a. Uh, uh, yeah, let's just shoot him. Okay. Uh, that's a. Uh, yeah, it's a 27. 27 hits. So that's a. Uh, I know. That's uh, 10 points of damage, uh, two points of necrotic, two points of psychic. Okay. And I'm going to do the same. Uh, that's 32. That hits. Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, what a senseless waste of human life. <laughs> The tarot cards. Tarot cards are fine. They're actually fine. They were on the Just box. Let me let me know what magical items need me to reprint out for you. All of them. Oh. <laughs> Comfy uh, spell. Dice box. Can we get some oh, the dice box is towels? fine. Yeah. Like all it's of wood. It's towels. coffee. Ten points of coffee. Listen, Ten it's points like of coffee damage. It's like it may have landed um, on some water. That's uh, nine points of normal damage. Two points of psychic damage. Six points of necrotic. Okay. Somebody's running now. Yeah, Somebody buddy. Said wire. Mm. It's not and really for my third shot. <laughs> Not much. That's 20, that's 30 points. That uh, hits, yeah. That's uh, 17 points of normal damage, uh, four points of necrotic, one point of sidekick. Okay, so after Grog rushed up and slammed in this one's chest, he pulls back <laughs> and actually pulls the armored chest plate that retains the furnace in the inside off. It's still wedged uh, on the axe. Yes. And as it pulls it open, you see the flame begin to just spark and billow out of the chest. How do you want to do this? Yeah. It's I mean, like you, you just drowned You are frenzied yeah. raging right I want to right pour now. a cup of coffee. Cup of yeah. 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 Morning traffic, Percy. He's just like, ah, oh, oh. I'm just gonna sit. I've already got him second. And I'm just gonna find very carefully every little crack, and I'm just gonna get him in there. I'm just gonna listen to them bang around on the interior. Oh. I'm just gonna oh. rattle them around. You hear the ricochet on the inside. <laughs> As it does, the flicker <laughs> burns really bright. You can feel like it almost burns into your beard, but you like pull away real fast, almost like looking out of the trap <laughs> in Ghostbusters. Um, <laughs> so you turn away. The flames. <laughs> Burn upward and then immediately go dark afterward. It kind of falls and collapses to the ground. They're unmoving. I looked in the trap, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh no, no! It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. The worst. It's I'm seriously under the box, though, on the on the oh, light wire. But so. like coffee and wormwood are the two best things. Yeah. So you're just mixing the two you best know. things. Oh wow! Oh, oh. It's everywhere. <laughs> Holy cow, I have a coffee problem. You see one cockroach. <laughs> the coffee apocalypse has come. It's a critical role I mean, this like night. An eight ounce cup is oh, a normal geez. cup you would of coffee. Think. And I've been drinking it all night. You've got enough to like. How is there so much coffee? I here? don't know. Caffeinate half a Burbank right there. <laughs> 
Ignore me. It's hard, yeah, it's hard to. So anyway. The edge of the Mississippi. <laughs> so, as you all take a moment to look around, you can see that these three warriors now lie broken and destroyed on the ground, whether it be drowned, torn apart internally, or just bludgeoned in the center of their chest cavity, they are no longer moving. You still, now in the quiet, hear the rhythmic <clears throat> that's been perpetually feeding into the distant background of this entire structure deep beneath the volcano. Oh, what do you want to do? We should, um... Can I look at the golem? The, the construct that's down by me is his uh, face, the triangle face. Mm -hmm. Is it detachable? Like, could I remove it from the rest of his person? Uh, you can always just put it underneath the smelter yeah. and pour in. Make an investigation check. Hold on to your butts, that's a one. Okay. Um, I mean, there's no button for it. There's the old fashioned way. I'm going to land down next to the other one and start looking the same fashion. Okay. Across the room. Make an investigation check yeah. as well. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. All right, go for it. Okay. And I will do it the old fashioned way. So make a strength check, please. These are coffee. 27. Mm hmm. I mean, it's pretty, like, yeah. most of its armored pieces, uh, the arms that detach there, the head is a solid, uh, jointed portion to the torso. Mm. Okay. 22. 22. Yeah. And as you're inspecting this, you hear this horrible. <laughs> Sound yeah. in the distance, as you see Grog with his foot up on the center of its the uh, armored clavicle piece, just yanks the head off of it, tearing and causing the middle to bend back and spring for a moment in the air. Look, it's just like the one above the coals. Oh, that's how you oh, do it. Oh, but smaller. Good job, Grog. Is it? I guess it is. We gotta do all three heads. Yeah. yeah. That's an interesting phrase. See if <laughs> see if you can smelt some platinum into that thing, out. Grog. Should it be platinum? Should probably be platinum. Yeah. You no, know, we have the <laughs> platinum. Let's let's see what happens. Let's smelt the platinum into the heads. Yeah. 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 Right. You know how to do it because you're a blacksmith now. It's not yeah, like platinum. We're not go supposed with. to like like kissy face the head to make some sort of a three D shape. No, it's already got a pyramid in it. So Good deal. Look, I think yeah. we're going to put all three in. Yeah, the one. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. I, I, can I go over and um, archaically remove the other two noggins? Sure. May I may I assist by holding the bodies with Bigby's hand while you pull the heads? Ooh. Yes, actually. So go ahead and do make a string check with advantage, Grog. Twenty-three. Yeah. So with Bigby's hand wrapping around the body, kind of clutching it like an action figure, you <laughs> very easily just <laughs> pop the head off, and you now have two. Disembodied heads. One more. You want to help me with this one too? Yeah. Show <laughs> me your voice. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, it takes a little while and it pulls off, but it's mildly deformed from the uh, the ink pulling off. Your it seems like the hole in the face is intact, but okay. it took so hard to try. We got the ashtrays. That 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 that'll do. Let's uh, let's try this. All right, we head over to the smoke tank apparati. Okay, so you walk on over, and it's it's a it's a small uh, it's a small furnace built in there with extremely uh, hot coals, and and uh, it seems to be an influx of just perpetual heat. But it's there's a large bellows next to it that you can use to try and uh, increase the heat there for a temporary short time. And you, like once again, strangely, you look over to it, and you know exactly how this works. Like you've always worked with it before. So you begin to, the, the flames that were kind of like a, a burning orange red, extremely hot, begin to just flare into bright, bright yellow and white in places. And the heat emanating from it is enough that it causes a lot of you to get uncomfortable just in the presence. You have to take a step back. Uh, Grog just enduring it. Um, <laughs> I'm still a fire hydrant. I'm actually, Keyleth is just on fire marshal duty. Okay. And uh, I turn into, like, I do some misting, like it's Six Flags. You know, the, <laughs> To, okay. cool off, to cool off Bex. Really they can't just like run through you like really Universal City Walk or something? <laughs> yeah, just to make yeah. Bex look really yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead. Mainly it's just like, to make Bex yeah. sexy. That's okay. really all I'm going for. Well done. Okay. It's I like turn into an dance. elemental. I've got to do something with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, shit. So yeah. go ahead and make a, uh, a check with your blacksmithing tools, which is your proficiency modifier. And okay. we'll say for this, uh, because it is more of a dexterous use of this skill, add your dexterity modifier. 
24. 24. So, uh, in setting up preparation, you take each one of the heads and to fill each one of their kind of, uh, con- say concave, but it's an it's a interior pyramid okay. space. The convex is outward. Concave. Um, it will be about, I'd say, 100 platinum piece per- pieces or so to fill each face void. Okay. Um, so you take the platinum, you melt it down into the smelter, get it into where it's in the, in the, uh, the gripped, like, tong-held uh, metallic reservoir until it eventually melts down. You then pour it into each of the heads, so 300 platinum utilized to do this. It fills to the very edge, some of it spills over. Um, oh no. But you can easily kind of snip that off. Um, so, as you wait for it to cool, um, which you could probably help with, actually, as there is no uh, basin for uh, quenching the metal at the moment, so the steam drip rises up all around, uh, and you turn the heads over, and each one leaves these heavy metallic pyramid pieces that are smooth and perfect on three of the sides, and one of them appears to be uh, almost like a broken crystal on the inside. Like it's it's just a shattered, messed up section. Puzzle piece. We gotta fit them together. Okay, so if we fit these together. They seem to fit together very well. You figured out very quickly. They fit and hold together. With the jaggedy ends or with the smooth ends? Uh, the jaggedy ends all fit together. Does, and form. This, does this now make another concave piece? Uh, all together, it makes a pyramid that is that kind of comes to a central point. Let's put right. the big thing. Okay. So I've still got some spider climb, so I'm going to grab one. Okay. And lift up uh, all yeah. the flyers. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. So the three of you make it up, kind of fit it together, push it in. And back up. It fits in perfectly. It just slips in. You all back up. It really ties the room together. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, we push it in harder. All right, make a strength check. (laughs) This is definitely going to be really good. I push on my sister's shoulder blades and push her in further. (laughs) All right, you guys. Get behind and shove, no, push. No. Nothing. Can I try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, you try. I run across the coal pits and Superman punch. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. My barrel roll out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> I I rage before I do. Oh Jesus. Okay. There's a oh, dent Jesus. in it now. I know. Advantage, Just I advantage on this yeah. then. Bow, bow, bow. That was what I was hoping for. A twenty-one. <laughs> Do the the impact on this causes the whole room to shake almost from the the blast. You hear the echo uh, right up the stairs in the hallway that you emerge from. You can hear it just continuing as it slowly dissipates in the distance. You land and you can see there's actually like a knuckle mark in the platinum from the impact. No effect. Hey, I wonder. I've got an idea. I jump out of the cold. What if we <laughs> take this thing off of the cross beams, right, and stick it in the coals or something? Because why are the coals here, right underneath it? I think it needs to be... I drop water elemental form. You think it needs to be hot? I don't know, maybe. First? I don't know. I look, I, I kind of, uh, I line up the apparatus and kind of look across the room. Does it f- feel like there's any other kind of, like, Indiana well, the, the, Jones? The stairway is in the way, because the stairway just doesn't uh, come all the way up to the top of the ceiling, and then back here, I mean, it blocks this kind of passage between the two of them. Hmm. Um, but as you go and look up, all, all it is is the, the, the kind of reddish, kind of rust-colored uh, cross beams that are bolted against the wall, and in the center there's the, uh, the, the round golden crest with the triangle shape, which now is now filled with the platinum uh, key that you've uh, Should we try made. Are the coals hot or the coals cold? The coals are currently now cold. They've been, they've, oh, they've. Let's, let's re- should we try light. turning it? Yeah, we should. Oh, yeah, oh, good that. idea. But we should reignite these coals, because I think it's bad that they're burnt out right now. I think so, too. Um, I, just to test, yeah, I'm going to do burning hands, and how okay. quickly do they catch? Um, pretty quickly. And you get the sense that they were slowly catching anyway. There's something about I mean, the, the heat that the general room perpetually emanates uh, kind of maintains mm. the, the, the fires within. Um, but your, your flaming with the burning hands very quickly kind of elevates and quickens that process. And you watch as the coals now gr- uh, glow to a bright orange, kind of red hue, and you can feel the heat emanating from them. Can we turn the circle? Does it move? So you go up to the edge and you grab the edge of the uh, of the golden crest and tug. It's not moving. Gosh darn it! Are what there are we supposed to do? any um, like inlays, like 
Make an investigation check. In the circle? Okay. Maybe do we have to... Not my uh, strong point. God damn it, that's like the fourth three I've yeah, rolled today. Really hey, you're looking inspired. Too? I mean, we're right you there. Are, <laughs> you are inspired if you want to use your... Up to you. Got better. 12. 12. It's just smooth gold. There's no wanna, signs or runes or anything. I want to see if there's anything smooth in the gold? in the holes that were left by the by the soldiers who left. What was what? The, well, the, the three suits of armor came out of the wall, so there's now a wall that we haven't seen. Okay. Behind them. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be shit. gold. So you go and you go and inspect the. Uh, yeah. the okay. Okay. platinum is for the. Okay. Trammel. So you go ahead and look inside. Uh, which one? The. Uh, I'll, 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 I'm going to do all three, but I'll start on the one on the okay. left. Okay. Roll investigation check. Yeah. Wittershins. Let's uh, investigation check. Oof. What did you do? Six. <laughs> is it also a three? Yeah, it's also a three. I mean, you look around inside, and it, the shape is just a perfect indentation of the physical form of the three uh, metal warriors. You don't see any signs of anything beyond just enough of a cavity to fit them snugly when they're dormant. Hey, Scanlan. You want to use yes. your uh, dragon fisting friend to put that pyramid in the coals and heat it up and then shove it back in? Wait, what? <laughs> Do you want to use Bigby's hand oh, yeah? to take that pyramid, shove it in the coals, heat it up and see if that makes a difference, shove it back in hot? So you want me to heat the platinum and then shove it into the guy's face? Bigby's hand, by the way, the... at this time is faded. It only lasts for a minute with concentration. Oh, so. oh yeah. I'll do it. I thought maybe right. the pyramid heated up could make a difference. I don't know. <clears throat> Throwing spaghetti right, at the I'll, wall. I'll walk up into the coals and I'll take the platinum pyramid out and I'll drop it down into the coals. Okay, it's about like, 15 feet up off the ground. Like shit. Can I jump? I'll, boots of Pharaoh leaping? You can. I'd, I'd, I'd say you leap up and, and grab the edges of the seal with your your you know, giant strength. And kind of wedge your fingers into the side and pull it out and land on the coals. Um, you do take uh, four points of fire damage. Okay. As the coals spring and burn into your feet and just the proximity of the heat, but you back up out of the, the coal base center and you're now holding the the key. I'll drop it in the coals. Okay, only the three pieces kind of come apart as soon as you pull it from the from the sections. You have the three different pieces right there in your arms. Okay. So when the three pieces go together, the part that goes towards the wall, it's another point, like a, like, like a, it's, it's like a, it's like a four-sided pyramid. All right, it's, it is a pyramid, so yeah. the whole pyramid goes in the wall. Yeah, and it's just, it's a, it's a flat seal from the outside. Okay, and you see the outline of the triangle. This needs to be gold, do you? Why would it be gold? Well, the outside the is ring, gold. The circle is gold. That's true. Maybe the platinum was only for the trammels and not the key. Yeah, maybe this is. We the can try it. Well. Finish, and we have we have gold. Finish my Let's stupid idea, and then we'll move on to the next stupid All right. idea. Mm -hmm. Good call. Uh, have the, has the platinum uh, pyramid started to heat up yet? I mean, you're holding it in your arms. I drop it in the coals. Okay, you drop it in the coals. Um, you wait about five minutes or so, and it, you can see a, a faint bit of heated glow. Um, it's slowly heating up, but you know these these, these coals are not they're not smelter we ready. Heat per it se. too much because we don't like, want to melt it. I feel like it. this is stupid, this but is fine. I'll of... pick them up and tell me. <laughs> tell me <laughs> after the coal. That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you. I was really enjoying make, that. <laughs> make an intelligence check, Rob. Oh, no. <laughs> to, Come to, on, to man. assemble the three puzzle pieces we're, of the key. We're walking him through it. We just don't want to touch Negative it. Negative two. Nine. <laughs> He's having a hard time putting those pieces together, oh, guys. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> Death Walker's board it to fire. I'm going to start helping okay. pull All right. it together. You each take five points of fire damage, just yep. helping kind of touch ah. and assemble this key. Um, once you get it put together and you kind of hold it with the grasp of your, your hands, you leap using the boots of Pharaoh leaping yep. and jam it back inside. <laughs> Posterized. Land off the side. Uh, Nothing. You yeah. asshole. Son yeah. of a bitch. You got a fucking tried and gold. Tried and gold. Maybe tried and gold. I have one other thought. What? What is it? What's the red? What's the red armor made out of? <gasps> the red armor. What are the armors made out of? Hmm. I mean, it's like a dark, reddish black metal. Can we melt the golems into their heads? What? Melt each one. Maybe it's got to well, be the, the metal that they're the made The triangles out. are like this big, and the armor is like massive. Yeah. yeah, so take some of the metal and melt it down into the head. 
What is the metal? Can um, we do like a check to see what kind of metal it is that they're made of? Um, yeah, Tinker Tailor Spy. Can you well, take a look at that? Either of these guys could attempt to do that. So I'm take a look. What, what would that be? Uh, would be a, this would be an intelligence check plus your tinkering benefit. Right. Intelligence check plus your blacksmithing proficiency modifier. So, so that's intelligence plus my normal tinker, tinker check. Yeah. Uh, tinker check. You tinker. <laughs> so that's not bad. Let's see. Nineteen. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. That's uh. It's like 32. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so both of you say out loud at the same time, oh, this is this is volcanic glass metal. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is volcanic, volcanic glass, glass metal. metal. <laughs> there it is. Ah! 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 Ah!
It's just going to reveal another stairway, you guys. Come on. It's going to be another door. All right. Don't do you guys see <laughs> National Treasure? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? No, I never saw National oh Treasure. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, well, we'll make a <laughs> thing of it. It's Nick Cage and his most mediocre. St. Nicholas. Yeah. All right. Oh. So. <laughs> As the door eventually comes to a stop, just maybe a foot below it reaches the ceiling. Um, black smoke just pours in from the other chamber. You watch as it kind of immediately fills the ceiling and then begins to just dissipate up the stairway and hallway above you, where you guys had originally descended from. Um, you see flashes of sparks and embers through these clouds of black smoke and soot within the chamber that's obscuring most of your view within the inside. And that heavy pounding, that <clears throat> is much louder now, and you can sense that is actually, this is the source of that rhythmic beat, that's that, that metal on metal clang you've been feeling since you first came into this series of chambers. Um, you can see small streams of glowing orange molten rock within the chamber, which is slightly down and before you. It looks like two small, like 10 foot wide uh, rivers of molten rock, metal, you can't quite tell from here, but they're just glowing orange and red, and they both convene and go dark in the center where it looks like they're being covered or obscured by something that you can't quite make out at this distance. A giant anvil? Make a perception check. Anybody who wants to glance in there right now, the only people who could really look in would not be Percival and Vax because no, they're in the way back. Got humans, and Keyleth is hiding. Shit. If you want to glance in the side, you can. I can do like a peek. Sure. Seventeen. <clears throat> Sixteen. Twenty-four. Oh. Alrighty. Um, glancing in, it's. The sound is creepy. No, it's a lot of sound. So, what you get, to, what, what you can make out for the most part is this central platform is raised. It's, it looks like there's a staircase that leads up to a middle platform that is in the center of this larger chamber, um, and it looks to be a couple of large, heavy platforms or pillars that have roaring flames at the edges of them. Um, you can see beneath it the two pools of lava that kind of disappear beneath it, and you see a hint of a spiral staircase on each side that kind of curls around the back end of where those two bits of, uh, those two rivers of molten rock meet. Um, behind that, you see the flashes, the <laughs> like these rhythmic engines of sparks that are just kind of pouring out the black smoke that is perpetually filling the upper part of this chamber. Uh, however, since now it has a place to escape, the room is slowly revealing the interior. Um, you can see on top of this uh, platform in the center, uh, what appears to be a large, uh, dark metal an object, roughly five, about four or five feet from front to back, and about three feet wide of dark jet black metal, with small veins of glowing red and orange that kind of curl around it, that occasionally flare with each impact of whatever this rhythmic metal clanging is behind it. As the smoke begins to dissipate even further, the more visibility reveals this shape of this object would definitely be that of an anvil. Um, you can see a number of chains that are linked to it on each side that kind of dangle off the edge. Um, you cannot quite see what's at the end of these chains. They're kind of falling off the side of the platform and out of view. You have to get closer to see what they are. Um, however, the shape that you now see right behind this platform, looming at about 20 feet tall from your estimation at this distance, Keyleth, as you're the one who sees this before anybody else does, you see a stocky humanoid form that is just looming over the anvil, both of its fists kind of resting on each side of the platform. Um, you can see its trunk-like arms and legs are dark gray stone, and the, the head carries no face. It's just a smooth absence of face. Um, you can see what it looks to be like red cables that dangle from the top and the back of the head that are then pulled together in the back like a ponytail. And around the center of its torso and its lower body, these extremely thick layers of leather wrap that almost make like a kilt that dangle past the knees of this giant stone structure that just stands there, looming over. In one of its hands, you see a comparably small 
uh, but impressive looking hammer of gold and black that is currently chained to the platform. It's the one that isn't currently dangling off the sides. It's in its hand, and it's just kind of resting there. Um, and you can see the heat that's emanating from the both the, the pools of molten rock to the sides of it and the flames behind. The Most of the imagery is just perpetually shifting and uh, being altered by the sheer volume of heat that this chamber holds. Um, this is apparently the core anvil, and whatever decor around it looks very intimidating. So, what do you want to do? Okay, I kind of the, the the humanoid figure doesn't seem to have noticed us. He's just it, it, pretty much not moving. It's not moving. It's just standing there, right at the platform. Like is over that, the anvil. Like is that kind of looming over it. Still happening. Yep. And that the figure is like twenty feet tall. You said how yeah. big? Oh, yeah. And he's not moving. You don't you don't see the ceiling in here because it's all just filled with black smoke. Can we see the source of the sound? Can we see what's causing that yet? You, you can't right now. It's, it's it's behind that that entity, and you just see kind of behind where the platform is and the the darkened uh, back portion of the chamber. You see these two flashes of spark and flame that just. Well, as they do, so you watch. Intimidating. See bursts of smoke and flame just kind of billow up and continue to fill, and feed the ceiling. So. Um, I, I convey what I see. I think, think you might have a guardian that you have to fight over that hammer, Grog. Oh, again? I heard oh, Grog and I creep uh, up <laughs> past my sister and place uh, a hand uh, on his uh, knee, which is in my fucking face. I am. Um, I, if we can take 60 yeah. seconds, I kind of back up into a corner and start <laughs> casting Conjure Elemental and Conjure another Water Elemental to be on our side. Okay. From the staff. Maybe he's a friendly giant, really creepy looking entity. Maybe he was the guy who tried to use the anvil before. Maybe he's the all father. Is that what he's called? Well, look, before no, we step into the all hammer. The all hammer. Before we step into that arena, we control this space. How quick and quiet can you be to see if he responds to your movement? I mean, I can get in there. Yeah. In and out, super fast. Sure. You want me to get a look? Yeah. See if, uh, see if he like, reacts dart up to, to him, you. Go up to him, go and then dart back. Depending There's on how some, far it is. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on. We might want to be careful about getting too high. There's a lot of smoke in there. We don't want to suffocate. That's the only time Marisha has ever said those words. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We're live on the fucking internet, Sam Regal. <laughs> Your mom's watching. <laughs> She'd be proud. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's the end of the night show. Oh my gosh. Um. <laughs> so, what are you guys doing? Uh, you, can okay. you add any of your to my sneaking? I mean, I. To, she, she, you have to stay within a certain radius yeah, of her to get the effect. Never mind, I'll be fine. Yeah, do it. <coughs> this, is what you, this is what you do. Just All fly right. in really fast. Be creepy but I need and to quick. Do it an additional stealth? It, creepy is automatic, it's a given. Yeah. Because this is this is heading into the chamber as opposed to just staying behind the, right. the platform? Yes, yeah, I'll see you after all again. Okay. Natural 20. Oh. Oh. All right. We don't even notice him leave. <laughs> so, you. Head into the chamber. Black. As you Float step inside. Float inside. Um, okay. So as you make your way inside, you look left and right. You can see like the, the stone work, uh, the the dark stone work begins to mingle with the metal and it begins to go into almost like edges, like rough edges of the volcanic rock that it's built into. Around you, you see two large pillars to each side of you that gives has these these red rocks uh, embedded in the side that give these kind of <laughs> faint gl red glow that just. Gives, gives a hint of light to the chamber. Um, there's the heat from the pools, and just the, just the whole chamber in here is very uncomfortable for you. you. Thankfully, your armor giving you the heat resistance does help a bit. Um, you can see the anvil there up on top of the staircase on the raised platform, and that large hulking entity that's just kind of looming over it at the moment. Can I, if, if he's here right and I'm over here, can I fly up to just there, so I can see the front of him a bit, or the angle of his face, if there is one, anything to see, or is he facing out towards us? Facing out towards you. Oh, he is, never mind then. Um, 
shoot. What are the chances? You got fuzz on your face. Can I get it? Yeah, please. No, you got it. You got it. Hey. Oh, I saw. I saw it. Yeah, it was like so, right on his lip. So every time we talked, it was like. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so what are you doing? Be bold. Just float in space and do that. Okay, you just fly up. Yeah. And just wait. Yeah. Okay. That is not stealthy. <laughs> no, I mean from where I am. I'm not making noise. I'm not flying closer to him. Oh. Right. I'm just doing this. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Whatever you want to do. Okay. I, mean, um, to I stealthily it. get his attention by waving yeah. my hand in his face. <laughs> <I did. Whoa. laughs> um, but as you, you know, there's a difference between like stalking off in the corner and then yeah. flying up into the center to get a look and then seeing if he sees you. Right. So, what are you doing? Uh, hmm. I have to distinguish that. Okay. I'm going to uh, fly back to the gang. Okay. <laughs> Uh, could you get this fuzz off my face? Oh, I couldn't get it off the whole time. No, but it just keeps reaffixing. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I flew in and out. We're going to have to get his attention. Yeah, we have to see yeah. if he. It's got to be you because you're so fast. If you get his attention, you can start out really fast. Well, what do we think we're doing here? Are we talking to this thing? Should we try we talking a... to him? We might. Yeah, Maybe I it's mean, better. We shouldn't fight him. He's it's really a crazy good. plan, but it just might work. You can speak <laughs> celestial to him, right? You don't just read it. That's that's. The first and yes. Yeah. <laughs> the first oh, and Swedish. The first and I was like, the Swedish. Celestial is the same as the Swede. So we, we now oh, have Alexandria oh. Cannon that Celestial sounds I like Swedish. Really, you can bury that. You can bury that. As deep as you want. That's, that's, Thank you for that, Tell us. Oh, I thought Celestial sounded more like singing. No, well, you know, it's like yes. a whole, yeah, it's like a yeah. whole thing. So. You, it's sweet, it's can sweet. I get another a quick uh, rerun down of the room? So he was up at the top of the stairs, facing out, not moving. And was there was that like wall behind him, or does it go further past it's him at all? Uh, it, it, I'd say about fifteen feet behind him. You can see what looks to be a, the occasional uh, reflection of the flashes of the light, where it looks to be there is a wall behind him. There is okay. an end to the chamber, but you're too far away, and it's too obscured by smoke for you to make too much of a. You know, to know exactly what's behind. And when I got in there, I didn't get close enough to see if there was any sort of good hiding spots beyond him. Make perception check. Okay. That's fine. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Um, the, I mean, there are corners to the chamber. You kind of, as you fly up and glance, you can see what looks to be two more small, uh, or let's say, equal size pits of coals behind him on either side. And you do glance what looks to be two kind of almost uh, twenty foot wide domed like machines that you see the, the flame and the, the billowing smoke are being pushed out of. Um, it's some like weird engine like structure. There's two of them behind it that you can see the flames kind of, and that's where the sparks are shooting out of each time. I'm I'm oh. gonna speak to him. Do the talking thing. I'm gonna go back in though and but call out. Uh, 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 and Don't get up close. Before we start, it does, how long has it been since we entered this chamber? Uh, it's been at this point maybe ten minutes. You it entered have, into the volcano. Oh, into the volcano. Yeah, entered into the first forge room. I'm uh, trying to find find out if okay, freedom of with, movement is still on. Okay, without with all the the smelting put together, I'd say it's probably been close to an hour. Mm-hmm. I'm going to recast. Can I only have one like condition effect on him, or can I like? You can have as many as you put on him, as long as they're not, if they're not concentration, you can stack as many as you want. Okay, freedom of movement is not. I'm gonna cast freedom of movement on you again, and then I think, I think um, enhance ability is though. So I'm gonna it use concentration. my concentration to give you cat's grace, right? You were you were using dexterity, right, for the smelting. Yeah, well, yeah, on that one. Be, is it going to be, yeah, yeah, it'll be dex or strength for, for... For most blacksmithing you gather, it'll be dex or strength. Okay, well, str- strength is way better than dex. So dex. Then I'll give you Cat's Grace. You have advantage on dex checks. Yeah. Okay. For the fine-tuning of the trammels. And DM, mm-hmm. how long were we in this room? In that room? Yeah. Since you entered that chamber, it's been about an hour. It's been about an hour. Yeah. Right, my wings then are... Oh, At this point, yeah, your oh. wings have been dissipated. Well, so I'm not afraid. Go talk to this thing. Happening. I'm going to say in Celestial, I'm going to say hello. I'm going to say it out. You just shout it into the chamber. Hello? We come seeking the Allhammer? We need help. Vecna walks the earth again. We come seeking a way to defeat him once again. 
We come with the blessings of Pelo. And I'm going to start entering very gingerly. Yeah. Okay. So Percival is entering. I actually threw out that I crept back in ahead of that. So. Yes. So you are in there hiding. <laughs> I'm floating yeah. behind him on a broom. Alrighty. Scanlan, where are you coming in on this? Uh, I will just lag behind Grog. Ish. Like you do. Okay. So we have Percival walking in. Who's right behind Percival? Grog. Grog, alrighty. Scanlan, coming up behind Grog. You're floating Does above it have him. to be single file with this? No, it doesn't. Okay, then I'm going to be back, like, over to the side of Scanlan. Okay, there. Yeah. Alright, Keel? I'll take up the rears with my water elemental. Okay, it's your one. The ground is still super duper hot, right? The ground is, yes. Okay. Just making sure. Alrighty, so as you begin to enter the chamber and make your way towards the stairway in the central kind of raised platform, with the two flaming pillars that flank it. Um, you're shouting this into the chamber, it echoes through, and you still hear the <laughs> Each flash of light you can see kind of cause this uh, faint glow across your faces and the faces of your companions. Their shapes go from like dark obscured in the shadow and smoke into a, a brief reveal of your form. Um, as you begin to approach the stairs, you hear this faint grinding of stone as the faceless uh, giant's head slowly looks up to face you, but that's all. I keep walking. Me too. Okay. As you guys continue to walk, you get to the bottom of the stairs, and you watch as one of its hands on the side that clutches the hammer unfurls and releases it, and the hammer, once let go, Swings the chain going uh, the, the chain going taut, and it <laughs> slams into the side of the raised platform out of sight. And as it does, it stands up and rights itself, but its head is still looking down at you, Percival. We ask permission to use the anvil. Tell him, like, nod yes. Once for yes, and mm. sh sh shake his head. Mm. <laughs> how, about, how about this? Joking. I'm not afraid. If he takes offense, I'll take it better than most. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you guys, do you ascend the stairs? I'm in the front now. I will behind. ascend. Grog is now moved to the front. All right, and you take your first couple steps onto the stairs. As you do, the large stone entity. <coughs> Spins around and kind of steps into the smoke a bit that kind of obscures its kind of shoulders. I'm just going to cast Care Wounds myself one more area. time go for while it. this is happening. I'm going to down a potion. <clears throat> okay, go for it. Um, and then I have a question too. Hunter's Mark has a duration of an hour, but since that last battle lapsed, correct? am I not allowed to slide it to this guy? No, it's gone now. It. It's been more time. The, the, the process of smelting and then re smelting and Figuring out and adjusting everything, uh, it's taken a, b over an hour. So Can I use my short uh, second wind? Just cause. Sure. Yes. <clears throat> 10 plus three. 13. I don't really use fighter form right now. Damn it. Heal 13 points, 223. Alrighty. So as you continue to step up the stairs, Grog, as you approach, you get about a third of the way up there. And you hear what sounds like uh, heavy metal scraping against stone, and just one giant burst of sound. <laughs> and you watch as the giant figure shifts and turns back out of the smoke, holding across its front in one hand a large cleaver like blade with runes glowing across the side of it. Um, about 15 feet or so from end to end. And as it spins, it looks down towards you all and kind of just holds it in front, almost like the flat end of it facing out towards you in almost a ceremonial way. What kind of runes? Uh, make an arcana check. Maybe if you use it in the right way, you know, like he'll, it'll be fine because only some people Eleven. can use that. You have no idea. Okay. Are they runes or like in a language? Is it like a script? Uh, these are specifically arcane runes of an enchantment type nature. 
Magnus just holding the blade out in front like that, clutching the the handle on one side and putting its hand against the flat of the blade on the other. Do we have our bits of god? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might want to just have them available for a moment. Yeah. I take mine out of my pocket. So Grog, you walk to the top? Mm Mm-hmm. You make it to the very top of the stairs, and there's the anvil there before you. And the the heat you can feel it's it's like you know when you're when you're close to an explosion and there's that brief minute of extremely uncomfortable heat that you flinch? It's that perpetually. And all of you are just sweating masses beneath your armor. Uh, you can you're afraid at certain points that your eyebrows are beginning to singe and curl. Um, it's hard to breathe because the air is so hot and so thick, and occasionally you can't help but find yourself coughing at the caustic black smoke that fills a large, a large portion of the chamber. Unconsciously checking my beard. Okay. <laughs> As you approach the top of the stairs, the head just looks down at you. What do you do? Am I standing at the anvil You're now? You're standing right at the edge of the stairs, the very top of the platform, and the anvil's there, maybe like five feet in front of you. You can see all the chains that are hanging on the side and dangling off the sides of the platform. Can I see what's where the chains are leading, or are they just dangling off? Well, like it's it's, it's about I'd say the platform is about twenty feet wide, and so the chains that are all hooked in multiple places to the edges and the outside parts of the anvil are taut and then dangling off the edge of the platform, so you can't see what they okay. are. Maybe you know, one of them is the tools. hammer because that's what you let fly off I, the I side. Maybe they're the tools. Keep track of which one was was the hammer. Hey, okay. Give me the give me the platform. Okay. We'll put it together first, please. <laughs> uh, with the platinum, I will approach the anvil. Okay, you step up to the edge of the anvil. As it does, the blade tilts set now, as opposed to the flat facing you. One of the two bladed edges is now. I stop. I mean... In your vision of how to do it, did you see this guy? Uh, did I? No. Do I? No. no, I've got nothing over there. I don't think do I see any uh, uh, blacksmithing tools, anything that I would use to hammer this? The hammer that you let go of. Oh, that's hanging up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doom, yeah. Doom, doom, I saw side. that, but you didn't get a great look at it by the time it was chucked off the side. <sighs> Flat edge. That does feel like a ready set. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I take one step back. The blade goes to a flat. Uh, so, next after the edge is decapitation. Probably. Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure that would be like 150 points of damage or well, something no, worse. What if you go and try to pick up that hammer first? Do you need it? Well, like I'm, I'm picturing the anvil like right in front of me, and he's just off to the side, right? The anvil is is right in front of you. He's on the other side of the anvil. You only see the upper part of the torso, because so he's standing on what off the below platform that? below it. You see, you see from the waist up, because he's about twenty feet tall from top to bottom. You only see about ten feet of his torso there. Uh-huh. The blade's out in front. Is and he, the hammer. Is the oh my ha- god, that's so the, big, though. Is the hammer yeah. somewhere between me and him? Yeah, it's. it's mm, make a perception check to see if you remember the, which chain the it was. Table to the thing that's yes. 10 feet. Oh my god, it's so Seven. Seven. There's four chains on each side that are dangling off the side, and you're not sure which one it is. Oh, it went It went hanging. Yeah, when you let go, it went off and held off the side, so now there's like four chains that are taut on each side of the anvil that are. Is he, is he, a, is he a, a, another golem? Uh, it looks to be a golem like construct, yeah. And it's it's like like you've seen golems and you've, you've encountered golems before and they're 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 you know the, the constructs of them uh, can vary. This one, uh, elements of it have the same proportions of a golem, but there are elements of it that seem more human like as opposed to just like an armored, you know, battering ram of a of a, of a this one looks almost like it's 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 craft and ref, like the refined details of it, including like you can look up and you know your perception roll isn't high enough and you're too far away to make out much more of its form. So instead is of the sword it, like as big as our table show... is across. Hold on. Oh, what if we show him one of our little beans? Well, I pulled it she out. pulled one out. Yeah. Oh, she did. Okay. Yeah. And well, what, what we if about you the... have to show him how good a blacksmith you are to earn the privilege? Yeah, but I got to get to the anvil to do that. Yeah. 
yeah, the blade in his hand, just it's the like, just the blade from like from hilt to end is about fifteen feet long. Oh. Scanlan, oh, Scanlan, geez. can you can you read what's the arcane runes on his sword? Do you know what this enchantment I is? I can certainly try. <laughs> make an make an arcana check, Scanlan, as you kind of glance over, stepping up to the edge of the stairs. Can I help him? In some mm, way? No, this is purely based on his knowledge. You got this, Scanlan. Come on. This is Arcana. Yes. Mm-hmm. Come on, vacation Scanlan. Uh, it's uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, the runes across the blade uh, specifically deal with the uh, cursing the physical form of what touches its blade. Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. Instead of walking towards Yandel, can I start walking to the right? Okay, you walk to the right. Like one towards one of those chains that's okay. dangling on. The chains are immediately to the left and right of the anvil, so right. to go towards the chain, you'd be stepping closer to the anvil, and as you turn to the side, its head just kind of tracks you as you go. Oh, it's fucking creepy. Is it tilting it down the blade? Or you haven't moved staying? forward, so no, it is not. Okay. Can I keep moving in that direction? Okay, so you can step forward towards the chain. The blade comes down to a flat end towards you. I'll stop. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm just gonna try and sneak around the side of it. We'll get to that. Okay. What's behind it? Uh, make a perception check. Uh, 19. Okay. Glancing over what you can see between the smoke, you see the, the, the two pits of, of burning coals to the behind right and left of it, um, with small, looks like small steps that lead into the coals on each side. And you see the two edges of these large, almost, they almost look like cylindrical turbines of stone and metal where the, the impacts are and the flames flickering out from it. Are those billows or are those something else? The, is it more complicated? You're not sure. Like a lot of it's obscured from the smoke that's spilling out of it, and you're too far, and the light's too dark in here. From that distance. What, yeah, happened, what would happen if we put that machine out? Well, it's not like you can just step up to the anvil before <clears throat> the metal's hot anyway, right? That's right. So maybe we're stepping up to the anvil too soon. Maybe you have to heat the metal first. I think that this feels like a guardian. Mm-hmm. Uh, what if we put the yeah, water I, elemental in the? I, I was going to say I'm going to I'm going to kind of come into the room a little bit. Okay, so you step in. Uh, most of you are kind of like at the base of the stairs. Mm-hmm. Grog's at the top of the stairs. Um, Scanlan kind of stepped up behind him to look and look at the runes and the blade. That's where you currently reside. Is his eyesight still trained on Grog? Correct. I'm going to send my water elemental forward and see if it attracts its attention, since it's not okay. like a mortal. Where do you send it? Towards the anvil. Okay, so you head up the stairs, the water elemental kind of swarms around the side. You see wherever it, as it moves forward, there's just steam pouring off of it from the heat of the ground and the surrounding uh, metal and stone. As it comes up the steps, more and more steam just emerging off the back of its body. Um, it comes to the top, and it's now next to Grog. You head it to- send it towards the anvil? Yeah, but it didn't Grog train to the right? Grog stepped to the right and then began to step forward and then stopped. Does the water elemental seem to be catching its attention at all, or is it still looking at Grog? It's still looking at Grog. Can I move the elemental to the left to see if it follows the elemental? Okay, elemental moves to the left, it doesn't follow the elemental. I wouldn't move send it, it any closer to the anvil, though. Well, you might just swing at the thing that got closer. That's kind of what I'm wondering. Send him in attack mode. It might send him in attack mode and then he just. So, I mean, unless we're short on ideas, we might have to just start starburst this thing, scatter. Well, who, and run who, came, who forged here before? What god? The Allhammer. Yeah. Oh. Ioun helped. Paylor helped. Well, sh- should we show our god shit? Did we do that yet? Well, yeah. I'm gonna fly up next to Grog, but I'm gonna go past him. Okay. And I'm gonna hold up the little beetle power. Okay. His attention kind of focuses in between the two of you. Doesn't change his stance. The blade is still tilted down towards you. Mm. I'm gonna step one step <coughs> forward with it. Okay. Mm. So you know, no further than Grog stepped that first time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The blade is still kind of yeah. turned turn towards you. Doesn't seem to react. All right, I back up. No more. Fuck. You think was better think otherwise. Grog's gonna just be doing some shit. I kind of want to put the, the I want to put the engineering behind it out. I wanna I wanna put those pistons out. But what if the pistons are? 
fueling the, yeah, the, fire, the fires and the, like the, the forge. I think we need to forge yeah, with it. I think we want to dick around. I'm going to. We still can't see behind them. Fly over we still to the can't side. see what's sending up those. You're not close enough and you don't have a far enough view. It's kind of blocking the bulk of it. I'm going to fly to the side, like against the wall. What about an oracle arrow? Yeah, that's what I was going to do so I could shoot oh. around. Okay. And so you fly off of the side of the chamber. Yeah, and I'm gonna shoot a oracle arrow like behind him to okay. see like what's going on over there. Okay, you uh, you go and fire the arrow just past him. As you do, his head darts with the speed of the arrow as it clacks against the back of the wall. Without even looking towards you, the this hand releases the blade and the blade swings a wide arc about a foot above your head. Grog <laughs> slams something in the back of the wall out of sight. You hear what sounds like heavy chains snapping and falling to the ground. And the wall behind you, where you enter the chamber, <laughs> slams shut. As you all kind of hear the sound and take in the, the scenery, you watch as it retracts the blade Shit. into an offensive position. God damn it. And we're going to take a break. Oh! <laughs> we'll be back here in just a moment, guys. Um, <laughs> We have a giveaway. Oh, we have oh, a giveaway. Shooting at it. <laughs> it's all right. We did our due diligence, you know. Whatever. We tried to be friendly. We poked it. We prodded it. And we um, so it nice things. This is a big package. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, I'm going out to to a bunch of folks there. It's the uh, it's the complete black poison wood set, what? which is what awesome. It's the tray, poison the vault, wood. the dice oh. tower. Um, it's oh, oh god, it's all falling. Ah. Break it. It's, it might be a little broken. I apologize in advance. <laughs> Um, it smells of coffee. There we go. Exactly. <laughs> That's what it looks like, and it's gonna be signed by the cast for you. Um, so the, the to go ahead and be entered in that giveaway, come into the Twitch chat over the break, and the keyword is gonna be tarot. T A R O T. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll be, we'll be back here in a few minutes, guys. Uh, enjoy a break, and uh, we'll see you in a minute. Shit. Hello, Taldorians, and we have an exciting new product we want to share with you today on Gilmore's Glorious QVC. What you see here is a beautiful Major Arcana tarot deck featuring some of the most prominent figures of who's who in picturesque Taldore, painted by the brilliant Lady Ioana Murisan, printed on the finest cardstock parchment with glittering gold foil imported from the mines of Craghammer. This is truly a showstopper for any high society soiree. You're not just telling their fortunes, you're bedazzling their future. Now today we are offering this beautiful purple and gold deluxe edition as well as, that that's it actually, I wouldn't offer anything other than the finest edition in my store. The going market retail price of these cards is four platinum, or 40 gold pieces, or 400 silver pieces, or 4,000 copper pieces, but today, we are giving you the special Gilmore's Glorious QVC value of, uh, 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 Cherry, no, we're still filming those, please, you're getting them all smudgy! The special Gilmore's Glorious QVC value of 24 gold pieces and 99 copper. That's right, just two and a half platinum pieces. But that offer only lasts until the disclosed amount of seconds runs out on the timer in the corner. Scry now, or come down and visit me, Gilmore, at Gilmore's Glorious Goods in the Abdar Promenade District of Iman. It was a finale-filled week at Nerdist, Geek and & Sundry, and Alpha. Let's see what you missed and fix that FOMO. The space program, hailed by critics as the best science fiction slash science fact show with a robot and a guy that looks like Thor, just finished up its final episode. Star Trek fans are sure to love this one. Watch the entire series now on Alpha. If that's not enough Kyle Hill for you, be sure to check out Musk Watch, where Kyle joins his pal Dan Casey to fanboy over the tech world's real-life Tony Stark, Elon Musk. This week's episode is about the great race to commercial space flight between SpaceX and Boeing. The Sagas of Sundry Dread finale is here, and no spoilers, but there were like a ton of cool parts. Like when <laughs> totally <laughs> but then they <laughs> and thousands of <laughs> and a <laughs> an ancient <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> I hope that doesn't ruin anything for you. Find out over on Alpha. Binge watching party, anyone? Far in the wilderness of Indianapolis, Indiana, Geek and Sundry is descending upon Gen Con to bring you harrowing adventures like the Talks Machina and Geek and Sundry seminars, live from the Convention Center on Friday, August 18th, followed by the Critical Role live show that night at the Murat Theater in the Old National Center. 
And if you are an Alpha member, you can RSVP to the Alpha After Party the next night at the Ten Roof Bar. Keep an eye on your email for invite details. We hope to see you there. If you are feeling FOMO for all of the sweet swag people are getting at Gen Con, you can treat yourself to some sweet new Critical Role merch from the Geek & Sundry store. There's a pencil set with catchphrases from the show and a new logo pendant and keychain. Sweet! Frustrated with your friends and family who aren't caught up on Game of Thrones? Well, fear not, because until the series finale, Nerdist News Talks Back on Mondays is now All Kings Considered, the weekly recap and discussion show where spoilers are plenty and theories are abundant. Be sure to hop in the chat and let us know who you think is going to win the Big Throne game. For this week's Alpha Forum contest, we are going to super up your closet by giving away an awesome Superman cape. Don't I look cool? And a pile of great superhero t-shirts. All that Alpha members have to do to win is answer the question, what is the one thing you like to do to make someone else feel super in the forum post? Good luck! We hope to hear what you think of all this great stuff on Twitter and in the chat rooms. Thanks for watching Nerdist, Geek and & Sundry, and Alpha. We love you! Yeah, we know. Yeah, Chief. man, we just sang a whole song about That's it. That's why we're here. Let's get at it. Yeah, come on, please. Let's get to it. What do you want? What do you want? To tell me where to go. Boosting papers, please. Yes, really, this is the game where you're an immigration officer guarding your country's border. I don't know, I kind of... I'm sorry. Do you guys hear that? It's... I'm getting... It's like really dis... Distracting. What is... Marisha, we, we've got to finish this. Hang on. Oh, what the fuck? Hello, Marisha. Welcome to the Starship Signal Boost. It's about damn time you found us. Starship? No, a Signal Boost is... It's a, it's a show. I created it. Did you create it, Marisha? Or did we create you? Oh, oh. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I hate being a consumer. Hate. I know, I know, like 30 years ago, Hector was like, mm. <laughs> I love being a consumer. But fuck that shit. And no, I'm not a commie. My problem is too much choice. I, I panic. I don't know if I need a 36 inch dual flame Melly stream convection oven, or do I need a 48 inch electric powered Thermador with an LED digital display? I don't even know what I just said, let alone how to choose. We can't be freaking experts in everything, okay? Back off, jerk. Back off. Just tell me what's the best option within my price range, magical person who has done all of the research and stress tests for me. <laughs> Believe it or not, that magical person exists. No, no, not you, magical person. Your umbrella flute playing is atrocious. Okay, keep your day job. I'm talking about another magical person in the form of a website powered by regular nerdy white guys. Okay, well maybe not all white guys, but I'd say nine out of 10 nerdy white guys are white. Those websites are Wirecutter and Sweet Home, both founded by Brian Lamb, who worked at Gizmodo and Wired. He and his team have dedicated thousands of hours researching and testing the top competitive electronics and home appliances on the market. Need a gadget that works like earbuds not made of paper mache? Wirecutter.com is your place. 
Did your coffee pot break and you're looking for an upgrade? SweetHome.com will wrap their understanding arms around you and whisper sweet, sweet reviews in your ear. I very rarely buy anything of value without first checking with these guys, and they have saved me countless of times. Just tell me what to buy, damn it! <sighs> this isn't possible. This is, this is my show. Or are you our show? That doesn't make any sense, man. Or does it make perfect sense, man? Think about it. You are an entertainer. We are the entertained. Therefore, you are our show. You created us to watch you. <laughs> no, okay, but that means if I created you, then you're me, right? Possibly. But it also means that you are us, and we are you. Or are, are we, we both, both the imagination, imagination of a pigeon in Central, Central Park, Park gaining, gaining cosmic, cosmic awareness? awareness? What? Most of us geeks come from old school NES roots. And let's be honest, the pixel art that went into these games was pretty impressive for their time. I mean, how about Castlevania? It had the clarity of a Monet, yet its bright oranges and purples were so evocative. Or how about Chrono Trigger, whose clever use of color defined the characters, their shape, and the environment around them. That sh is art. And it's an art that we rarely get to experience anymore in our supermassive high-def polygon reality. Luckily, we have one brave soul standing up to the uncanny valley, and that artist is Video Game Shadowbox. His shop is on Etsy and is dedicated to bringing this art back into our lives and, you know, onto our walls. He takes your favorite scenes from classic video games and makes these amazing shadow box art pieces. You can even have them customized, so go find your favorite heroic moment from early Nintendo and order that shit up. Man, I wonder if he can actually recreate my city from SimCity. <sighs> I ran the fuck out of that town. So that means I've been on this spaceship the entire time? My entire life is a lie? Not a lie. Just lived for us. But uh, you live because of me. And yet we knew of you long before you knew of us. No. Oh, no. Because that would mean nothing's real. Matt, my mom, my dad, Critical Role, my, my life on the internet, it's all just a construct. Just a simulation of my most abstract of dreams. Oh, God. Marisha Ray, desist your rambling, for you are the foolisher, my image on the World Wide Web. Your life is not a lie. It is not fake, for I am real, and you are me, and they are they, and we are we. God, Felicia, you're so right. Oh, this is still signal boost. Oh, we just got a new set. Oh, I don't have to have a crisis anymore. Oh, that's Final boost. This one takes some imagination, so if you're not the imaginative type, you may want to look away. Clayorama is a ridiculous pseudo-miniatures game where you and your friends get crafty with some Play-Doh, and you make colorful Claydonians that would make five-year-old you oh so proud and very jealous, because five-year-old you just had to clean their room. This silly game was first published in issue number 125 of Dragon Magazine in September of 1987. You know, before I was born. <laughs> oh, oh, God! Where did you... Oh, God! Okay, um, here's how it works. You invite a few friends over who, you know, won't look at you funny when you slam a giant box of Play-Doh on the table. You allocate two tubs of dough per person. Drink some Shavaz, put 20 minutes on the clock, drink more Shavaz, then build the kaiju of your dreams. I'd say the Shavaz isn't a requirement, but I mean, it is for me. After you've completed your masterpiece, be sure to leave some dough for missiles, gather your half-inebriated friends, and let the debates begin! This is like 
half the game, by the way. Everyone takes turns getting yelled at about what your monster's abilities are until you've settled on hit points, speed, powers, and damage. Then you fight to the death. Sometimes literally punching and bowling and downright smushing each other's dough forms. What I like best about this game is that it's a fully playable miniature mechanic game that only costs you a box of Play-Doh and a printed PDF. It's ridiculous fun that leaves you feeling and smelling like six-year-old you smashed together with a Shavas-loving Louisville hobo. <laughs> Just try not to eat the dough, okay? So I, I know who you are. Who's the jerk?
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Critical Role. So, uh, first and foremost, our winner in the chat of the awesome collection of various Wormwood uh, collectibles is Professor Jedi. Professor Jedi! Congratulations, Professor Jedi. Uh, Denova will contact you and get your uh, information to get those two ASAP, so congrats. Um, also, I've been flooded with tweets on where I got this shirt. It's the best shirt. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I, and I was wearing it yesterday. You were wearing it yesterday. So. The amazing Whitney Moore made it. You can get it. Shirt? Uh, this one? A, a, yeah, she a, designed it. A more it. masculine cut of this exact shirt. So not this one. Not that exact shirt, okay. but yeah. another one very similar. Although, to it. we do have a few shirts that we share and trade okay, off depending yeah. on the day. Okay, get it for human people. For human people. I just, I just tweeted it out. You can get a pin. You can get a hoodie. You can get an Eddie right. form you want. Yeah. All right, yeah. I know you, so I'll ask you later, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. So, last we left off, you had made your way. <laughs> you had made your way into the chamber that seems to uh, hold the core anvil beneath the underwater volcano of Scald Seat. Upon approaching the central risen platform where the anvil was, some sort of a a uh, stone-built guardian that loomed over it. Upon approaching and testing the boundaries, an unintentional firing of an arrow in the vicinity seemed to have triggered an aggressive stance, and the entity seems to be on the assault. So, now with the chamber there before you, I would like you all to take stock on your current positions it's and sure roll it's initiative. It's oh. our all right, he's no. going to hit you like he is at a driving range. Yeah, yeah like people. I'm also rolling my elemental. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Jesus! I will do. I get advantage on those, and that was <laughs> terrible. All righty, so, 25 to 20. 24. Ooh! 20. Jeez. How are we gonna do All righty. 20 to 15. 20 to 15, for the love of God. Okay. Ladies. <clears throat> 15 14. to 10. All righty. 12. 11 for my elemental. What? 11 for my elemental. You're not? No. Okay. Oh, God. All right. 10 to, fi- 10 to 5. 6. 6. Oh. oh. <gasps> 6. Oh. Oh, we <laughs> are. <laughs> so. Bone like a fish. <laughs> He's up. Top of the round. Oh, God. As the large. Forge Guardian stands with its giant rune blade before it. Oh no. Percival, you're up first. What are you doing? Um, make peace, make peace. <laughs> <laughs> when Just the DM kidding. smirks like that, I'm going to bake a pie <laughs> and deliver it. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to run back towards that red crystal. Oh, that worked in, in this one Yep. Uh, I'm going to run that direction, and then I'm going to um, uh, use my bonus action to, to do that. I'm going to uh, hold my attack till his attack. Okay, good to know. All right, that ends Percival's turn, holding his action to attack when it attacks. Vax, you're up. Oh, jeez. Um, oh, jeez. You know what? I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to run over to uh, next, right next to Keyleth. All righty. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. 20, 25, 30. That's about as far as you can get on right, the movement. Right, right. So I will use my, mm, I know what I want to do here. No, mm. no. Bob. Is Percy within 30 feet of me? Percy is, yes. Okay. Uh, I am going to cast Bless. On Scanlan, Keyleth, and Percy. Okay. What's that do? Uh, <laughs> did about me anymore? That Just, gives you. you um, I gave him back. <laughs> A slight You're romance. just so uh, capable, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. You bless up to three creatures of your choice within range. Whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number. Yep. Woo! So you three. Attack roll or saving throw? Yes. yes. You get a d4 too. D4. Uh, and then I'm so gonna. Your action. That's my action. I have bonus action, and I am going to. Uh, this is an intimidating map. Matt. Matt. Uh, I am going to roll backward and uh, sit underneath my sister and her judgmental ass. Okay. 
So you're going to dash over under her? Yeah. There you go. Top of my turn, I'm going to fart. That's how she propels the broom. It immediately <laughs> catches your butt on fire because you're exactly. surrounded by methane gas. <laughs> you take four damage. <laughs> Reduced to and two because fire. of the damage. Yeah, and you're on fire. This, yeah. is, this is really intimidating. Are those crystals? The crystals yeah. are glowing and it makes me it makes me unhappy. Is your so. crystal red? Oh, yeah. yeah. <gasps> no. No, he not can't cool. walk, he can move. Steps. <gasps> leaps. Oh, no. Fuck yourself! It's just wow. the worst day ever. It just, <laughs> just lands so in the center. Cool. Look at him winding oh. up. This is awful. With his with his legs down, kind of straddling the two <laughs> the two sides of this, and it's going to go into a blade storm and just spins yeah. around in a wide arc. Okay, so if he's going to do this, I'm I was holding my attack. I'm Correct. taking my attack now, okay. uh, right before this happens. He has no face, doesn't he? Currently, you do not see a face. No. There's no face. No. So if I were to make a head attack, that would probably be really goddamn useless. One way to find out. Yeah, no, one way to find out. Well, he has a head. You can have a face have and not a head. head. It's just in his pants. Maybe the mask, or maybe, maybe it's a mask. Maybe it's a mask. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take. I'm maybe gonna... it's an illusion. <clears throat> oh, buddy. I regret. Richard, speaking of, did you. Blade Storm? Did you yes. custom, like, mess with this figure? You uh, did. Very faintly, didn't you? I just to cover the face. Um, to hide his shame. Uh, and I can. Uh, I, do I have the D4 to this if I so am inclined, or? Uh, yes, as part of the. And I can do it every time, or? Every attack, yeah. Oh wow, this is so nuts. So, first the attack. D4, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, out of curiosity, does it keep my my uh, my misfire? If it would, does it knock me out of misfire? Technically. It's still rolling on the D20. God damn it. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's put that away then. And uh, let's uh, let's take <laughs> some psychic damage. That's funny. Oh, that's great. Okay. So nine points oh, no. psychic damage. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's uh, 142. That's cool. Uh, ow! I'm gonna put that down and get a bigger gun. And try that again. Uh, man, that blows that grit as well. Much better. Okay, good. No, good. it's not. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. It's just doing it. Never mind. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna blow the rest of it. Uh, my the end of my I'm gonna this is the end of my turn trying to fix one of my guns really quickly and just do a quick clear out, uh, which is twelve versus misfire on the psychic, which would be uh, ten. Just gotta roll better than that. And I do. Okay, There's that nineteen. To clear the way. That's good. I cleared. I cleared. Animus bad news is still out of commission. Gotcha. Oh my god. And uh, that's my turn. Okay, Never so mind. That, that was your health. So as a blade storm, it does a large sweep all the way around it with the blade hitting everything within fifteen feet of it. Yeah, is it an automatic hit or is this something I can do cutting words on? Uh, it's a roll to hit, um, but it it would affect. Uh, for cutting words, it would affect a single attack against an individual. Let me see what that is. Yeah, that just burned all that. <laughs> yeah, because each attack roll is separate, so you would affect one of the attack rolls. Well, so. I will cutting words it for okay, my for, attack. No, your... <laughs> no, he's gonna hit me no matter what. Uh, who who is in the path? Everybody? Well, let's let let let's let's find out first. So, yeah. okay. it's gonna be Vex, Vax, Scanlan, and Grog, and then Keyleth and Percy are just out of range as well as the elemental. So. Against Vex, that is a 17. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit, you just dodge out of the way. Mm. Um, for Vax, 17. Nope. Still two threes in a row. Sorry, sorry. Um, striking around to Grog, oh. that is a 24. <laughs> That'll hit. Can I try my parry maneuver? To, what's the parry do? It, you use your uh, your superiority, or I mean your um, your dex modifier plus the sub dice. dice. Yeah, <laughs> you sub. literally wrote sub dice. Yes, you can to, to reduce the attack by your yeah, superiority dice. Plus your dex Yep. Handbook. I'm gonna try it. Seven oh. plus two, nine. All right, so you would take thirty-seven points of slashing damage. But instead, you only take so take nine away from that. It'll be twenty-eight. So you get twenty-eight points of slashing damage. Nice. I'm not raging. Nope. You took twenty-eight points, and you are pushed fifteen feet away. Thrust. You are now like, right off. You get knocked Whoa, over the side shit. of 
<laughs> You're prone? You get knocked prone off oh. onto the edge of the platform there, just almost catching yourself before rolling oh off the side Lord. of the platform. It's so exciting. Holy fuck, dude. Um, oh, Scanlan. <laughs> that is a... <laughs> I wrote natural two. That's a sixteen Yay. to hit. Yes. I, I will. It it will hit. Oh. But I will. Uh, I will do my cutting words. Okay. So roll a d twelve. Okay. Uh, d twelve. I rolled a nine. Okay. So that will miss you. Uh, how, so as it swings towards you, what do you do? I will quote Doctor Smith again, and I will <laughs> yell at him. You are a tiresome tin-plated tin tinabulation. Wow. <laughs> The second construct you've <laughs> bruised the ego of today. Um, I need you to make a constitution really saving throw, Rob. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's going on in your life? That quote was that thing, sure. Uh, 18, with minus 2. 18? That's a deep no. cut, man. Your vision fades as the curse takes hold. You are considered blinded at the moment. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, uh, anybody else? Lights out for anybody else? <laughs> and that's its turn. Wow. Max, you're up. So, you know, no big deal. Oh, jeebies. Okay. MVP. Oh, oh, I can use disengage! Yes, you can. So he doesn't hit me. I'm gonna move away from him. Okay, where do you move? Anywhere you uh, want. All the way across, over here. Okay, uh, well, your movement with your broom is? Yeah. How fast is your broom? 50, is it? Crap, I remember, because I don't have the thing anymore. 7,000. I, I know, I, I know, Matthew. I've got the app. We'll see who get there first. It's like I think it's like forty, <laughs> probably. Yeah, I'm flying fifty feet. Oh, that was fast. Look wow. at that. Are you gonna see Analog, fifty feet? Buddy. Analog. Fifty right, feet. I'm writing so it down right five, now. Five, okay. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. You can get right over, right above where Percival is. Okay. Fitting. So it's your bonus action. Disengage your movement to get there. What are you doing now? I'm gonna um. I'm gonna attack him. Go for it. Yeah. That dice attacked me while I rolled it. It was a <laughs> 23. 23 misses. What? Balls, mother. 23 misses? Yeah. It, you strike the armor on the side of its body, and the arrow just disintegrates on impact. And you see the bits of it catch flame from the, the nearby oh. heat. Oh, lordy. Okay. okay, there's gonna have to be a. Okay. I thought because he was big, maybe. But uh, mm, is he covered head to armored. toe in armor? Do we see any he's weak He's made spots? of what looks like solid stone with pieces of metal armor around the body. Okay. Pretty weak. Okay, so I'm gonna attack him again, Go but like it. in his neck. Oh, that, that's Ooh. good. That yep. that probably hits. 18 plus 14. That'll hit, yeah. Okay, I didn't want to do the math. What, what is 18 plus 14? Yeah, 32. 32? Oh, Jesus. 15, 16, 17. Is he... Do I get um, sneak attack? He's in base to base with your brother, so yes. Wait, that's lightning. One extra lightning damage, and then oh goddamn, seven plus nine sneak attack. Okay, so the total on that is seventeen plus nine gotcha. is twenty-six, twenty-seven. Got it. Oh, well, it's twenty-six, yeah. Plus one lightning damage. Right. Okay. Yeah. There you go. All right. Cool. So second arrow shatters. Or well, the first arrow shatters, the second one you manage to strike and it embeds <laughs> itself in the stone and just kind of sticking out. It's hard to see if it hadn't made much of an impact, but Great. Uh, that ends your turn. That brings us to Scanlan. Me? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So this thing's big and scary. I yeah. can't do You're anything. You're on the top of the staircase next to the water elemental and Grog, who's currently on the ground screaming that he's blind. The entity's about 15 feet away from you. You're just out of range of its blade, and it's kind of. It's just an intimidating thing to have that close to you. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah of course it is. Um, I'm not dumb. Yeah, super intimidating. I will. Uh, I will. Uh, so, how far is he from me? Uh, he's about 15, like 16 feet from you. He's real close. Jesus. You're so just out of range of the blade. Your eye line with his wang. Well, no, actually, sorry, no, because it did hit you. So, on the edge of there, you are you are within 15 feet of him. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will just. Not knowing what to do, I will. Um, I'm looking at my spells. I got nothing. Uh, I will just blast him with a lightning bolt, a level three lightning bolt. Not level big. three lightning bolt. Okay. So go ahead and roll that. Eight d six points of damage. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do level four. So nine d six, I suppose. Already. So that is a natural twenty. 
so that's oh. advantage in the saving throw. Oh. However, its dexterity bonus is nothing, so it's a straight 20. Your spell DC? 22. 22, so it does not make the save. Um, so it's 34 points of damage. 34 points of damage. Lightning damage to it, perfect. Um, the bolt <laughs> hits it and seems to arc through, and its faceless head slowly shifts to face you. Jesus. Um, uh, I'm within melee range of him, so if I move, I will get hit, yes? If you move out of his melee range, you will, yes. Okay. Um, you get attacked, doesn't mean if you get hit, but. Is, Krog, you're, you're okay, right? You're not dead. I'm blind! Okay. <laughs> um, I will It's very hot! Over. What? It's very hot! On the ground, I, I, and I'm I, blind. I, I don't know what to do about you. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'll uh, I'll inspire you, I guess, right? Because you don't need help. Yeah, great. Thanks. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. I'll uh, I'll inspire. I'll inspire him. I suppose. Okay. Sorry, Grog. So, uh, what do I? What do you sing? Oh, sorry. Uh, I will. I will take it, Pick up my flute, and I will sing. You like it with my. You like it when my flute goes. Baby, make your booty glow. Skin, I know you wanna show. My song, so song, song, song. Cisco! <laughs> Cisco! Take your D12. Thank you. Alrighty. So that's your that's your bonus, your action, and you're gonna stay where you are or you wanna move? Yeah, I'm gonna stay where I am. Okay. Uh, ending that turn, it comes to the elemental. Actually, no, sorry, at the end of Scanlan's turn, he's gonna go ahead and use legendary action. To make a rune blade strike against Vax, who's right in front of him. That is a 22 to hit. Uh, and this is straight up attack. Yeah, I believe that hits. Yes, it does. Okay. You take... Wait. Hang tight, buddy. Wait. I'll use my last luck of the day on him, and he has to reroll. Okay. Wait. 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 Uh, that is a 19. No. No. Oh! Done. So as the blade arcs overhead towards you, you just barely duck out of the way, <laughs> slams on the ground, sending shards of stone and metal up in the air around you. You feel it kind of rain over your shoulder and the back of your head as you slowly pull away from it. Oh, nice oh. step, Mama. <clears throat> Alrighty. Uh, now it is the elemental's turn. Okay, it's going to move into over to him. Alright. And um He's uh, bigger than large, so he's just going to do a multi-attack. He's going to do two slam attacks, boof, boof, plus seven to hit. Okay. Oh. Uh, one's a natural one, the other's a natural 18. Okay. So one hits, um, 2d8 plus four blood well, what's, damage. What's the attack? 18 plus? 18 plus seven. Okay, so, so it'd be 25. 25. Okay, that hits. Okay, Are so the creature's attacks considered magical? There are two bludgeoning attacks. I and mean, there are no two. No under it does it say it does magical damage? It just says bludgeoning damage. Okay. So as the elemental swings out both fists against it, <laughs> no effect. Oh, None of its attacks know. seem to have any sort of effect or impact on the creature. It's just like bludgeoning the side of a mountain. Jesus. Okay, good to know. And he doesn't seem to be distracted or give nope. two shits about him. Not at the moment, no. Okay. Cool. A lot of fires to put out, I guess. Yeah, you know, I'll keep him on standby in case people catch on fire. <laughs> okay. That ends the elemental's turn then? Yeah. Grog and Keyleth, you're yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, did you what did you find out? How about you go first? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do ninth level shape change and take a cue from Scanlan and turn into a planetar. Whoa. Do you have a big dick too? Yeah, bitch. You can do that? Yes, I can, with shape change. Right? It is a challenge rating that I can do, right? Which one? Planetars? <gasps> yeah, you so. can. Okay. Uh, you lose concentration on the elemental. That's fine. It's not like he was really doing much. But the elemental stays and is now hostile to you. Right. Can't like dissipate him or anything. It's hard. Figure again. I'm the worst. Is it? I was gonna say, can you dissipate the, the, the... 
Uh, I thought I brought it. Not really. No. That's okay. So the Plantar size is large. We'll save it for the purposes once again of it this week. Dodie. We'll use Dodie as the Planetar. Terry. <laughs> so there you are. We'll but he says it in Swedish. <laughs> duty. <laughs> duty. Duty. So, duty. 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 Your wings yeah. extend. You are now in the Planetar form. Okay. Um, I am going to go up to Grog and do healing. Well, it's your action to cast the spell. Mm, so I can't do anything else. No, shape change is. It takes an action to just make the transformation. Next turn, you can take your action. It's okay. You can move in the meantime. That's great. Grog definitely won't fall in the lava on his turn. I was gonna say, can I at least go up <laughs> to him and like grab onto Grog's loincloth to make sure his ass doesn't tumble into the lava? Uh, you could certainly try. <laughs> Kind of yes. Sure. Loin grab. So we'll say for the purposes of this, you glide over, and you're now flying up next to Grog on the edge of the platform. There you go. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. To yeah. keep him from wandering Yeah, off. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That ends your turn. Grog? Cool. Uh, can I use my action to get up off of, for being prone? Okay, so half your, half your movement. Half my movement, sorry. Uh, Onto one knee. I mean, just in my mind, because I can't see. And can I hold my action until I can see again, or until it's my turn? It's your turn. I, until until the end of your next turn. Until I can see again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I can't see until my next turn, then you, get, I'll you don't get to save against this, does he? No. 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 All right. So that ends Grog's turn, holding his action. Yeah. Crouch, Top of the round. Crouch next to the. So both hands are okay. on the ground. At I'm, the end of your turn, it's going to use another legendary action. Take another swing at this slippery little rogue paladin on the ground that it can't seem to hit. Uh, no. Natural one. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay. That'll be the end of that luck. That demigod does not exist in this universe. Percival, your turn. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, throw a get a little quick little heal bonus going because because why not. Um, Let's do uh, a heal. So that's a. Uh, um, that's uh, 14 points up. So I'm um, uh, 5156. A little bit better, and that's my heal. Um, I'm noticing that, that this thing's only taking magic damage. Uh, the hammer it dropped <coughs> is underneath the planetar right now, right? Uh, it is currently dangling off the side, along with another other other series of tools. Look, be like. Tongs and other smaller blacksmithing accoutrement. I'm going to run in that direction. Okay. So five, 10, 15, 20, and you're just. <laughs> and another step, and you're starting to hit the molten metal and rock. So. Molten metal and rock, and, and there's not. I can't jump back, can I? You can try, yeah. Make an athletics check. Um, and uh, oh, uh, not an acrobatics check, I take it. Not for the leap. Okay. Um, but there are are there chains that I can reach there, or are there? Ch there are chains you could try, and if you're leaping towards the chains, you could attempt to grab it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to attempt. Well, I'm going to attempt to grab the grab the. Uh, I want to grab the hammer. Okay. And are you using it to swing, or are you just trying to grab and hold on? Uh, if it's available for a swing, I'll try for a swing. But if okay. not, I, I really want to get. I'll to give that. you advantage if you're just going for the chain. Then, as you're kind of swinging across it, yeah. go for it. So roll with advantage. Yep. Uh, athletics. Athletics. Please don't fucking fall in lava. Natural 20. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Oh! run swings across and let me move this a bit. Oh no! Oh, I can fly, I can fly! <laughs> Uh, Percival just barely makes it across, <laughs> and I mean, if you let go of the chain, you'll land. If you hold onto it, you'll just dangle and swing in the center because it's is it is right? over. This is the hammer chain. Yeah. So I, am I touching the hammer right now? And you are, yeah. And it's but it's not a magic hammer. It's just it's just a really nice hammer. And you just grabbed it. You can so take a moment things. to look at it next round if you want um, to. Yeah, I'm gonna take a moment to look. Okay, well, so I've got an action still, so. True. Do you want to do that then? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll use my action <laughs> to, to like. Admire the hammer. Okay, so make, make, an, make an, uh, an arcana check. I'm just looking As you're clutching the hammer now, it's kind of dangling down, you're holding onto it, and the heat is just yeah. burning up from underneath you, and you can see like the uh, bubbling no. bits of I have an arcana of seven. Seven. No. Uh, it, you're you're too distracted number. by everything going on around you and the heat in your face, and you can see oh, it I'm above you, the, the black and gold scrolling on it. Uh, it looks beautiful, um, but you can't make out any more details than that, unfortunately. 
God fucking damn it. Okay, I'm hopping off then, and that'll. I mean, like, if, do, I, do I have swing, timer? You swing back, and then you swing, and then you land. We'll okay. say, because you rolled a natural 20, I'll let you do that. Yeah. All right. I'm over there. I'm hiding. Fuck. Okay. That ends Percy's turn at the end of Percy's turn. It's going to use its third and final. Damn it. What? Where did the big guy go? He's trying to kill there the cricket. There he is. He's trying to kill the cricket. You did it. Good job. Did you get it? It shut him up for a little bit. It did. You can't get the golem, but you can get the cricket. <laughs> well done. Um, all right. <laughs> at the end of Percival's turn, it's going to use his third final legendary action to, to try and get that hit on you. Suck, golem. Natural 20. Oh, oh no! my god, no! really? Making up for the last time. Go. You're fine. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yep. No, can you uncanny dodge and. <laughs> yes, I can uncanny thing? dodge, yes. Do um, you have another thing? Just uncanny dodge, so maybe I can cancel out his doubling. Or can candy dodge. Uncanny, uh, yeah. Uncanny uh, dodge caps the attack, so it'll yeah. just be right where it's supposed to be. Technically, it'll, it'll lower him slightly lower than where it's supposed to be. Really? Because it's it has it doesn't oh, just yeah, have true. the doubling of the dice, but also the natural bonus. Fifty-seven points of slashing damage. Uncanny dodge. Oh, All right, reduce that. Oh, with twenty. Three, uh, 28 Jesus. points of image, and your vision goes dark. Oh no. Shit. Wait, don't you have to roll a constitution? That's true, roll a constitution save. Eight, but not good. Uh, 14. Your oh. vision goes dark. Oh! The, the, it hits oh! you, and you hit the ground, and the, sheer, the, the, the searing pain hits your body, and as you get up, it feels like all the smoke just fills your vision. All you see are occasional flashes of red, almost like, a, like you're surrounded by a oh. miniaturized uh, electrical storm, and you have no idea what's around you. Okay. So he's blind. Yeah. You're considered blind at the moment, yeah. yes. Um, it's your turn. Okay, I would like to cast a vow of enmity on this dick, which will put me at regular, because I would get advantage versus the disadvantage of blindness, so now I'm at regular. Is it a visual? That's what I'm checking right spell? now. Oh, wow. I've yeah. got it here. Oh, yeah, no. spell casting's a bitch. Yeah, it is. Vow of Enmity. Creature you can, you can see, see within 10, ten feet, feet of you. Wow. You cannot currently wow. see it. Wow. Shit, y'all. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Okay. Oh my no. Instead, I will use my bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark. Uh, you need visual on that as well? Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll say the components okay, at the top. It. It'll say, I like, think you never mind. Semantic. Semantic, but, but if you I'm going to. On his turn yet. Wow. Okay, I'm going to use uh, my bonus action to disengage. And I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. And then I'm just going to get the fuck out of here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Better paint better. And that's it. I'm fucking blind and I ran because I can't see shit. Okay. Done. All right, that ends your turn. Yep. So now it's turn. Oh, no. Oh, back. man. Guys, oh, guys this is bad. Shot. We haven't like actually done anything to him, have we? No. I know. Oh, no, I, I got an arrow. To. I got an arrow you on him. You got an arrow which didn't probably do any physical, it, well. It was uh, a magical arrow. It was a magical arrow. See if it gets its blade storm back. I mean. Nope. You probably should have cast the mansion door before we started this. <laughs> mm, <laughs> we can still do that. We well, can take a minute. Oh, shit. We well, can we, make this work. Oh, we can't even run away. Look at him jumping around. Finish me off. Look at this oh, motherfucker. No. Jumping around. Right, he's he's going to kill crazy. all of us, dude. Where it's like, he can I get all of us in a circle. In um, all right, so. <sighs> Everybody. I lost control of my own mental. Sorry, Cat. Here's what okay. it's going to do. It's going to, because you ran off, it hit you. Yeah. It's not even focused on you. The head kind of turns and looks towards you, Vexalia. It's going to make a rune blade attack. Oh, great. Gets to you. That is a. What? That is a 17. Doesn't hit. Jesus Christ. It has rolled so many twos and threes and then torn it. Um, so it swings and you dodge out of the way. However, hearing the skittering of a gnome behind it without even looking, it just back kicks behind it with its foot. <laughs> oh my god! Um, that is going to be a 21 scanlin. Oh, yeah, of course. All right. So you take 23 points of bludgeoning damage, and you are pushed 15 feet away from hit and knock wow. prone. <gasps> Five, that doesn't go ten. Lava. No! no! I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, Scanlan. Let's get roll so well! Hey, you got, you're blessed, so add 1d4. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, that's okay. terrible. Um, Plus one d four. So this is dex. Dex is so I've I've already rolled a. Eh, a 13 plus a d4. This is not going to go well, is it? Okay. Uh, d4 is an, uh, another one. That's 14. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Can, you inspire, can, you, can you inspire yourself? Can you inspire yourself? Can you inspire yourself? What? Can you inspire, inspire yourself? yourself? Can I do that on a. This is no, a, not a check. You can, this is a save. Well, for you, for, for your. Let me go double check on that for your bardic ability. And how many more bardic inspirations do you have at this point, by the way? 87. I've used. Yeah, because this is our third fight of the same fucking day. Yeah. Well, you use cutting words. To... You've inspired Keyleth, and then you've inspired Grog. Oh, cutting words counts? Which is three. Yeah, cutting he's, words. He's level 18, so he's got like. And I've what, used eight? four so far, and I have two more to go. So two more to go. Okay. And uh, as far as your. Um, Peerless skill, you can add it to any ability to check. Yeah, so not, not a save. Not a save, unfortunately. All right. Bye, guys. No. So what's the total? 14. 14. No. Is that including your 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 deck save? Yeah. Oh, wow. OK. <laughs> so Scanlan gets pushed off the edge God damn and it. falls prone <laughs> into the molten metal below. Oh, man. This is so bad. That's a lot of dice he's picking up. You are on fire. Sure, sure. I feel like you're filling a playground with gravel right now. It's like, which, who, oh god. I feel like he's playing like putt-putt golf with us. We're, well, I mean, he strung us along like, on several battles to get all of our uh, juice out. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we're, That's why uh, I feel we, like we, we should really, really maybe yeah. we just rest. You take. 53 points of fire damage, Scanlan. Mm-hmm. As you are currently now partially submerged in molten metal and screaming oh. in horrible pain. Oh, man. Well, it sucks, oh. doesn't it, buddy? But with vibrato. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it's turned. Dex, you're up. Great. I'm going to disengage. Okay, so use your bonus action to disengage. Yep. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to go over to Grog. All right, so you fly over. And where are you going? Uh, just, I'm going to fly next to him, and I'm going to touch him, and I'm going to cast Lesser Restoration on him. OK. So you actually <clears throat> cast Lesser Restoration. The, uh, so wait, Lesser Restoration affects? Heals blindness and deafness. Good. Just OK. Actually, with the 250 hit point guy, good, good call, good call. He needs to be able to fucking see so see. he can yeah. smith while we're trying to distract this fucker. Mm. So the blindness yeah. fades as she touches you? Your vision comes back. I can get you. Cool. Oh, right. Then I held my action for that. Yeah, yeah that's, you did. And that's the thing. Like he was holding. He would okay, so completely. should I just start just try on the Smith? Mm-hmm. Well, do we, do we yeah. know? Here's the question: Is how how quickly I should know this? How quickly can these things be made? Um. Well, I should know that. To too. be honestly, the process of each trammel is going to be like a 15 minute process. Whoa. Oh, so. You can't, no you, doing can't, this. you can't no. hypersmith. No, no, no. no, no, no. Okay. So, 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 so we're going to deal with it. It's just the guy. No, 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 it's no, just the no, guy. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. Fuck him up. Okay. Well, okay. Cool. I'm going to. Do I have any more movement left? And that's like that's a 15 minutes if it's just a straight multiple people helping type circumstance. Do I have any more movement left? Um, With that, not really. You had to go over an arc to get there. You could grab the hammer. Yeah, but what what purpose would it serve? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Uh-uh. Maybe it's a control hammer. I don't know. That's I'm, I'm grasping at fucking action. straws okay. here. So Vex. That's a level two. That's, that's my last that's level two action? that I cast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could try. Great. So I don't. Got have an You've got action. Restorations. I can cast it at a higher level, maybe. You also have still have freedom of movement on you. You don't have anything else at all. I got lost. Concentration, but you do have freedom of movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So grabbing that hammer is definitely an option. I don't know why you would grab the hammer. I mean, maybe you would stop moving if I grab the hammer. Well, Vex, is that all you're doing on your turn? I mean, that's all I can do. I, that's my action, my bonus, action. and my movements. Yep. All right. So Scanlan. Oh, my, mm-hmm. but I held my action till yeah. I had sight. Yeah. Correct. You have yeah. sight now. What, what are you going to attack? Uh, so you can't move. It's just your action. Could I try pulling the hammer? You're on the hammer, aren't you? I'd let go. I'm off. Should I try pulling up the hammer and yeah. see if yeah, that yeah. does something? OK, I'll try and pull the chain up to grab the okay. hammer. Technically, when you're holding your action to do something, like no. an attack, oh, yeah, you can only like do that. It's a, it's a reaction, like a, like a okay. very quick thing. Got it. So. 
You basically, as soon as you get your vision, you're like, ah! <sighs> and it's too I far will, away. I will rage, and that's it. I'll let you rage on that, sure. Because okay, cool. it kind of pisses that, you off. I'll let that happen. Can you attack the elemental that's now rogue across from that's him? True. He's not within range, unfortunately. Yeah. It's across the way. Uh, can I turn around and look at the, now that I'm ah. right up next to the core anvil, is there anything that I'm noticing about it that would move or knock off or like a switch or a button or a... Um, make a perception check. It doesn't look just like a flipping anvil. Yeah, yeah okay, oh, cool, like that's a, a two. This is such a shit show. No, it's because it's, it's minus. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Two. Uh, It looks like an anvil, a beautiful what anvil. The fuck? A, a, I, like, a, like a primal built. Ageless anvil. I never but... see shit. Mm. <laughs> hey, that's my magic trick. All right. So, Scanlan, you're currently submerged in molten metal, screaming Ooh. on fire. Your turn begins, and you take oh, six points of fire damage. Sure. You're prone and sinking into it. What are you doing? Have you seen this? Uh, guy? You should probably get out, right? Yeah. No. I we'll guess. Stay yeah. In. Probably. Okay. <laughs> so you get out of prone. Um, I will. I will. And you I guess save my life and uh, dimension door out of there. Oh. Ooh. Okay, your dimension door out of the lava? Yes, please. Okay. I have no other options. Well, I no, can't you, you fly, can walk out so. of it. You're right next to the edge, so. Oh, Did I'm next to the edge, like I could grab and get Yeah, up? you could like pull yourself out of it. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll try that first okay. with my with my action, I mean, my movement, I guess, right? Feet. Yeah, so with, your, your, with your movement, you get out. You're like 10 <laughs> feet out of it. You're on fire still, but you're no longer like melting in the lava. You're hurt, but you're now, Jesus. you turn the corner and you can see the giant guardian is now currently facing off with uh, your rest of your allies on the other side of, uh, of the platform on the far corner of the room, so you're kind of staring at its back. What are you doing? Oh, boy. Um... Dude, boy, I wasn't expecting to uh, attack this this turn. Um, I'll I'll do the lightning again because it seemed to have some damage. No, okay. you know what? I gotta we gotta block his sword, right? Yeah. Shit. I will Bigby's hand and try to grapple his sword. Okay, you do another Bigby's hand. Yeah. And you're trying to grapple his sword. Yes. All righty. I don't know how that's going to work at all. No, let's give it a shot. So, yeah. Bigby's hand. That's right. Oh, hey, Who's over here to attempt to. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, he's dead. He's, he's dead. dead. He that's, he's dead, Matt. Game over. If we went by that tactic, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Bigby's hand's dead. dead. Look at him. He wants to die. die. He's suicidal. Let's we'll put a beat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, First of all, been dead for a long but, time. Yeah. We'll put that there. Yeah, there that's good. Oh, that's good, man. That's awkward looking. That looks really hey. awkward. There you go. Hey. All right, so. Um. <laughs> I want to try to move Big B's hand to like hold onto his arm. Oh, shit. Can I try right. it? If you want to. So, grasping hand. So I guess I mean this is supposed to be against a creature, not against an item. Right. I'm letting you do this though. It's fine. It makes sense. Okay. It's big enough. So make an athletics check yep. using the strength of Bigby's hand, which is a plus eight. So roll a d20 and add eight to it. Okay. Ugh. It's the nineteen. Check? Oh, but I have yeah. a blast. blast right? Hashtag blast. Nineteen <laughs> plus plus a d4 plus three. So that's twenty-two. Twenty-two. It rolled a nineteen. Yes. Yeah. So it is grappling the blade. What that means is, for the purposes of this, is all of its attacks are disadvantaged until it can break free from Bigby holding the blade. Okay. Bigby's half. So I think that's your turn, unless yeah, you want to use cool. a bonus action for something. I will. I will use a bonus action to level two healing word myself. Go for it. Okay. So. I will sing. I'm freaked out by the shape of me. I'm burned up and nobody can see. So you know what I'll do to thee. Give some health to my body. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> damn it, Sam. All right, so take, take your, your 2d4 plus six. It's okay, mm. thanks. <clears throat> Alrighty, so finishing that out, it is the elemental's turn. Son of a bitch. Well, Go. I mean, he's like slowly like steaming away, right? Because it's like so hot. You're not gonna rule his lawyer me out of the elemental. All right, so let's make a slam attack against both uh, Vex and Grog. Vex, that's a 15 plus 7, 22. Mm. And then Grog, that's a 17 plus 7, 24. That so is. what's the bludgeoning damage from the elemental? It's Four, two, two D eight plus four. Two D eight plus four. Yeah. Vex, you take 
15 points of bludgeoning damage. Grog, you take 11 points of bludgeoning damage reduced to five. five. Sorry. Where you at, big guy? 190. Oh, jeez, that's wrong. Okay, Grog and Keyleth, your turn. Keyleth, you now have complete control of your form. Now people wonder why I don't conjure that many elementals. Um, okay, I'm gonna go and fly away since Grog is now fine. Go over to my boyfriend. And can I kind of. Would it be part of my movement to be able to grab him and pull him away a little bit? And then can I still have an action? Or would that be no, my that action? Would be action? He's going to swipe at us. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to fly by and do a healing touch on you, um, which you get. 68 plus three hit points, and you are freed from your blindness. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> That's amazing. I love you so hey, much. Stanley, I love you, you too, that boo. That one, two, really three, four, cool. five. Will you give me one more? Holy Idiot. shit. Okay. Yeah. 12 uh, plus four, 15, um, right? No, 16 plus another. T- Three, it brings us to 19, plus another four, brings us to 22. 23. 23, and then another three, brings us to 26. Holy Hit points, shit. and you're cleared from your blindness. Woo! And then can I use the rest of my flight speed of 120 feet, like my boyfriend, to then fly <laughs> away? Certainly, which direction? Holy crap. Um, I want to go kind of like Back and over like on this here. side. Yeah, a little bit closer, kind of. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. You fly over, as you swing, it glances kind of in your direction, and as a reaction, gets an attack of opportunity on you. Disadvantage. With a disadvantage. So that's uh, 20. What's your armor class in the planetar form? So it hits you. It, 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 19, so it hits me. Yep. <laughs> Are you blessed, though? I'm blessed! Hashtag blessed! Can I do that? Plus doesn't add to your armor class. Oh. It's attacks and saving throws. Oh. It's level one spell, guys. That's true. Um, so it hits you. Damn it. You uh, take. <laughs> Insidious! Insidious! <laughs> I still jumped in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> 42 points of slashing oh. damage. Oh. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh no, oh. you can't be blinded as a planetar, can That does get to one So I'm at. You are not immune to blindness as a planetar. Oh, no. God fucking damn it. However, no. we can't use the right oh. blindness. No, there's no way to run away from him. We have to either defeat him or. Find a way to disengage con, him. Right? Can't like, cast the magic. So is it is it con as me or con as con as the dude? I mean, there are four chains hanging off of the thing, and we only know the hammer's attached to one. Uh, the, the uh, tools. The rest are other tools. Yeah. Do so. I take yeah, the yeah, guys? Yeah. Do I take my planetar's constitution? Yes. It's plus seven. Ooh, that's cool. And so, then I, but I still have my warcaster ability too, right? So I have advantage. Uh, no, that's against concentration. So yeah, you will have to do that in a second. But first, first roll to see. This is this is just to see if you go blind or not. This is the curse effect. Do you have like true sight and stuff? It's pretty good. I do have true sight as a planetar. It is play pretty good. So that's twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay, so you resist the blindness. Mm-hmm. Okay. However, now half that damage, which was just it was what you said forty-two. Yeah. Sounds right. Yep. That sounds right. Forty-two. So half that's twenty-one. So DC twenty-one. Make a Constitution saving throw with advantage. With a D four. Um, yes, that's right. I'm good. Uh, 17 plus my Constitution, yeah, dude. You're fine. So, I'm you, good. so you maintain concentration on your form. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Um, all right, that Mother finishes Keyleth's turn. Earth. Grog, what you doing? Yeah, yeah, <coughs> yeah. It's hammer time. I'm gonna run. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna run down here. Five, Golem hits me. 15, so hard. What are the steps? Like 20. Oh, oh, yeah. 25 behind there. <laughs> yeah, like this side. Okay, perfect. You can get up right against it there. Great. The Ooh. elemental gets one swing at you as you go out of its range. Uh, that is a three plus seven, not ten. Okay. It hits your back and it's like, oh, it's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. That was refreshing. Oh, cool. uh, and I'll take uh, both of my attacks <laughs> at the giant uh, Deathbringer. Um, yeah, that's good. Just reckless, not great weapon. Okay. 
hoping for a crit, which was not it. Uh, da, 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 31. Hits. Great. Ooh, that was better. 32. Hits. Great. These are both of the minus five? Uh, no, not great weapon master. Oh, not great weapon Just right. Okay, yeah, then they both hit. Six. Uh, 22 for the first one. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I can't disarm him. He's a giant. Fuck that. Okay. Um, and twenty for the second one. Well, okay. He's already grappled. His weapon is grappled right now. Yeah. So I don't know if you have advantage on trying to disarm him. He's gargantuan though. He's already at a nugative low yeah. because of Bigby. All right. And that so, is it. That is it. Yeah. All righty. Uh, so that ends your turn. At the end of your turn, Grog, it's going to go ahead and use the secondary, legendary action. To uh, swing back at you as you're hitting it, so like you slam it in the back with the axe as it angrily swings a wide strike towards its back, hoping to catch the side of your chest with disadvantage. Uh, that is an eight plus fourteen, so twenty-two. That hits. That hits. Okay. You take twenty-seven points of slashing damage. Half. Reduced to be 13. 13. Can I use my stone's endurance to reduce that further? If you want to. Or you can take a retaliation shot. Up to you. Don't forget your retaliation. Yeah, I thought was going to do it afterwards. I thought he did like two hits backwards. Well, stone's endurance is a reaction. You get one reaction. So it's uh, one or the other. I'll do the retaliation. I'm pretty sure it is. I'll double check. Okay. I'm not sure. But just you like grimacing at something really hard? Essentially. <laughs> double check. So, yeah, it like knocks all the hit, the hit points out. But. I feel like he's invulnerable. Like. Should we be trying to find like a way to no, make him? Yeah, you can use your reactions. It's one or the other. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do the retaliation. All right, cool. So, so you take the uh, the thirteen damage. Thirteen damage. Constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Uh, oh shit! Hmm. It's the fucking sword. Right. You have inspiration. Thank you. Gonna need it. Uh, 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 you don't have a D four on it. Twenty. I'm gonna use my inspiration. Oh. 28. 28, you resist it, no issue. So now you can take your retaliation shot. Oh great, uh, Reckless, great weapon master. Good point out. Reckless. Uh, that's exactly 31 minus five, 36. 26? 26. 26. That hits, yeah, that damage. hits. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, Fuck. Yeah, like to 27. 27. 27 points of damage. Yeah, that was a shit roll. Oh, one. Oh, I re-roll ones. Ha! Sorry. All right. Re-roll ones. Thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Twelve. That's way better. Hey! Oh, yeah. So an extra 11 yeah, damage. 28, 38. 38 damage. There you go. Wow! Wow! So as as you get yes, the hit resist it. the effect, you come back with a third strike, slamming it into the back, and you can watch some of the armor in the back just kind of cracks. You can see bits oh. of glowing kind of orange in places. Oh, it's, um, it's it's still looking fine, but. It's taking hits. Okay, okay. Uh, it isn't not He's not yes. invulnerable. Okay. I wanted a stupid All right. water elemental. He's on death's stupid. door, guys. Yeah, he's definitely We got him. day now. We got him. brings us to Percival's turn. You um, got it, baby. I'm going to run all the way back to the back of the room. I'm going to, I'm going to put as much distance. Uh, well, actually, I'll take my shots first. Um, I've got, yeah, I've got Animus up, so I'm going to spend a point on it. I'm running out of grit. Uh, on advantage. And I'm just gonna try and take a shot on this guy. I'm just above um, you, telling you how hot you look as you're doing it. All right. Uh, oh yeah, I get it. Like physically, on this you're really sweaty yeah, like, right no, now. Like, really sweaty. Your yeah. hair is so um, white. You're like Steve Martin without the ukulele. I'm just so <laughs> turn on my six. That hits, I assume. So that's uh, one d ten plus one d six, and then I'm also gonna I'm gonna blow the last of my li uh, lightning into that. Yeah, okay. do it. Do it, parse. So he's just a Q-tip. That's eighteen points of standard damage. Mm -hmm. Two points of psychic damage. That's pretty sure. And uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Fifteen points of lightning damage. Nice. Um, 35 total on that shot. That's one shot. Um, I'm going to uh, take, a, oh, this is my last advantage shot. Um, I'm going to take another advantage shot on him. Here we go. Come on, Purse. Come on, Purse. 
Um, that's uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 24 on an advantage shot. Just hits. That's what it is, 24. Yeah, okay. I've already... uh, so that's, uh, here we go. Um, that's uh, 15 points of damage plus three points of psychic damage. Um, I should start taking track of this. Dun, dun, dun. Um, shooting again. No advantage. All right. Um, 20. 20 does not hit. I'm going to burn an action surge and take three more shots. Yeah. Go for it. And I'll just roll 3d20. Uh, actually, hold on. No, it wouldn't matter. Uh, 22, yeah, it doesn't actually hit. So. I don't know. Um, so here we go. Uh, taking three shots. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, so uh, this is great. I take three more shots. First yeah. one is uh 13, uh, 13, 26, 20, 29, so that yes. hits. If any of those miss, you're blessed. Uh, no, they did not, All so right. this is going to be fine. The other two? I did roll the other two. Yeah, but they yeah. were also. Both 19 and 19. Ooh. Okay, there so you are go. both Ooh. criticals. <gasps> yeah. So I got two criticals that we're going to get into. Ooh. First shot is not a critical. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's uh, 12 points of damage and one point of psychic damage. Okay. And then let me get an extra d10 and an extra d6. So. Critical, no, okay, and this is where new critical, new type of critical. Um, she takes half of the critical damage next turn. Next turn, turn yeah. Crit roll. What? So, oh, which okay. means. So what, 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 what was the total in the last one? It was. Uh, 26. 26. 26. All right, so the critical Here damage. Here we go. Critical damage is. Oh, uh, that's uh, 11 points of psychic damage. Okay. And uh, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The psychic damage is double two, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. And twenty points of of normal damage. Critical. Twenty twenty normal and and eleven points of psychic. Okay, so thirty one. And now the next critical hit. Yes. yes. Here we go. Come on, you sweet chinchilla. Oh my God. Uh, that's a terrible roll. That's okay. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve nine. points of normal damage, and six points of psychic damage. Plus that's it, eighteen. That's the whole. And so the two of those combined, cut in half, is what he takes next round as bleed damage. Yeah, which is 49, so we'll be taking 24 points of bleed damage. I'm wow. running in the opposite direction. Wow. You broken bastard. Okay. <laughs> out of the point, so you just run around this way? Oh, and that's two crits, which means I get two grits back. Yes, wow! Hey. Wow! Uh, no, I'm, I like, mm, yeah, like that way. That's as far as you can get. Okay. I can't even, yeah, that's as I mean, far as I can. If you want to go that way, you'll have to go around in lava. So no, yeah, I'll have to go around. I'm, wow. I'm rolling That's that as far as you can get there. All right, Good it's your turn, Percival. Yeah. All right, at the end of your turn, it's going to use its third and final legendary action uh, to hack down at you, because you're up next. Yeah, bring it. Action to uh, it. Bring it. Bring it. All right, so that is a no 25. Hits. True. All right. That was with disadvantage? Yeah. 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 Wow. Damn. Uncanny dodge. All right, so Have it. 33 points of slashing damage. Okay. Halved. All right, so that'd be 16. Okay. And I want you to make Constitution saving throw. Oh, oh balls! Oh, right after you heal. I know. This Please, is what you're going to be doing. This is just what you're going to be doing. That's, That's why not I good. went there. You're it's out of luck because good. we used them all. Yeah. Uh, that gets me to 18. 18, not enough. Not enough. The darkness wow. takes over again in your eyes. It's still there in front of you. You can know you know where it is, sure. um, but the but your vision is taken from you. Um, that oh. is going to end that. Wow. It's now your turn. I just God. cleaned the I'm gonna bathroom. I hate holding my turn because I don't understand it. If I hold my turn, I can only attack when it gets back to me, right? Depends on whatever action you decide to hold. Can I hold my turn to do cast Vow of Enmity until I can see again? You can do that if you want to. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold my turn until I can fucking see to cast Vow of Enmity and attack. Okay, so you're so you're basically Salute. so you're expecting somebody else in your party to come heal you. I'm gonna do fuck all without it. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. all right. Yeah. Um, you Are can you move. can you move back up or you can move? You can bonus action. Well, the bonus action is bound and. Uh, this guy can get anywhere. He has shown us that he can get anywhere on this map. There's no point going anywhere. No, I'm going to stay put. That's what I'm doing. I've already okay. called it. That ends. So Vax is going to hold that. It's now his turn. Uh, let's see if he gets the blade storm back. Oh, God. It does get the blade storm back. No! Oh. Things good. Yeah. So it's going to leap and land Wait. up here in the center. Oh, God. Be no oh, that also means he takes his bleed damage this turn. It does, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and put this. Can anybody do an attack of opportunity? 
I do. Per trigger, per trigger. Per trigger. And can I get an attack of opportunity even though I'm holding? I have no idea. You will, yes. Yes. I'll say. So we'll put this here to help. I'm so excited about how you're doing this. this balance here. This is like some crazy. This is some crazy. I know. It's so crazy. He's been doing his yoga stick. That baby's hand. Oh. Don't so, the table. Takes. Stop, stop, stop. stop. <laughs> takes another. He, he's not even touching. Twenty-four damage. Alrighty. Should I do the uh, attack of or the? So both, both, both you guys get attack opportunity. You first, Reckless, great. Wow. Get that Yeah. Look at leather face. Uh, 35, 30. 30. Hits. <laughs> okay. 30. 30 points of damage. Thirty points of damage. Nice. nice. Takes the hit and lands. Go ahead and make your attack. Okay, so I have him flanked with Grog, right? Because he was right between the Correct. two of us, so down to a regular attack. Correct. Good. Uh, that is, that hits. That's an 18 plus a lot, plus 14. All right, that hits. Go ahead. All damage. right. Oh my god. That is, uh, that is 11 plus psychic damage is 13 plus these fuckers, 13, uh, 19, 25, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 35. 35, okay, these 35 damage and the blindness fades. Yeah! Yay! Wait, how'd you do that? Not that made Sam super happy. It's just, fa- oh. Oh, oh it, it's concentration maybe. Yeah, maybe because I cut it a bit. It seems less concentration. You get the sense that the blindness lasts until you hit it. Can I see now? Oh. You can now see your So now I can do my held turn. Yes, you can. Yay! Uh, is he within range? I'm, well, am I in 10 feet? Uh, I'll just move forward a bit. You well, you, you held your action, not your turn. There's a difference. Fuck a duck! <laughs> okay, but he's near. I will say the minute you hit him and the vision comes back, yeah. I'll allow you to do it. Sure. So then you're holding he your old. within 10 feet when you hit him. Well, wait. Yeah. That is so, yeah. Is he within 10 feet of Grog? Would you um, say his foot? Yeah. <clears throat> Sure. I mean, yeah, I'll let it happen. I'm gonna save it then. No, no, no. He said you were in you range. He, you were, he was in range right I, when you. I understand that. I'm just. I'm weighing <laughs> multiple options, dear. Uh, no, I will cast Bow of Enmity. I'll cast it on my bonus action, then attack, attack. Well, so a, you held your action as Bow of Enmity. To attack, right? To attack. Uh, which was Bow of Enmity. Which was to cast Bow of Enmity and and to and not to not attack as well. You can't hold your whole action. You, your whole turn. Oh, okay. You hold an action. Yeah, okay. So you see, so I like Bow of Enmity. Bow of Enmity. So that's on. There you go. Thanks, everybody. Um, so as it as it lands there, it uses blade storm, <laughs> strikes around as it sweeps everyone in a fifteen foot radius. Mm. Grog, Vax, yeah. Vex, the elemental, and Scanlan. Oh, I can't even get Scanlan, but yep. he's so little. <laughs> doesn't just cut Am his I hair. still uh, holding on to his sword? With Bigby, you are. That's fine. That's so he does have so disadvantage. disadvantage on all his attacks. Correct. So against uh, Scanlan. That is, huh, avoided a natural 20 because of that, so okay. that instead is going to be a 22. That hits. Alrighty. Against uh, uh, Vax is a 29. Yeah. All right. Against Grog, that is a 21. Yep. And against Vax is a 24. Ooh, that hits. All right, so. And the elemental. Oh, and the elemental. Uh, elemental is a 18. Hits armor class 14. Yeah. All right, so each of you suffers. Don't like that. Damn it. 44 points of slashing I'm damage. I'm an uncanny 44. dodge. Okay, so 22. And 22. I've already used my uncanny dodge in this round, I think. Uh, yes, because when, when he took his turn, you did. Yeah, so minus 44 for me. Okay. Oh. 44 to the elemental. Sure. Want to keep track of that? Yep, I'm on it. Okay, and then 44, 22, 22 to you. And I need all of you to make constitution saving oh. throws. Oh. Come on, baby! Oh, jeez. Come on, Louise. come on, elemental fails. It's a blind elemental. That's it's a blind elemental. Yeah, oh. oh, no. <laughs> Nope, 19. he can be blinded. He's got 70 hit points. He hasn't taken any more damage, correct? Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Ah. There you go. 
Who's blind? Uh, Who's I'm, blind? I'm blind. You're blind? Is Grog blind as well? Yeah. Grog is blind. blind. But I'm in melee, well, so the number if he leaves, I can hit him. Yeah, and, and the minute you take your turn, you can just make a reckless Blind. Wow. Blind. Wow. Scanlan, wow. what's your constitution saving throw? I made a 23. Your, Scanlan your resists plus, it. Plus, plus, plus four. That's you and you and Scanlan. I still have my blast that I haven't used. So now, Scanlan, I need you to make wow. concentration check on Bigby's hand now. Motherfucker. Oh, okay. Jeez. So you took. You took. Warcaster, you have advantage. So it's DC 22 because it was 44 damage. So you have advantage. Come on, Pinky. Uh, the second, the first one was that poop thing again. Okay, it's the one. That's not good. Uh, the second one, I only rolled a seven, so I'm sure this is not going to add up to something oh, good. Fuck that oh, dice. Yeah, get rid of that dice. Did you say save? What did you roll? Yeah, are you sure the poop is What did is you roll, one? Sam? It no, is. the poop yeah. is a one. We already like, What am I adding to this, Maddie? Your constitution saving throw. Plus 1d4. Plus 1d4. Yeah. Okay, I'm still not going to hit 22. Oh. This is a check, though, so I could inspire myself, maybe? It's not, it's not a check, it's a saving throw. Okay, then it's only going to get, it can max out at 20. Well, 20 is the max. That's what you're trying to hit. The DC is 20. So. Oh, okay. Well, then I will roll my D4 and see if I can hit it. it. Go for I it. I only rolled a three, not a four. Oh! 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 Just missed it. Oh! So oh! fades. No longer holding the weapon. The hand fades and the blade is now no longer held back. The creature's looking pretty hurt, but it's well, still, still hanging in there. Yeah, I can't see uh, that. I can see as. All I see is Balls. wicked Davy Jones. Yep. Whatnot. And then it's it's turn. Upskirting. Davy Jones. <laughs> Not Davy Jones. Who's that? Next is turn. Do I remember where he was? Can I shoot in his general vicinity? Uh, yeah. Even though I'm blind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah shoot, please shoot me in the neck. I thought you said come and shoot in his general. Well, I can, in his I general can see vicinity. up his skirt. General vicinity. That's what I thought is, you said. Take a shot at his general vicinity. General vicinity. Planking? For her. <laughs> Oof. Don't fight until you'll see the arrows. Uh, 21 won't hit him. 21 right? will not hit him. Okay, okay so I'm going to try it again. Scroat or broke. <laughs> God damn it. No, no it's a disadvantage. Oh, yes. oh, so yeah, I don't. Blind. Neither of them hit. Both arrows just go wide, Shit. disappearing into the smoke of the room. Okay, well. You still hear the machine <laughs> behind you. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going <laughs> to. Let's see if this is. Nope, it's an action because I'm a genius. Um, I'm gonna back up. I don't know if that'll do anything. He'll take that. Okay. I'm gonna disengage from the um, disengage, and I'm gonna back up on the okay. broom. Okay. Make a perception check with disadvantage. <laughs> no blind ass. Great. I'm rolling so Ooh. good tonight. Shush, shush. Uh, Seventeen. 17, because your train <laughs> saved you, you pull back and you just manage to hear the echoes of the bubbling and the sounds nearby. You know where the stairs are and you don't fall off. Oh, I'm on my broom, so oh. I was flying backwards. Okay, well that's the case, then you manage to drift backward. How far back do you want to go? As far back as I can without, you know, dying. Well, you're going to pull back and then slam into the wall yeah. over here because you're not quite sure where that is. Yeah. So we'll say you're there. This okay. is wow. so fucking. This is so. That well. ends your turn, Vex. At the end of your turn, the creature's going to go ahead. The uh, Forge Guardian's going to use. Let's see. Don't don't say let's see. Forge. Guardian. I'm right under his foot. I'm just right there. Yep. It's going to go ahead and use legendary action to attack with its rune blade against. Uh, You are, yeah, I was going to say, you are the, the, the heavy damage dealer so far. Right? You, you are hitting it a lot. Yeah, it's going to go against you. Just for this tip. Um, advantage against you? Mm-hmm. Just the tip. Just the tip. Natural 20. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> what are you at? Okay. A lot of air math going on. 61 points of slashing damage. Halved. Halved to 31. 31. Okay. Okay. Cool. Can I take my retaliation? It hasn't come back to your turn yet, because you've already used that last time. You are right. Yep. Oh, you can't do it. Wait, have you? Because you went last time to attack it. Yeah, and you took it as it hit you back in the turn. Yeah. So that brings us to Scanlan's turn. I will cast 
Another lightning bolt at level six this time. Okay. Nice. Where are you at? Which is eight, nine, ten, eleven d6. Correct. It rolled a 17 on its dex save. It has no dex bonus, so that it hits without issue. So full damage. Okay. So 11 d6. Uh, 11 d6. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's only 42. That's pretty decent, though. 42 points of lightning damage as you blast it from behind. The energy hits the back and arcs through its weapon and its blade, and you can see like steam rising up around where its fingers grasp the handle. Uh, the leather kind of uh, kilt that kind of hangs at its sides is singed and burned from the impact. Uh, well done. Above average for. Uh, do you want to move or stay where you are? How far am I from the thing? You're, you are about 10, 12 feet from it. I will not move. Oh, but you're not blind anymore. He's not blind. I was never blind. Oh, you were I was never blind. Okay, that's yeah, right. He, he avoided it. You avoided it. That's right. Um, but me hitting it for it, it doesn't <laughs> unblind someone else, does it? He, nope. Oh shit. Um, okay. okay, I'll just I'll just healing word myself again, I guess. Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, two two D. What is it? Two D two D four plus six. Okay. Correct. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, buddy. At the end of that turn, it's going to use second legendary action to attack oh, Vax this more. time. Yep. Yeah. And since you're blind, it has advantage. That is a 29 to hit. Oh, uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, I miss. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is within the same this, round, your... by the way. Low. Oh, yeah. No. Low. Oh, low. That's okay. <laughs> You 29 can't points die. of slashing damage. 29 points of slashing damage. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, right? He can't die? That's yeah, like I, mean, I mean, well, I mean, like, uh, let's it's not like test that. Let's not test yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how that should right. work. No. And Scanlon's turn, it's the we Elemental's also turn. Have death ward, so. It's the Elemental's turn. Yeah, the Elemental. Do you have Death Ward? Uh, no, he didn't take it because he It's just going to thrash whatever's nearby. It's hostile to everything in the area, and the closest thing to it is the creatures, so it's going to attack with disadvantage twice. Hey, yeah! That's a miss. And a natural one in the second one, yeah. Come on! The elemental just swings and is hitting nothing in the air. It's angry and thrashing about. You are, you, are a, yeah. you are a shitty, <laughs> shitty backyard fountain. At the end of its turn, it's going to use its last legendary action to attack Vax one more time. Well, you're it's making on sale at Home Depot. Okay. <laughs> what did we have slip and slide? That's uh, 29 again. Hits. Oh. Oh. Don't even bother, I'm unconscious. Well, okay. So you are, yeah. yeah you're that would have been 26 oh. points of slash damage. Okay. So, with that, you are unconscious. unconscious oh, no. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. Uh, so that brings us to yeah. Grog and Keyleth's turn. Grog I'll go. first. Yeah. For go, go first, see if you hit him. I just uh, ping on a swing. Reckless, great weapon. Okay, master. so so the reckless cancels out. Cancels out. So it's just a straight roll. Single. Roll. Don't fuck me, Gil. Blacksmith die for a blacksmith thing. Mm. That's not great. <laughs> That's a miss. <gasps> yeah. No. 20 minus 5 is 15. Yeah. Oh, no. You swing and it hits air. Well, I have one more. I'll just make it reckless and not great weapon master. Natural 20. Oh! <laughs> yeah, Gil, Gil kind of. Gil fucking unfucked you real fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. that, was, that was a whiplash fucking. It's been so long since I've done this. It's getting weird tonight. I don't yeah. remember how this works. Okay, so I double it. Shit, it's three times the thing. Oh, man. Yeah, so well, I well, yeah. For, for you, you you roll the dice and you do the critical damage like in Hollywood. So dice is. Yeah, 12! So that's 24 plus your, plus your bonuses. Which is 16. And so. whatever your axe, this is the extra necrotic damage, right? Oh my god. You've been forgetting the crock damage the whole time? Be okay. The what damage? Oh, the whole crock. Time? It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be great. It's a lot of rules and a lot of math. It's a big book. I know. I know. Yeah, I've been I've I've forgetting the fucking. Yeah, well, now's the time to remember it, buddy. Yep, yep, good. Travis has a job. You mentioned it if they were important. An <laughs> other job. Part of the description. It's all good. I want to six necrotic damage. So Sam, 24 how many hit points plus. do you have left? So he's at 40 damage. Well, right now. there seems to be well, some confusion about that question. 24 plus 16, so I, 40. Yeah, I, Necrotic. I have it at 62. Five. So it's 10. The, the overlay has me at 44, so, so I don't know. And then plus, split the difference. Uh, two additional d12s. Okay. So one, 51. 
And a 7, so 58. 58. Okay. 58 points of damage on the hit, and your blindness goes away. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, must be nice. Oh my god, I know, the right? fucking necrotic. 62, 44. It's alright, okay. I forgot Hunter's Mark like, for so many episodes. So, this time as you swing out, it cracks into the side of it, and the axe actually wedges a few inches into the side of like its thigh and, and uh, rear region. And yeah, it, as boy. it wedges in there, you actually hear the first sound emanate from this creature. <laughs> It's like deep, guttural, kind of vibrating, <coughs> low sound. And as soon as your vision clears up, you see it kind of turn around its head under its arm down at you. It's looking, it's looking like it's, you're seeing some damage on this thing. Like Tony yeah. Stark in the whole cluster armor. I'm sorry. <laughs> go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. Is that the end of your turn? That's the. You took two swings. Yes, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Do you want to be up? Keyleth. No. No. No? Kill us. Okay. Do what you're going to do. Heal, uh, kill people or. You're blind as well. Blind. Okay. I'm. I see my boyfriend down, but I think he's just. I think he's all right. Hmm. <laughs> he's fine. You're fine. <laughs> he's all right. He's all right. God, all my friends are fucking blind. I, I turn and I go woof, 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 fly over to Vex and go, stop, 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 <laughs> Take one d four slapping damage. Yeah. yeah. So you. I slap a healing whatever into her. Uh, a healing ooh. touch. All right. So you heal the blindness. Deliver the slap. So six d eight. Another. Plus three. Plus three. Give me. Yeah. Give me that d eight again. <laughs> she had it coming. Uh, uh, ooh, that's uh, I not no. with healing. Okay. But eight, eight, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Uh, plus another seven is twenty-five. Five. Plus four, twenty-nine. Nine plus three, so twenty. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Or, sorry, thirty-two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty-two. You'll thirty-two, and your blindness dissipates. And your blindness Yay! dissipates. Yay! All right. So you still have movement. I'm gonna kind of fly back to where I was and All patrol. Right. Nice. All right. So you're right there at the edge of the lava, again, just keeping an eye on the battlefield. Yeah, oh, and oh, without of oh, his man. swinging range. Yes, yeah? you're not quite within his range yet. All right, that ends your turn. Percival, you're up. Uh, taking three shots. Uh, uh, and that's a uh, bless. 34 to hit. That hits. Bless, bless, bless. Yeah, anything that didn't hit, I'm going to run bless. So that's uh, uh, 15 points of damage, five points psychic. Nice. That's uh, 24. 24 just hits. That's. Well, no, because the bless is concentration, right? Oh. That shit's gone, so no. But, so no, that, that, that misses, that. and then the other one misses. Hashtag box. I totally forgot to keep rolling concentration for you on that. That's the thing you got to keep in mind um, every take damage. Right, right. Burning an action surge for three more shots. Um, burning a grit for advantage. That's right, because you have another action surge. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> I'm audience now. Advantage, <laughs> advantage number one uh, is uh, 17 to hit. That hits 17, 26. Yeah, that's, that, that hits. Yeah, that hits. It's five. So that's uh, let's put that away. That's not helpful anymore. Uh, that's uh, 13 points of damage. Two points psychic. All right. Uh, next advantage shot. Uh, Damn, burning all those grids. In time, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's a natural twenty. Yeah. Nice. Woo-hoo-hoo. So that's. Oh, uh, thanks, Gil. Yeah, buddy. Boom. Mm-hmm. Pop, 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 motherfucker. Yeah. Gil's on our side. Uh, that's four, five, six, seven. That's seven points of psychic damage. Uh, oh shit. That's uh, oh, eighteen, shit. nineteen, twenty. Twenty-eight points of sli- of piercing damage. All right. Uh, and nine points psychic. Uh, plus uh. Four, four, five, six, seven points psychic. All right. Uh, and that will half that damage next round. Right, which is the total of that together then uh, is? Was a uh, d- 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 uh, total that's uh, uh, nine plus eight, 17, 27, uh, 20, 20, 30, 34. 34, thank you. So it takes uh, 17 damage next round. Next round uh, on its turn. All right. uh, I'm burning another grit for my final shot. Okay. And Does grit for advantage? advantage, is that what it is? He can uh, burn a grit to get advantage in a shot if he wants. To. Yeah, I can do a lot of things, but like he's so big, this is like my right. best shot because his AC is fucking high. Okay. 
Um, get it. No, that's uh, t- t- uh, 31 to hit. Yeah. That hits. Do you have disadvantage on it? No. No. Uh, and that's 16 points of damage and one point of psychic damage. Okay, so until, all right, so it's your shots. Uh, and I'm running towards that fire pit, straight back. This way? Yeah. This way. Uh, You're going to have to leap over lava. Uh, I can't As roll around it. See, if you want to go around it, you go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's as far as you can get. That'll do. All right, there you go. Oh. All right, that ends Percival's turn. That saving throw with advantage. Good, natural 20. Ooh. You're fine. Actually, you stabilize. stabilize. You're fine. Hey! Um, that, so, end of your turn, it's now the Forge Guardian's turn. Oh. Is he blind or is he, is he still blind? Uh, he's, well, he's not conscious, and uh, currently you are still blind, yeah. Okay. Shit. Um, I, uh, zero hit points and stable, or one hit point and stable? Zero hit points and stable. Zero hit points and stable. Okay. Love it. Okay. Uh, I believe. One, hit, double, one yeah. hit point. Let me double check. Yeah. Zero is like you're not bleeding out. You don't have to make the death saving throws anymore. But oh, yeah. but you're That's still right. like, unconscious. I could, I could have been the. It's a huge difference. No, you're getting one hit point if you roll. Yay! Right. We, we're not the top of the round, right? We're still mid round, correct? Yeah, middle. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you're conscious now. Cool. Though your vision, you open your eyes, and you're there's Stay still dark. Still now. dark. Um, but you're conscious. That's the Raven Queen. Great. All right. The uh, so next back to the Rune Bird. Or this, no, does not regain his Blade Storm. He's going to make uh, two melee attacks against you, Grog, since you've given it the option of. Word. Uh, actually, oh, come on. Yeah, come on. I'm going to go ahead and leap. And attack the water elemental. Just a little bit to land here, not enough to give you the an attack opportunity. Okay. It's going to make one strike at you, Grog. Okay. And another kick attack at Scanlan. Kick a gnome? Gnome kicking is a rude. That is a. <laughs> 31, Grog? Yeah, it hits. I'll take the retaliation Punt. after it as well. <laughs> now that it's near around. You bitty wee fan. Demon and gnome. Oh, I remember that show. I love David and mm-hmm. 34 points of slashing damage. Down to 17. Thank you. And Scantlin, that is 28 to hit. That hits. Oh, you no. take oh, no. 11, 24 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh no. I, I will reduce that with cutting words. Okay. He's about to go down Doesn't name. matter anyway. All right. So reduce. So roll a d12. This is your last. This is your last part of inspiration. So you're done with this now. Fuck. D12. D12. Six. <laughs> okay. So take six damage off of that. Well, what was the damage? Uh, Do I need to make a constitution? No. It was. Throw? It was. I don't think you said. I thought I did, but I don't remember. You hit it's twenty something. I think. Yeah, it was no, you you rolled a twenty something to hit, but I don't think you said damage. Oh, okay, that's fine. I can't remember. Okay. You didn't. You didn't say damage. So it was fourteen. We're just Twenty-five damage. points. So it's reduced. So you take nineteen points of bludgeoning damage, as it kicks you, and you are pushed fifteen feet back. No. Oh, oh, past the lava. No. Past the lava. Past the lava. Like, 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 like a Into story. The Into the lava. Oh. Skipping what across. Meant to say. Shit. So. Please tell me you're not unconscious. In the so lava. Scanlan. Yeah. You immediately are kicked back into the molten rock Ugh. and iron metal. That is. <laughs> mm, not the gnome. Not the gnome. Sixty-one points of fire damage. Oh. Gonna go under. Tell me you're not unconscious. I'm un. No! Uh, in the lava. Gotta get Scanlan him out. Gotta get him out. On fire and just. Sh- he's turn- okay. He's T one. He's T eight hundred into the. Can I, uh, can I take my retaliation get attack? Him out. You can't. I can get okay. him out. I can get him out. Uh, reckless okay. great weapon. Are you master. wait? But when's your turn? You already went a bit. I mean, six round turn. Six seconds. <laughs> That's I think better. I'm. I can get thirty four minus before five. Before the top of twenty nine. The hits. Well, damage check. Potentially. He goes one. before I do. 33. 33. 33 damage. Right. Yeah, and you're before me. Which, by the way, at the top of its turn, it also took uh, 17 points of damage from your damaging shot. And it does. No. But it's looking kind of rough now. It's looking looking pretty rough. Um, (laughs) Shut up, shut up. All right, so that finishes that turn. Uh, End of his turn, Vex, you're up. Yeah, okay. Um, All right, I'm going to. Can I 
get to Scanlan from my position on the map? Uh, movement, dash, action to grab him. 35. You can get to him, yes. All right, then I'm going to pick him up. All right, so you glide down, you grab his body, and you kind of lift him up, and you get him out of the lava, but that's as much movement as you have. <laughs> can I use my action to, oh god. It's your action to grab and pull him out. Okay. Bonus action to dash? Yeah, can I use my bonus action to dash you away? You can. I'll say you move half speed because you're having to bring him with you. Okay. So I'm going to back up. So you can get both of you guys back up wherever you want to go. Uh, into the corner. Into the corner? Okay. So, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. You get about there. At least I am <laughs> got him out of the lava. <laughs> I have had a jackrabbit knee <laughs> under the table for like shit. 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, no. Like, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm but that's it. That's all I can do, right? That's everything. That's everything. Such a butt old pocket. All right, that ends Vex's turn. Top of the round. Scanlan, you immediately take fire damage because you're still on fire, so you immediately fail a death saving throw. But I have some sort of death ward on me. You From do have life. death ward on you. Oh. So. Oh, bye. So, as you go and reach and grab him and pull him up, the death ward flickers on and he comes back to one hit point. Great. And you pull him off to the side. As soon as his turn comes up, he's on fire. He's he takes fire. 10 points of fire damage uh, and now goes to zero. Gotcha, gotcha. Like, at least he's not in fail a death ward. <laughs> The death ward has expired. Point of clarification, we're at the yes. top of the round, so I just went from one hit point to two hit points. Oh. With death ward? Um, uh, with death yeah, ward. I believe with so, something actually. Sure. Uh, yeah. Well, it's the top of your turn, so yeah. I need to be aging so much water just now. I'm safe on. at two, no one can touch me. Yeah, yeah, you're all good. Yeah. Let me know if he hits me, I'll go back. Okay. <laughs> Zoom! <laughs> Alrighty. That brings us from Scott's turn to the Elemental's turn. The Elemental is just going to go ahead and. This overlay thing is pretty cool. Rush down. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> it makes uh, yeah. remote play not, not quite as uh, removed. Can we have that, like, a hologram version of that in front of us all the time? Yeah, yeah, right here. Oh, the overlay? Yeah. 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 Counting our hit points for us? That we can see, I mean. Yeah, that yeah, is, yeah. That'd be uh, great. 13 great. against your yeah. artifacts does not hit. We need Google no, it does not hit. And. 14 does not hit, no. Hey! It has the blindness on the elementals fucking it up. This is super cute. Oh, All right. Elemental just chasing me like a puppy home from school. <laughs> All right. All right, Let's... ending that. Ellen's turn is now Grog and Keyleth's turn. <laughs> I'll go. Go. go turn. Go. Straight at him. Reckless. Get him. Great weapon master. All righty. That's going to be enough. Come on, crit. Nope, okay. 30, Actually, so. technically, sorry, before we get to that. Yeah. At the end of its turn, at the end of, of the elemental's turn, it's going to go ahead and strike you with its blade. Okay. I'm going to keep that roll just in uh, case something. No worries. That's a. That's a 27 to hit. Which it does. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About 10. This is a bit of a pickle. We, we have to have more faith that we can just do an enormous amount of damage when we. 36 need to. points of slashing damage. Reduced to half, so that's 18. 18. And make Constitution take a throw, please. I know you're running out of healing. Out of. I have four as my planetar, so I've got two more of those that I just did. Gil, 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 Gil. In terms of myself? Well, you're That'll be fine. I'm sorry, get tapped. 24, I hope. That's fine. 24? Yeah, you resist the, the blindness. So your turn. Man. Unab unabated as you were before. Right, uh, minus five is 31 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Jesus. It was a great roll. Uh, and the second one that's your bra. is, that's pretty big, 16. 34 minus one, five is 29. That hits, yeah, both do damage. Nice. Let me do a little role play here. Oh, BB! <laughs> 17 plus 10 is 27 for the first one. Nice. I oh, no, no, I'm sorry. That was a one, so I'm going to re roll it. Five, 21. 31 for the first one. 31. All righty. Second one, three. Jesus. 29. 29, and my fucking necrotic dice. Two, four, four more. They do like they're gonna mix together too much. That ends your turn, Grog. That does. All right. Squishy can you use next? Actually, can I can I just move? <laughs> I'm gonna stay in melee, but I just wanna just wanna come over here and decide to you know decide to golf swing me into the fucking sure. lava river. Uh, it's gonna go ahead and use the second legendary action to attack you as soon as you move around. It's gonna sweep low and attempt to just try and cleave you in half Jeez. with an advantage against you. Really? Natural twenty. Oh! Oh! 
on, knock that, it off. That, rec- that reckless attack, man, he gets advantage on all his attacks That's against true. him. That's true. That's the reason I roll so high most of the time. Well, 10 and 8. Because there are a bunch of Yeah, you kill them before they can retaliate. Yeah, and then there's 30. the 19 on the second one. 73 points of slashing damage. Whoa! Yeah. What? Not divided by on, on 3d12, it was a 10, 8, and a 12. <laughs> what was it, 76? So that's 30. Uh, are you okay? 7? No, it's, 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 it's 20, 30 uh, times 2, 60 plus 13, so 73. So half of that would be. 36, we'll say. 36, 36 points yeah. of slashing damage and make a constitution saving throw, please. Okay. God fucking damn it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, 24. 24. Okay. 26 minus. You're resisting it still. Wow. Oh! I can still see? Yes. Yeah, yeah you can still see. Okay. Right. All right, Keyleth. Yeah. Oh, okay, good okay. Close. You can still see? Everyone's good? Yeah, I can still see. You're up? <clears throat> Everyone's up? Okay. Scanlon's, I'm going to. Scanlon's dead. Or unconscious. He, you're with him. He's fine. I'm going to <laughs> fly over and uh, huh? to him. 120 feet. Yeah, you can get there easy. So you fly I've over. got a five foot reach range. And when I do my multi attack, that was okay. my Anatar. Already. So um, two hits with plus two. I'm gonna do Gil and uh, <laughs> Captain Planet. Oh, he took out three fights in the same round. God damn! <gasps> oh. Okay, that's a natural 19 on one and a natural 16 on the other. Plus 12 for both of those. For so oh. for the 16, we have yeah. 20. Those both hit. Okay, yeah. okay, and then mm. for both of those, so 40 strokes. 46 plus seven. And then an ex- and an additional 5d8 radiant damage. Correct. Wow. Kiki, it's so yours. get that. <laughs> 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 okay, so for the D6s alone. Okay, that's six plus four, that's ten, plus another five, fifteen, plus three is eighteen. Eighteen plus, plus seven. seven. So that's twenty-five. Uh-huh. I'm just doing the D sixes. Twenty-five. And then not as great the second you time. Those? Not no, not in this one. Not for this. Only elemental damage. Um so Five, six, seven, plus another seven, so 14. 14, okay. And then now 10 d8 radiant and damage. 10 d8 radiant damage. Oh, shit. Let me just roll these twice. Okay, okay so the first one. <sighs> okay, 10 uh, plus um, uh, seven, so 17, plus another seven 24. is 24. 24. Next up. Radiant. Uh, and then. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seventeen, nineteen. Damage. Radiant damage. How do you want to do this? Oh! 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 As you rush across the room with your, you know, That's just so rushing cool. towards it and strike out towards it, what do you want to do? Oh God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> As I look around, see all my friends blind and kind of running around insane, I'm just gonna go <laughs> and fly across the field and just come down with a big radiant strike and try and evoke in the back of my head, hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah, <laughs> and just Gah! As you arc down with your weapon, the holy divine energy spraying off of the strike, the arc slams into the center of the guardian's chest and you watch as the armor expands and explodes, you see this core in the center that up to previously has been guarded by its stone form. And there on the inside, you see this kind of uh, beating red gem that just goes cold. Oh, I as bet it, if we would have taken out those gems. <laughs> no. As it, as it does, the Guardian, it, it drops the blade. And walks. To the other side of the chamber, pieces of its armor kind of <laughs> falling off the ground. You see cracked parts of its outer form kind of breaking off in small chunks of shale, uh, and it makes its way to the opposite side, just walking around carefully, each of you. Takes and places its blade up on this stand on the wall, turns around, and goes completely inert. Whoa. It was like a trial. You had to be able to beat him in order to forge here. I'm putting Scanlan out! 
Okay. Because he's still on fire. Scanlan is still on fire. Scanlan is not on fire anymore. Is he unconscious still? He's still unconscious, so I'm going to cast. Mmm. Mmm. Cure yeah. wounds, yeah. Cure wounds is at level one because that's what I can do. So I'm going to cast cure wounds on him to like just bring him back alive. Okay. Okay, and then I, I fly over <laughs> and do my other healing touch on. How Vax. many healing touches wait. does he have? No, Four. Wait, wait, wait. No wait. need. Wait, 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 wait. So wait. six wait. points, Scanlan. That's what you've got. Yeah. yeah. The massive. Uh, Gash across my entire body. If as you stand there for like thirty seconds, just <laughs> it starts to close. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I go over to Scanlan and do a healing touch. Sixty-eight. One two. One two three four five. Can you give me one more D eight? Mm-hmm. Okay, nope. scan land, you 14, 15, 26. You heal 26 plus three, sorry, 29 hit points. Thank and, you. And you're cured from any diseases. Is anyone else blind or, or rough? I think all That's of us. gone as soon as he's, yeah. down, he's yes, done. Yes, the blindness has faded. I have one more of these if anyone else needs healing. Um. I mean, I'm in double digits, which is uncomfortable. So for probably me. Grog. Grog can. <laughs> yeah, you're oh, low yeah. double digits too. You're low double digits. Where are you at? Fifty-three. Oh shit! Wow. I drop. Same thing into Scanlet. Or oh, sorry, Grog. Three years of this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got my ass handed to me. <laughs> oh, that's good. Eight. Two crits by that giant. Yeah, man. Bastard. That reckless, uh, man. That's, that's 19, the downside. No, no. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. It's worth 20, the gamble. Yeah. Three. Uh, 23 plus six is 29, plus another five, 34, like three, plus three, 30, seven. You get 37 hit points. That's great. Yeah, the first 30, part of this wow. fight, he was sucking. It was like two, three, three, two, and then. He picked up. Yeah. And he caught up. Better. Caught up. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. All righty. So in the silence, <laughs> as you guys, here, as you guys take a moment to oh. breathe and recover, the uncomfortable heat in here is is sweltering. Um, the guardian is motionless across the forge. The blade is set up against the wall, now obscured by the smoke that's still billowing up across the back wall. Um, getting a better glance around, you can see like a lot of the soot. In black that has kind of gathered in the upper areas of the ceiling, the ceiling which is about 50 feet high. Um, there you see faintly glowing and uh, obscuring the air above it, the core anvil, the chain still held taut as the various blacksmithing implements hang dangling off the sides of the central platform. Well, that was a bitch. What you say, we just cut to the chase and hammer the shit out. Hopefully, he won't come back to life as soon as we start. No, don't even uh, is my elemental that. still like going rogue? I will say at this point, because elemental took quite a bit of damage, that you guys quickly dispatch it. Like okay. I, I don't want to have to worry about you guys killing a blind elemental. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no longer blind, but still, you just kind of. Keyleth just goes like Mickey and Fantasia for a second. It's just like the axe to the brooms. Yeah, basically. By the silhouette, the, you just, see the no! horrible shadow against the wall. Killing my creation. Scanlan, uh, 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 Sam, your inspiration is a long rest recharge, not a short rest, right? Short rest. Oh, short rest. If we take a short rest, he can inspire us when we do this. Yeah, we should probably, if we can, take a short rest. Breathe. Okay. That's a half hour? Yeah. It was hard. I want to sit down. Right. Just so you guys can think about your process, know exactly what you're doing. We do need to discuss right. this. So you guys, while you're taking a short rest, you can heal up Prepare. with, with uh, your... Sweet. Um, hit dice? Mm -hmm. Your hit dice. All right. Also, I need everyone to make a constitution saving throw, please. It's so, hot in here. so hot in here. Do I with the fire on the death horn? Uh, you're fine, actually. Right. Yeah, and me with the mantle? This is a little more than... Usual man. Twenty-one. Also, you have to make it as well, uh, Vax. Just make it with a with advantage. Oh. Do I get with advantage as the mantle or no? Mm, nah. Poop. Twenty-one. Oh, sorry. Fourteen. Twenty-one. Nineteen. Twenty-five. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, Scanlan. Uh, Scanlan. I, I rolled that poop thing again. Uh. <laughs> so both Scanlan and Keyleth <laughs> gain a point of exhaustion. 
Wait, do I get advantage? No. I what don't. The you do not fuck? know. His okay. hit dice is horseshit. Exhausted. Well, three twos. I'm sorry. You've got a lot of hit dice. <clears throat> I do, but still. All right, so that's a. Uh, you still get to add five six. to each hit dice you roll, too, which is nice. Four. Your constitution modifier is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five. that, and now I'm up to top again. I went through two hit dice. Yeah, and then I get my heal back. I get my action surges back. I get Yay. my grit. Grit comes back on a short rest. I'm back to 144. Mm -hmm. I'm back at the temporary 137 due to and the I'm going to really quickly yeah. fix yeah. bad news, which was uh, 11. I got to go. All right, so. Okay. All right. I fixed bad news. There you go. And wow, and so many things just don't work anymore. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, yeah. I'm, What's wrong now? Oh, just like I burned all of my, like, my hex is burned, my spider climbs burned, yeah. my diplom uh, diplomacy yeah, is a long rest, rest before that yeah. goes again. So you guys finish your short rest. Yeah, and, and then we yeah. need to. So, Balls what out. do you want to do in the chamber? You have the whole chamber at your disposal. What do you want to uh, do? Oh, yeah, I would like to go to the top where the core anvil is and start pulling up each of the tools that are hanging by the four chains. Okay. Um. You find numerous sets of tongs, you find twisting tools, you find metal punches, you find chisels of all sizes. Um, you see what appears to be a form of leg vice that's laying at the side of the anvil, um, which you know um, you know immediately, weirdly for you. Uh, leg vice is a, uh, a small device that you use to clamp metal onto the anvil to work on it. Mm. You use your kind of foot to hold down with pressure. Um, you also see... Uh, the, the the hammer that was chained to it as well. You pull that up, um, which is very very well made. That's like I said, the dark black kind of uh, uh, hammer, <laughs> hammer metal look with with gold uh, inlay. It looks like like scrolling all across it in places. Um, all these all these pieces of, of all these different tools are all chained to the actual sides of the anvil. Is the can I tell what material the the black part of the hammer is made out of? If it's rock metal. Some sort of volcanic glass. It appears to be metal. Okay. So these channels need to be made out of platinum. You right. know how to do it, right? I mean, no, I know how to do it. Okay. Yeah. So, so, what do we do? I have the well. I have the first. chunks of platinum. I hand the chunks of platinum over to Percy to put the. I guess they don't have to be in. No, they don't have to be. We're going to have to smelt them. Oh. They're just going to be melted. So we should do that, right? We start. We have to start with smelting them. Well, I, I don't know. You know the process. I don't. Are there billows? Uh, why am I in character talking to the dungeon master? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Oh, uh, the meta. You know the shape. So that we're you, un you understand, and uh, based on the discussion you guys have yeah. in the design, um, the platinum has to be smelted down into workable bars, you know, ingots of metal that can be hammered and folded. You, um, you have to get into the chamber to do so. Because the smelting materials are in the chamber you just came from. This is the forging chamber. Oh, um, fuck me. So we gotta get back. Yeah, the other doors are still closed. Um, once they're made into bars, um, and this is from the design that you recall that I even gave you, the beads of divinity that you've been given, you have to actually shatter across the anvil and then fold the pieces into the metal. Cool. Once sure. that's done, once that's done, then you actually have a, a solid blank of platinum inlaid with the fragments of divinity. You then have to uh, draw out the tremble tips, which makes them into a, a fine point, like a long kind of javelin-like rod. Then you have to use um, the vice. After heating the metal, to twist the trammels. The actual design has them twisted because it helps conduct the divine energy to the point, mm -hmm. and then using the chiseling tools, you have to work in the runes that match and channel the incantation that the Scanlon's book has. It's a multi-process step that's going to require both of you to work together on this, wow. since some elements of it are blacksmithing, elements of it are tinkering. So we have to get into the other room first before we do any of that. Mm -hmm. Can I fly over and see if I can find any kind of apparatus or that would... Make a perception check. <laughs> going with it and do the same. <clears throat> he did kick check something. That door. Uh, investigation. 30. Uh, okay, 30. You glance up and you see, it looks like there were 
two chains that were, that were originally down held on a uh, uh, what looks like a, a device, a crank device. However, the chain has been cut right. and is now dangling, and the other half of it's about 20 feet up in the air. Okay. And I'm assuming that I'm not strong enough to pull on that chain, right? Well, I can you're try. assuming. I'm going to try. I'm still, try. Like I'm try. Yeah, still you can't, but you can't fly. Oh, yeah. Play an Atar. Oh, you're right. I, I can. Yeah, I you wings. fly yeah. on one, and I'll try to get the other one. Okay. You're, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> okay. You can try to command the Guardian. So, planetar form. Go ahead and make a strength check, please. I am looking right now. Yeah, what my strength? My it's strength is seven. twenty-four. So plus seven. Again. Wow. You Why just again put that, with put the threes? Put that one away. That's a. And oh, I rolled a thirteen. You two tug on those chains, and they are not moving. Can the can the guardian do it? I can't believe that. Hey, hey, you that was attacking us. <laughs> can you get those chains? Make, persu- make a persuasion check. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a very persuasive thing to say. Uh, t- no, that's fourteen. Oh, 14. It, it makes no motion change, nothing. Sure. I'm going to take the. Yep. You got any big bees left in you? I could do one if we really need it. What's big. wrong with Grog? He can't do it? He's yeah, too high. Say, he could do one. We could get him up there. Can I Can I take. Is the end of the chain able to where I can like pull to at least make it reach Grog or no? Mm, no, you don't have the strength to pull it down though, with that strength check, unfortunately. Can you big You're still too new to the form. Big B one and the rest of us can somehow maybe Vex can uh, slowly pull Grog up to that thing on your or broom. She could probably lift Grog That's up. That's right. Can I, can That's I pull right. Grog up? Can, can I go just and dangle? Like, yeah, you can lift yeah. it. Uh, heavy as shit. <laughs> okay. So you, it takes you a minute. It's just a slow pull. You feel like the veins like bulging like on your your, your blue Grog skin together, forehead. Maybe just get one chain. Uh, kicking maybe. my feet, which doesn't make it any easier. Yeah. No. Doggy paddling. <laughs> but you do like get up. a dog over a bathtub. Yeah. Grog, and you grab the chain. Make strength check. <laughs> I'm not still raging. Can, be, can she assist him since she's like pulling? Can still be raging if you want to. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> she's very angry about it. I don't need it. Uh, Twenty-three. So as you lift it, you grab the chain, and kind of like in, a, in repelling down, you begin to find places in the stonework and metal on the side, and kind of hold on with your other hand. <laughs> Pull as you do. You watch the wall on the opposite side. <laughs> move up on one side a little bit and get stuck. Should I big be the other? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, I'll have to do it at level seven. Oh, oh shit. Woo. Okay. We're, We're so tapped out. So, yeah. so Big B's hand appears, rushes up to the chain. Go ahead and make a d20 roll and add a, an eight to it. Big B does a curl. Uh, 21. <laughs> As Big B pulls the other side, the door, the, the wall on the opposite side adjusts in both chains now. Grog and Big B's hand together pull and pull and pull and slowly as you're both kind of pulling across the metal and dragging it downward, the opposite wall. Oh, wait. Opens up. Oh, wait. What? Is this an ability check? Yeah. I'm exhausted. Bigby isn't, though. Bigby isn't, you just. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> it's, in a check, it's a check for the spell, not for you. Nice. Okay, good. Um, so <laughs> together, you both eventually bring the chains to the bottom. And you find one of a number of hooks on this on the floor area where yeah, you can go ahead and wrap it around and hold it in place. It's tenuous, but it's holding. Okay. And so the large metal door on the opposite side is currently now held up about uh, about 12, 13 feet up. It's only part way up right now, but that's all you need at the moment. Okay. Shall we? Rog and them let go. Is it going to slam shut? No, they, no, they, they found it. large it rings and hooks to yeah. hook them onto. Oh, I'm done. But I've already darted. Like we we hurry to the other room. Yeah. We hurry to the other room. Zip, uh, if we can get any inspiration, too, before we start this process. There's no inspiration. Oh, no, he, he rested, rested, yeah. Well, I mean, let, you let's take a short rest, so he has his inspiration back. Let's, let's sure. just smelt for now, and then. Yeah, we'll smelt first. And now I can do my concentration. Just let me burn another spell of doing Cat's Grace on you. Okay. Oh, great. All right, that so you have Cat's Grace. That kind of fell to the wayside before. I don't know what that is. You have an advantage on dexterity-based Oh, that's right, that's checks. the one, thank you. So, with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. There it is. 
Grog, Percival, you head to the original chamber before this. You find the tongs and some of the base, uh, in, uh, metallic ingot-based molds. You take in pieces of platinum equal to uh, the amounts you guys had pulled up before, yeah. which was, how much was 300 it? 300 platinum each. With oh, that was, no, that, that the was the face, the, for the trammels. Oh. Would those little pyramids work to make the trammels? Or yeah, we'll use more? Well, No, no, it's a different. It, I have. Diff, there's, there's other molds there with the smelting device. Yeah. I got um, 40, 4,920 4, platinum. If I recall, it was, it was fifteen hundred platinum per piece, mm -hmm. I believe. Okay. Well, I I have uh, like whatever. There's yeah. enough gold. So forty five hundred. Yeah. Sure enough for three. Well, you guys made the, you made the platinum transition when you were in that. Yeah. Time, yeah. So. And it's and the reason it takes so much is because even the natural platinum that's out there has some impurities in the process right. of the creating. So you guys have to repeatedly go through and burn and pull out impure segments of the metal as it comes to the top. Make sure you use some of those those pyramids we made, though. Yeah, so we don't waste that platinum that we oh, yeah. melted into yeah, triangles. Yeah, the first thing that went into <laughs> yeah. this melter. Yeah, so Grog, you should go ahead and make a blacksmithing tool check. Okay. This is with my proficiency bonus and my proficiency bonus dex. has to be dexterity for this. And which you have advantage. Which I have advantage. Correct, so you get to roll twice. 1,500 per tremel? Yes. Per tremel. Of platinum? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, so we're, we're fine. Just under there. Yeah. Can you get your count? Yeah. Uh, Never mind, I can do this myself. F yeah, figure out what dex plus proficiency, whatever your dex plus prof is. Oh, advantage, right, okay. Dex prof. Oh, look at that. Dex prof. Dex prof. 19. Okay. Oh, do you want me to inspire you or anything? Do we need anything? Uh, how long does inspiration last for? Up to 10 minutes. That Let's was wait till the, the final. Oh, okay. That was with advantage, yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So it and takes you, you a good. 420 flat we'll say 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes or so per. Ingot to get all the impurities out to heat it and to scoop it out. Eventually, get so you can form three bars of pure platinum to the level that you know the requirements of the trimmel are. All right. Um, so you look around. You don't see any areas here to cool the metal. Uh, you didn't get a good look at the other chamber necessarily to see if there was something for it. The, I, mean, I still have the alchemy jug with the water in it. It's been like truck. sloshing around though, probably. Yeah. Um, there's probably everything we need in here if we take a look around. Do you need um, water? We do what need, do you need. We're gonna need water. I can, can I can I fly around water. and see if what we can sure. see? Uh, you glance around. You know, there's there's the two machines over there that are still mm -hmm. <laughs> behind and uh, in the center of the two machines. You do see what looks to be uh, a trough about eight feet on one side and three feet uh, the other the width of it. It is empty, however. It looks like whatever water was in here is about to I go over and, and cast Create Water. You manage to fill the trough, brimming with cool, uh, instantly created water. We got a trough! Back and forth, you guys take the, um, the molds with tongs and quench the metal and really pull cool. out the three uh, heavy platinum ingots ready for use on the actual anvil. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, now that you're working on the forge, you have your gauntlets on. Yep. Uh, the two of you walk up, and you have all these tools around you. To fold the metal, you're going to need the hammer. Yeah. So you grab the hammer. And the hammer's it's pretty big. It's like a, a maul, it's a two handed hammer. And. Uh, I love this. So, <clears throat> you, the. You need the beads of divinity for this next stage. So. Who's got the beads? I got a bead. I've got a bead. Bloop. All right, so you three. take right. the Ion one, which has a faint kind of whitish gray glow. You place it in the center of the anvil. Um, go ahead and make a strength check, Grog. Can I go into a rage? You may. <sighs> That's even better. Uh, 25. 25. With a giant echoing yell, you bring the hammer down and you watch a flash of bright, vibrant, white, faintly blue light just flicker and beam across the room. All of you, for a second, have to kind of hold your eyes and look away, and as you come back, 
the hammer is just on top of the anvil. As you pull it back, you see where the bead was. There's now a crushed dust of the same color, roughly about the size of a plate. None of it's scattered away from the anvil. It is just a crystalline, diamond-like That's powder that remains. Do we uh, pull this into one of the ingots? Yes, we do. One at a time? One at a time. All right. All right. Um, so with you holding the tongs mm-hmm. and helping him, you take the hammer. I need you to make a blacksmithing tool check. All right. With That's advantage. up for dex, right? Okay. <laughs> this is with strength on this one. This oh, is, strength? This is hammering Even the metal and holding it into the metal. That is a, a 19. 19's fine. Yeah. The hammering isn't too hard. The, the different things have different difficulties, and so the uh, the folding isn't too bad. So with that, you guys take the dust and you scatter it across the metal and then hammer and fold, hammer and fold, and take more and scatter it across the metal as it's still heated, hammer and fold, then go and take it off to the side to two of the coal areas, and you watch as the furnaces burn and heat the metal up again. You bring it back up to the steps and hammer and fold, hammer and fold with more of it until eventually you've managed to hammer in over the next 20 or so minutes, both of you just sweating, um, you know, feeling a little bit of stiffness and soreness in your arms just from this process, but you've been in far worse. We're you just eventually. Them on the side. Yeah! <laughs> Good for Jen! Get it! You Hold eventually build a, uh, a rod blank for your first trammel using the uh, Beat of Divinity from Ayun. That is complete. Nice. So, who's next? Who's, uh, oh whose bead is up next? Oh, God. All right, here we go. All right, so you take the faintly kind of yellowish, oh God, glowing bead of divinity from rolls. the Dawn Father, place it onto the anvil, <laughs> make another strength check, please. Can we get inspir- does he need inspiration? You're doing all these strength Persistent tests. rage, I'm just, I'm just raging balls. Do you still have an inspiration time. on you right now? I do not. So, scan them. Scan them once to each Do you want me to inspire you? Yeah. yeah. Yes. All right, I will. I go up to Grog and I tell him, uh, the Grog, I'm going to tell you some words of wisdom that I learned from a book once. Uh, a wise man said, the man who hast smelt it, verily didst also <laughs> dealt it. Wisdom! Unparalleled wisdom! So the advantage on you're still raging on this? Oh, that's amazing, yeah. Uh, 25. 25 again. Yeah. 17 plus 8. <laughs> Both times you've hit 25, and the DC on this is 25. The shadow oh, like on the oh shade here. Yeah, like so with, with, with Pelor's um, you didn't think you needed that Divinity, inspiration. you <laughs> slam down a second time. This time you guys see a flash, like you stare into the sun for a split second. Um, the heat in the room grows even warmer for a moment, and all of you uncomfortably, it, it's like being on the outside of a, of a, a meteor swarm blast, which you all recall very oh, distinctly. Yes. I feel blessed. And you come back and pull the hammer away, and there you see the scattering dust of the uh, the Dawn Father's uh, blessed bead. Collect a line. No, it's good. The two of you then go ahead and take in the next ingot, and begin. you heat it up, bring it back to the anvil, yeah. and begin to fold, scatter, fold, scatter. Reheat, bring back, fold, scatter, repeating the process until you get all through. I need you to go ahead and make another blacksmithing tool check. Okay. Okay. Advantage, thank you, Cat's Grace. It's a 19. 19. Well, this is not. This is strength still. Oh, it is. Yeah, this is. I'll tell you if it's extra strength. This oh, okay. Because so. you're just hammering the metal. He's he's turning it over. So. 27. 27. Yeah, without an issue, you guys managed to fold in your second trammel blank without worry. Bring to the third one, the third and final P. Producing and placing onto the anvil backs, you leave behind there the small, jet black, kind of smooth oval bead. I reach into my pouch and I take out one of my P's. No, that don't I got, do it. And I just put it on there. Don't anvil. do it. Oh, no. Get it off of that grog. <laughs> strength check, grog. Raging, strength check. Still raging, yeah. Uh, Okay, so it's inspiration time. Rob. Oh god! Inspiration time? Yeah, it's a, I mean, I'm gonna use the dice. Oh, oh I see. Because you didn't use it before. Oh, no, you haven't used it. <gasps> it's a twenty-four. Twenty-four. Ooh. You slam down, and you pull back the hammer, and there it remains. Oh, okay. You can just try it again. Try it again. Try it again. But my arms are really no, sore. No. I need a massage. I'm yeah, go. help me. I'm help help me. muscles. Girl. I'm good on the other side. If you do this, 
I will give you something really cool. Really? Really cool. By whose standards? Yours or mine? Yours. All right. Do you want to inspire him against Gunnan? Yes, I do. <laughs> I, will, I will sing to him. Pour some <laughs> platinum on thee <laughs> and get it on an anvil. Pour <laughs> some <laughs> platinum oh, on thee oh, when you need a trample. <laughs> <laughs> Take your D12. <laughs> All right, Grog, as you try again, putting the, the large maul hammer up. No, come on, Gil. Come on, Gil. Oof, that's that's dog shit. <laughs> something really cool for you. Oh no! Yeah, that's not. We're not gonna. I'm not even gonna use the inspiration because it won't what? get us there. Try okay. it one more time. Can well, you try no, again? Hold on, you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you want? I would have to roll a twelve of a D. You'd have to roll a twelve. Try yeah. it though. It's up to you. Ten. Oh, mother. You slam down with the second hit. Poof, as it hits, the reverberation of the impact fills the room. You pull the hammer back, and there it remains. But you do see a mild crack through its form. I'll try one more time. One more. No inspiration. Can I do anything to help him? No. 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 Let's just do it. Can I give him guidance? Nope. That's a. Do you get any more inspiration, Scanlon? That is Scanlon? a yeah, yeah, inspiration yeah, later. Time. Time. I don't know. We might need it later. Really Hold on. Let me try. Let me try it without the inspiration. But it would, get rid, of, it would get rid of. Let me try. Without the inspiration. If you give him Why? guidance, he'll give him an additional D4. He gets yeah, that. Yeah. But it would yeah. get rid of his cat. Uh, but then you just cast. Oh yeah, because it's concentration. No, yeah, yeah. Let me do it straight up. Not for this one. No, 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 no. Let me do it straight up. No, give him. It's a cat trip. I'm gonna give you guidance. I'm doing it. Guidance. So as you're doing this, Kill comes up behind and then touches you. Come on, Greg! Come on! That's my guidance. I didn't need it. Twenty-five on the dot. Oh, mm. Good, good. What could have been only two trammels? Oh my god! You barely managed to succeed in properly shattering and not ruining the third bead. As you slam, all of you for a second see nothing but darkness. Really? All the light, all the flame, oh even the heat of the room goes jet cold for an instant. Oh, it felt good. And all of a sudden, the light of the furnace is flicker back on you. The machine once more. <laughs> the engine slams and light filters back. You pull the hammer back, and you see a scattering of what looks like darkened, cold obsidian dust remaining behind. I've never been so happy right. to see a 17. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Work that Plato. Come on. With that, you two holding the tongs, you take and fold the metal hammer. Fold the metal hammer. It. Make one of the blacks in check to go ahead and make your final blank. Okay, but now you've got, you I've can got add advantage. things. You have is guidance. Is it strength or dex? Uh, this is strength still on this one. You still have guidance. But I get a d4 on top of it? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Uh, 26 without the other stuff. Without an issue. So with that, you fold and you have your three finished tremel blanks, each one infused with the bead of divinity. Now you need to draw them out. And you can do these as one check for the three of them. So okay. you go and you take take these these blanks, these long rods, and you heat up the tip, and bring it back. You holding with the tongs, you begin to at an angle hammering it against the top of the anvil to eventually bring it to a gradual point. I need you to go ahead and make a blacksmithing check. Okay. This will be dexterity because this is less of just hammering. This is a little more, it's a little more careful manipulation of the metal. Oof. Did you get cast cat's grace on him again? I can. Yeah. If you don't, yeah. it's not it's not advantage. Cast grace. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I'll keep that. And then what was the guidance? Wow. Do I have guidance anymore? No, I can't have both. No, that's that's only on, that's only on strength. Do you it, want advantage or do you want the extra D four? I, I mean, I, uh, oh, you get D four, so he can still add one D four on this. No, no, no pick one. It's Scanlan a, can give him. It's a fifteen with it. advantage. It's a fifteen. Mm. Mm. It's. Because the blacksmith. Yeah, inspire him. Well, you have to inspire him before he makes the. Because it's my dexterity modifier plus my proficiency bonus, right? Uh, yes. For the blacksmith. Yes. Yeah. So can Stop I help using with this? You are helping with this. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, the, we'll get to you shortly. All right. So as, as you begin to hammer it out, it's it's getting a little fragile at some points. Um, I'll let you make one more check. So you don't ruin one of the trammels. Advantage, right? Advantage. Advantage and inspiration. 
Sure. Yeah, no. I'll inspire him again. All right. He needs as much as you can give him, Scanlan. This is dangerous. I will give him every inch of myself. <laughs> oh, so, so one. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> one by one by one. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, good. That's better. Okay. Twenty. That's a twenty-four. Should I use the inspiration? Yes, yes. you should. Let's just use it. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. So this time, seeing where the imperfections were in the hammering initially did, and curving and bringing fragility to one of the trammels, you double back, heat up, and correct the mistake. Mm. Over the next 10 minutes or so, you both carefully work to bring each to what seems to be a razor point at the end of these large platinum javelins now. They are thicker on one side and come to an impossible point on the other. You have three of these base trammels now complete. We have to we so, we have to put the rune. Now we got to put the runes on. And we got to twist. So them. now you have to twist them. So yeah. you bring the twisting bit. This is where you bring up the leg vise. So you go ahead and you clamp it in there. This is without your help. Yep. This is now you taking and heating the metal and twisting it as you go. So make another blacksmith. Thing I check. can guide you. I can guide you. I can do nothing else. This is a dexterity. Oh, it's dexterity yeah. still. Yeah. Then keep the advantage. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Give him advantage. <laughs> I'm tired of this. Does he, does he have any more inspiration? Uh, sure. That's pretty good. Yeah, keep inspiring. Wait, wait. Keep inspiring. He already rolled. Oh. Yeah. Well. Yeah, but he hasn't announced it. He already rolled. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah you got to have you inspired first. It's a 26. It's okay. 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 So with that, you one by one, slowly using the clamp, twist, heat up, grab clamp, twist, hammer, quick twist, and continue this process for each channel as everyone looks on with bated breath. Um, the deafening sound of the engine-like contraptions just fill the space like a heartbeat. The rhythm kind of gets into your muscles, and the aches begin to fade as you focus on the hammers in unison with the boom, boom. It becomes this very kind of primal forging of the world uh, vision to see Grog atop this anvil for over an hour at this point now, just sweating and hammering away at these trammels. A vision of the all hammer once long ago, forging weapons of old, long forgotten and lost. Now Grog sits here, forging the means of sealing one of the biggest threats to the prime material plane by himself. As you finish twisting the final trammel, you pull it up, crunching them in the water that you left behind. And as you pull up, you can see as the steam rises, the three twisted javelins of pure platinum ready for the final scroll. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. Okay. Wait before we give me the cool thing. Uh, I don't want to do that with everybody here. Oh. I, I'm not lying to you. It's really cool. I'm not I'm shitting you. Like to be upset about it. Later. Sorry, later. Okay. I promise. Okay. I promise. <laughs> so now. What do you? I I can. Okay. Well, let's let's see. What am I? What do I have to do? Yeah. Uh. Well, there's. The only hammer here is that maul. But all the chiseling and tinkering work takes a much smaller, more delicate. I do hammer. have the dwarven thrower, which is a. It's going to have to be a smaller edge than that, like. Mm. Like what? A, a whisper? An edge, yeah. No, like it has to be a hammer. Like, like a, a teeny hammer? hammer? Can we look around for a little teeny hammer? Can make an investigation check. Teeny hammer. Teeny hammer? Mm -hmm. I'll look around for a teeny hammer. Well, for me, yeah. so probably not so much. Make an investigation check. Uh, investigation? Me too. 18 for nope. me. So nine Glad nine. I got that roll out of the way. That was ugly. Looking around, Thanks. all the other tools are. Are big? All the other tools are, are for different things, but there's no other hammer. There's just the one singular giant hammer on the chain. Have you picked it up? Maybe it changes shape when. Maybe I'm going to try decide. picking the hammer up. Okay, you pick up the hammer. I'm going to think about. I'm going to try and attune to it. I'm going to try and think okay, about. Okay, so you take a bit of time to attune with it if you feel that's something you could try. Is it? Is it I'm going to examine it. I'm going to kind of give it, other than that, like. Okay. Make an arcana check. I'm going to make another arcana check. Let's see what happens. Well, that's better. 21. 21. Uh, this is definitely an enchanted hammer. You take time with it and focus. And once you feel the essence of attunement begin to drift into this hammer, you're unattuned for one of your other items. Ah, uh, yeah. And you will it. The hammer actually shrinks down. Oh. 
into a small light hammer, like ball peen smart hammer. Cool. Smart human. I'll drop, I'll drop animus for now. Your coffee stained artifacts. Oh shit. I dropped my travel smart, mug. Smart. <laughs> oh, oh. So, <clears throat> now with this tinier hammer in your grasp, you walk over and put the trammels on the anvil. You grab some of the chiseling implements, and the two of you together begin to work on. And this is you're mainly just there, taking the hammer and driving the back of the chisel like he's guiding the design because you don't know what vision he has. So you've done all the groundwork, you've built the structure, the base plate for it, but you have all the intricate designs in the head that Ayun imparted with you. So now you almost go into a trance with the chiseling tools, and you have three in your hands, and you're juggling them behind, and you're just staring ahead. It's really weird to watch Percival go from this focused individual to just staring off into space, and his hands kind of take over, and he begins moving the chisels along, each one of them almost too fast for you to keep up. And you get to the point where you're like, whack, 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 trying to keep up with him as he's just moving along. And as you do, you watch as this intricate scrolling begins to appear and dig itself into the side of each trammel. He rotates it with the he rotates it with the tongs, it moves into place and gets the chisel, removes it, rotates it again. And as this continues, it gets faster and faster and faster. I need you to go ahead to make a tinkering check. Do you want it, would you want any guidance? Oh I'll take that? anything I can get. Cat's grace is what? Dexterity? I will happily text take cat's Oh, it's technically it was, that's a dex check. So if you yes. have Cat's Grace, I'll is take it. Is it a dex check? Yeah, yeah. That's what you gave to Grog earlier. Okay, then I will give you Cat's Grace that's at awesome. third level because my second level spells are tapped. Okay, no, what, and so are now my third level spells. So nothing more. Nothing more. I'm just, I'm just there. burning a higher. If you have any inspiration, spell. I'll also take it. Uh, yeah, so sure. I'll give you some. Please. So you have advantage. I will sing to you. I will sing. Bang, bang, Percy's ball-peen hammer goes down <laughs> on the ground. Do, 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 do. <laughs> bang, 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 Percy's ball-peen hammer makes a really, really big sound. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so, <laughs> the the actual heat from the core anvil is enough that when you hold the, the tremble against it, it gives it just enough of a malleable edge for you to go ahead and chisel through it without issue. As you're going, it's three checks, one for each tremble. Okay. So, the first one. Uh, that's uh, without inspiration. That's uh, thirty-one. Thirty-one. King, king, king. Over about five minutes or so, you finish and grab one of the trammels and just king, king onto the ground. Begin on the other. Oh. Try again, try again. Uh, I think I can. Inspiration it? I can, may, might be able to inspiration this because that was a really bad roll. Throw some both of them? at it. What? Both of them are the same, both of them are two. Oh, God. Okay, so. And this what is not one of those things where I can fix. It's either good or it's bad. We'll find out. We might be able to fix it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and add a little bit of inspiration. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh! Oh, it's not very good. That's 17. 17, okay. Mm. The second trammel, as you're chiseling along, you feel as the metal kind of <clears throat> begins to bend and snap in one place. It's still one piece. The DC has gone up, but you get one more shot at that can, one. Can I get one more inspiration if you got any? Are you out? I have. I have one, I've used five, and I think he's, I get six. One more. Let's, let's take another one, just oh in God. case, because Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, the DC was 20, now it's 25. Okay. Oh, oh, Percy. My God. If this fails, it's going to break a tremble. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, please, I will happily take that inspiration, please. All right, I will God, so fucking inspire damn it. you with some no bullshit. No one has any other type of guidance I'm or looking, I, I've got nothing. <laughs> no, this is a skill check. I don't right? have anything, I just hit things. It's a skill oh, check, no. it's not a save, I it's... Yeah. I mean, I could try and intimidate oh, you. Oh wait, no, I, don't, no. I don't get to add anything from the hammer for this either, no, it's just a... No. No, okay. The hammer is allowing the process to take place. Do we need to, to do place. this right now? Can we take nappies? And come I mean, back. We could. I think it oh, has to helps. be soft, right? Like this. You would have a whole another batch of inspirations in the morning. 
Yeah, but he's got one more shot at this, whether... I think we have to do it now, right? Yeah, the trance is there, it's up to you. I mean, like, now. but like... Give me one more inspiration if you can, okay. and we'll see where we go. I will sit up all night with this fucking thing. I will sing one more song to inspire you. Thank I will you. sing, here's a little song I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> it's filled with inspiration, note for note. Don't fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> Alrighty. I don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> One at a time. One at a time. That'll do. Uh, uh, 18, 20, 30. 30. <gasps> go! And we have the inspiration for the third one. No, good, good, good. So, wow. you managed to complete oh the scrolling on the trammel. <clears throat> the trammel is still noticeably fragile, oh. but it seems functional. The enchantment <laughs> will be channeled. So, second trammel's done. <laughs> final check on the third and final trammel. Come on, Jesus. Uh, Fuck you back now. Come on, don't be a dick. So well, that's not bad. That will... Oh! Yeah! <laughs> so that's... Uh, 32, 32, 34. Yeah! Oh! oh! Roll the 12 on the inspiration oh dice. God. With that, oh. the feverish, feverish pace of the scrolling as you work across the final trammel, Grog, it's almost to the point where, where he'll move the chisel to a place, he'll hammer, move back, and he's going too fast, and he has to go back, and while he's not even looking at you, the chisel will like cling multiple times across the side of it, like telling you to fucking hit the back of the hammer. You take it and slam it, you move along, eventually coming across each side okay. of the spiraling trammel to completion. At that point, the hammer is still in your grasp, you back away. Percival, you take it, and it's it's now the heated edge of it is kind of burning into your hand a little bit, and you just walk over and <laughs> drop it into the trough water. <laughs> Turn around, drop it next to the third and final piece. And I faint. <laughs> and as Percival hits, yeah, he passes out onto head. the stairs, like half leaning onto the stairs. I'm out. You catch him. You catch him. Um, Grog, you look at your feet where where uh, Percival left the last piece, and you reach down and pick up the three trammels. They're each, they're about that long, each of them, and they're just like these these heavy spikes that come to a gradual spiraling twist in the tip, which is covered in intricate, beautiful scrolling of some sort of arcane language that you are unfamiliar with, and you don't think you've been so proud to be part of crafting anything like this before. These are obviously too dangerous for this world, and I walk over to the lava. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. This is a step up from uh, fine leather boots. <laughs> Oof. It yeah, it's true. And with <laughs> the completion of the trammels, this leg of your journey now complete. Oh my god. We're going to go ahead and close tonight's episode. Oh my god. Game. So <sighs> we'll pick up this at Gen Con next week in our live wow. show. Wow. Perfect. So at Gen Con, we're going to start with trying to get out of an active volcano. Oh, well, I think we exactly. assume that we're going to take okay. a mansion rest and we'll come out of a mansion okay. rest. Can we just right assume that. that's going to be uh, it's well. good for Jen? Good. So we'll, yeah. if, you, if you want to take that point now, we'll say at the end of this episode, you guys take a mansion rest? I'm. No? No? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're do you fucking... have any spells left, Scanlan? Can I, you do? I saved one level eight spell yeah. for yeah. such a thing. My boy. So we head into the mansion. Sorry, and I technically you, have one uh, seventh level spell. So if we want to go into the mansion and then I can plane shift us home, we can do that. Or wherever we want. That's true. So we can mansion, well, we can plane ship mansion wherever we need. Plane ship yeah. mansion. And if we go into the mansion, the first purple servant that hands me a salad, I behead. Unless it's. <laughs> <laughs> Go Phoebe So, are you going to long rest and then plane shift, or plane shift and then plane long rest wherever you land? Plane shift and then yeah. long rest. And we'll, yeah, we'll, well figure out. We'll figure out where we're going. Like, that'll be exciting, because we'll let everyone know where we're going to be. You can't see us. So, that's the only thing. It might be good to, like, sure. rest inside the mansion so he can't, like, attack us before we attack him. But we're going to go. Are we just going straight to him, or? I don't know. We don't know. All right, all right, mansion. I, I, I will just be burning my seventh level That's spell at the, the top thing. of the day instead of at the end. Right. right. So let's so. let's plane shift somewhere in mansion. Oh well, no, no, no. I can only plane shift us on this plane by basically kind of hacking the spell because the mansion is another plane of existence. Yeah. 
So I can't plane shift us on this oh, plane. No, we need to, I we have need to, to plane rest. to another plane. Yes, we need to rest. rest. Let's rest though, in the mansion. So. Right. Then. Yeah, ignore it. Yeah. Be cool. We'll figure it out. Then we'll the figure it out at Gen Con. Yeah. We'll figure it out in Indianapolis. Fuck it, we'll do it live. We'll do it live. <laughs> it. Alrighty then. So, uh, we'll pick up there next week at Gen Con. Whew. All right, guys. Well, thank you that so much for. fucking giant. <sighs> What a dick! Sword swinging bastard. Is he yeah. even wearing underpants under no, that? We don't not. know. I saw his balls. I saw his balls. <laughs> it's just a big uh, iron pendulum. Yep. Essentially, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Legendary action. The neck swing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! We need to bring our own binder to Gen Con. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so bring your binders. Bring, bring, bring your sheets. Yeah. Crap. Um. Otherwise, rest of you. Thank you for joining us as always. Mm. Rest well. See you next week. And is it Thursday yet? Beautiful <laughs> map, Matt. That was amazing. That was